We are live at Coletco for uh, Wednesday, April 10th, live Facebook record sale. When you're on and watching, be sure to let us know. I have the comment feed put up. I have to go turn off the music that's playing here in the store, unfortunately, which is the Beatles, You've Got to Hide Your Love Away. I really, really don't want to turn off such a great song. Honestly, one of my favorite songs, but I can't have music playing. So let me mute the music. Let me go over here and grab my other cell phone. Let me get my laptop. Let me do lots of things, including plugging my laptop up, plugging my what? Plugging my laptop up, getting these new vintage arrivals over here, et cetera, et cetera. So I've got actually several things here on my checklist to do before I get going. I got to plug up my laptop, got to plug up my phone, got to plug up this, plug up that. Got to get everything shared, liked, posted, tweeted, X'd, telegraphed, telegram, FedExed, UPS. All those amazing things I've got to do before I can say I'm ready to start selling records. So when you're on, just enjoy the ambience of the air conditioning running in the back. Me rambling on about all kinds of wild stuff and while well, I'm plugging up my laptop. <laughs> uh, there we go. I won't need it for a couple minutes, but at least I got my charger. I got both phones. Let's see here. There's that. There's that. There's new vinyl. I don't have those priced, but I will get them priced. What's this phone on? That's plenty of battery. Let's go over here and check this phone. And let's start getting this thing shared. So, welcome. Let's go ahead and find this and figure out where we're at. And let me get this. Um, uh, where's the main feed at? Here we go. So, let's go to Collect Co. Let's go over here and let's everybody hit the like button. Like, like, I don't know if Paul told y'all enough about doing that, but we have to hit the like button. We got to hit the like button. I don't know if he, uh, I was completely tuned out for the last two days, so I literally have no idea what's happened here, but I know he's done a great job. I'm glad to be back in the saddle, as Aerosmith says, or wherever they got that from. And uh, let's go ahead and hit live now. There's live now, exclamation point. So that's shared, and now let's go over here to the main page. I post a little bit of a hop just to let y'all know I was back from Augusta, and I can't see comments just quite yet, but make sure you hit that like button. Need everybody to do that. I'm going to hit here, and let me put live now, and let's see. All right, now let's get over here and get this shared also on here, and... Back in the saddle, Gene Autry. I just swapped by the monitor. Is that who came up with Back in the Saddle? Errol Smith covering Gene Autry? <laughs> Let me walk back over here away from the monitor. Every once in a while, I walk by and I get to see comments. Everybody make sure to hit the like button on YouTube, Facebook, and everywhere else. Let's hit copy link. Let's go over here to Instagram. And uh, let's hit Coletco. Let's get this put on our story right quick. Story. Which picture shall we use? Let's use, um, I don't know, let's use, do, 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 do. let's use this picture right here. It's very, no, yeah, no, actually, uh, uh, what the heck, let's use this one. There we go, all right, almost done sharing. Sorry I was a few minutes late. Uh, We've been, for some reason, our laptop keeps dying here. Paul, I think he was late one day because his laptop died. Luckily, he called Tanner uh, at the right time. We've uh, been on a rigorous schedule going to the Masters. Uh, it's not all fun getting there early to get good seats. We were in line both days. At, well, we woke up at 3 a.m. We were in line at the gates at 4 a.m. two days in a row. And I can officially see comments. So I, that second night to wake up at 3 again to get at the course in line at 4 I think I'd slept for five hours, but nothing new to me. Everybody's like, well, it must be nice to go to the Masters. I was like, well, it is after you get in there, but there's a lot. Uh, we, I walked uh, almost 15 miles the first day, uh, probably more sore than I ever have been, like for a workout or something like that. Absolutely treacherous to walk, 15 miles the first day. I did over eight the second day. Hills, unbelievably hilly place. You wouldn't believe the hills at this place. That's just uh, straight miles, much less what we did to get there to it, et cetera, et cetera. So uh, let me plug this up right here. I don't know how that got disconnected. Is that powered on now? Okay, that's powered on. 
but I'm back here at home base. We got fantastic new stuff to go through, waiting lists, new arrivals, box sets, etc. John and now Laura, our newest employee. Welcome Laura to the Coletco staff. She just left here literally just a few moments ago and she has priced some stuff for us. So we got a new pricer. So you may be seeing some Laura crates and uh, I brought it up here somewhere. What did I do for stuff? Well, some of it's mixed in with the others, but I have a crate of stuff somewhere she marked. Right there it is. Okay, I can't forget about that. She's got some new stuff here. And uh, let's see here. Let me get there. I hadn't, got, I hadn't looked at one comment yet, by the way. I'm almost ready, so I hadn't looked at one comment. Let me turn on my laptop, get everything here. I'm going to pull up the spreadsheet because we do have lots of waiting lists tonight. And I think I'm gonna just going to start the show of new, new vinyl and uh see what's going on here so um let's see here i don't know what what maybe paul went through and what he has in the first couple of nights so i'll just start with brand new stuff don't want to beat any dead horses or whatever they say got all new japanese stuff to auction night luckily i showed up otherwise we would be suffering from auctions one of the biggest things we do here every day is determine what we're going to be auctioning that is like my biggest thing that I have to do every day is get stuff ready for auction because if we don't have auctions it's not a Coletco show so we constantly are looking for auctions to put up and uh, that's that's what we do so we're constantly and uh, luckily if some of our friends from Japan have got an order to us and we have uh, new stuff from Japan then it's easy because it's already cleaned and near mint minus and pristine and uh, like I've said before, we don't do dates and we just put it up for sale and we go from there. So got new stuff here uh, and uh, are they just practicing? Yeah, I was at a practice round is what they call it, which is actually really good. You get to walk the grounds uh, and really interact with the players. They're much more relaxed. You get to see a lot more people. It's really, uh, really cool. So uh, first time buyer, Ethan, welcome. And I missed one question from John Young. Do you have any George and Brush Wads and Lima Card Wide Prairie? I actually don't have either one of those. All right. So uh, here we go. We have Toto 4, Japanese pressing, near mint minus and shrink wrap. As you'd expect, near mint minus and pristine. Toto, yes, this has the song Africa on it. $35 start. It has a Japanese insert. It's in shrink wrap of Obi. Toto 4. We also have the classic American Graffiti soundtrack. American Graffiti soundtrack is a 2LP, fantastic compilation. We already got 200 viewers on. Thanks, everybody. 223 viewers. This took a big jump. Make sure you've liked the page. Make sure you have liked the post. Make sure you've liked the Facebook post. Make sure you've liked the YouTube video. Make sure you've liked this. Make sure you've liked that. Make sure you've liked everything. I would greatly appreciate it. Let me go over here and grab this first crate of uh, empty crate that I'm going to need to put stuff in. So let me do that right now. Put this right over here, and we're going to get started by showing some stuff I think there is a waiting list for. We already got bids on a couple of auctions. We got Toto, which I think just got a bid, and American Graffiti, so welcome back. And I'll eventually need a box of new sleeves to put these Japanese pressings in. But the first thing I'm going to show is a restock of Pantera, Cowboys from Hell. Pantera is on colored vinyl. For some reason, we've been able to get all these Pantera albums lately except Cowboys from Hell except for their early stuff. I think y'all all know the early Pantera stuff is really difficult to come by. But this is Cowboys from Hell. There was a waiting list, two people, Kenny Case Jr. and John Grace. Kenny Cates Jr. Kenny Case Jr. and John Grace. So we got two of those, so those are sold and sold. Pantera is sold to Candace Lynn Berry, and I've got two extra copies of Pantera Cowboys from Hell. Also got a restock of Dropkick Murphy's The Singles Collection. Volume 1, this has been really popular. I've had three waiting lists for it now, and I've been ordering them in fives and tens. This is Dropkick Murphy's, and this is the singles collection. And the waiting list this time was Jeff Brindley and Chad Waite. Jeff Brindley and Chad Waite. So I got two more of these, $33.99. Pantera is also $33.99. Uh, see Andy Hayden. I must have not said how much Pantera was. My bad. $33.99. Limited edition white and whiskey brown marble vinyl. It is, and I, I've already got five more on the way. So if we happen to sell out of those two, I know for sure I got five more, and I know I can get more. If anybody wants Dropkick Murphy's, it is a gatefold. It is two LPs, 
and it's $33.99, and we've already pulled the two people on the wait list, and I got one random copy in of Nickelback, All the Right Reasons. So far away, if everyone cared, Rockstar, Photograph, Saving Me, that's also $33.99. That's new and see of Nickelback, All the Right Reasons. So let's go back up to the top. We pulled Pantera. We, uh, John Grace, you was on a waiting list. So I've already got you down for one, John Grace. And then C. Andy Hayden, if you want one, let me know. Bill Durgan, if you want one, let me know. Same thing for Scott Marchheim. And Toto doesn't have a bid yet. We're looking for a $35 start. It's in shrink wrap, Toto 4, with Africa on there. And American Graffiti is uh, the Japanese pressing as well. It has two bids. And Jason Boxel has it for 37. Jason Anderson, you got outbid. Jason Boxel has that for 37. Tim Jensen on Nickelback. That's so to Tim Jensen. And we got a restock of Sleep Token. Sleep Token, take me back to Eden. Slicker, I saw your uh, message come in earlier. I will uh, check on your orders. I've actually got that screenshotted. I meant to ask Ed when I was here. But if your order, I will make sure your orders get uh, looked at first thing in the morning for sure. Sleep Token. Two people was on a waiting list. This one's called Take Me Back to Eden. And there's two people on a waiting list. Dan Cohen, C-O-H-E-N, and Jackie Reynolds. So let's go ahead and pull Sleep Token. I've got two extra copies, 38 and 38.99. So those are sold and sold. That's the two people on a waiting list. And Tim Jensen does want that Nickelback album, which is right here. I've already pulled that. Our friend from Alaska, Jim, Tim Jensen, gets Nickelback. I've already actually pulled that. And we have a uh, new bid on American Graffiti for $38. Right now, we're 7 to 10 days out on shipping is what I was told today. So 7 to 10 days means if you paid for an order, whatever day you paid for, it should be 7 to 10 days out. If it's 10 days, then it should be getting really close to being shipped. And we got that down to like 4 days last week. But when we start a new invoicing cycle, that's literally thousands of more orders to pack up. And so we get this huge backlog again every Monday instantly. So we try to get it down to about two to four days by Monday. Usually right now we've been to like by Friday, we're down to four days out. But when a new week starts, man, we're hit with all of a sudden, it's literally like thousands of orders came in all at the same time because we do all that invoicing on one day. And so they automatically get backed up like a week because of all the orders that come in. Against the Wind, Bob Seeger, Jerry Stone, if you're watching, look what I was able to get. It's remastered, new and sealed, $29.99. I have a very, very strong, free, a very strong feeling my friend Jerry Stone will want this. If not, then there'll be two copies. Either way, it doesn't bother me, but I have a feeling he will want it. It is Bob Seeger. I've never been able to get a new sealed copy of Against the Wind. Sometimes I'm able to find stuff I didn't know I was even able to get. But this is new and sealed, Bob Seger Against the Wind, a remastered copy for $29.99. For those that uh, only, there's a, I, for some reason, I know this record, like we have it in probably the used bins almost every night, it seems like. However, there's some people who want new and sealed copies, and this is new and sealed, and it's remastered. I've only got one extra, but I was going to take a waiting list. I was going to do a, a waiting list on that. So this is Bob Seeger and the Silver Bullet Band. And let's go back up to the top and figure out where I left off. American Graffiti got a new bid for 38 And then Scott Marchheim does want a Pantera. I never did hear back from the other people who asked for the uh, price. But uh, Bill or our other person, if you do want one, let me know. I'm going to sell that one to Scott Marchheim. And then Jerry Stone does one to Bob Seeger, And let's give one to Mike Bolton and Stacy Brown. If you're okay with a waiting list, I'll put you on a waiting list. And then Daniel Buzide wants a sleep token. And we have Scott Apple, more work, watch golf less, shipping will be faster. How about we just blame your nephew, Seth, or we just go ahead and fire him? Seth, I don't know where you're at. Well, I know where he's at. He's at church. Seth, you're fired for getting us behind on shipping. Sherry Darnell also wants on Seeger wait list. Let's go ahead and make Toto a buy it now for $35. Nobody bid. If you might have just hopped on, you might even know it was, you might not even knew it was up for auction. But now you can go ahead and grab it for a $35 buy it now if anybody wants it. It's near mint and pristine. I have one of these myself in my personal collection. It sounds fabulous. I mean, what better way to listen to the song Africa but then on a near mint? and pristine Japanese pressing. So let's go ahead and put this away. I guarantee someone got it. They did. Jason Boxel. He put ROT, but he got autocorrected. He meant TOT for Toto. This is sold to Jason Boxel. 
Toto is $35. This is sold for $35. And that is Jason Boxel. All right, here. Uh, <laughs> I told you, Scott, you better be careful what you say on here. My, the, my, my Coletco faithfuls will literally come after you. You got to be careful on here. Don't start attacking me, Scott. These people are vicious on here. They will go after you. They will literally go after you. No surprise. Scott Apple, Seth's uncle. What would you expect? No, no difference in behavior. This is Survivor, I the Tiger. Man, what a song. Survivor, I the Tiger. Just like the Gordonsville Tigers. This is got the original lyric insert with it and Obi from Rocky. Eye of the Tiger, Survivor, $35 start. That is now up for bid. Survivor, Eye of the Tiger, $35 start on that. So let's go back up to the top. We pulled the sleep token for Daniel Buzide, and Stacey Brown got a Bob Seeger, and then Jason Boxel uh, bid 40 on American Graffiti. Sherry Darnell also on the Bob Seeger waiting list. The price on Bob Seeger waiting list is $29.99. That's new and sealed. The multi platinum, number one album, remastered Against the Wind, Her Strut. Fire Lake, you'll accompany me. That is $29.99 if you want on that waiting list as well. Mike Miles, we sold Toto. How much were the binoculars? Well, they cost $55 at the pro shop. And how much is the MoFi in the current crate? The, the car's MoFi is $49.99. I have several of them. Sounds incredible, $49.99. Bob Riger also wants on the Bob Seeger waiting list. Survivor has a bid for $36. And we have American Graffiti. Jason Anderson, the high bid is with Jason Boxel at $40. Jason Boxel is at $40 on that. All right, let's go back up here and see what's next. It's a Nickelback album I've never had before. Silver Side Up. Nickelback is new and sealed, $29.99. $29.99. That is Nickelback, Silver Side Up. Belinda and Jason Dobbs says they'll take a Cars Mofi. That's sold, $49.99. If anybody else wants a copy, let me know. There's Nickelback. I'm going to skip the next record because it's actually Nickelback 2. And I'm going to show this restock of Motorhead, Everything Louder Forever, $38.99, which is essentially a Motorhead Greatest Hits, $38.99, 2 LP. And let me look up the waiting list for this. I have a waiting list for Overkill, Hammered, and Everything Louder. Alex Kane. Alex Kane was on a waiting list for Motorhead, Everything Louder. So sell that to Alex Kane. And we have an out on American Graffiti. So this is a final call. This is a final call for $40 to Jason Boxel, 2LP. And Survivor is at 36 with Jerry Stone. Only one bid, $36, final call. One motorhead left. And we have definitely a waiting list on Nickelback. Bob Riger was first to this one. Bob Riger was first to this one. And Crystal Newman was second. Susie Breedlove is third. So let's put Crystal and Susie on a waiting list for Nickelback, Silver Side Up. I've never had that before. If anybody else wants one of those, let me know. New bit on Survivor. And I got a restock of Cake, but there was a waiting list for this. This is the newest Cake, Pressure Chief. Let me check my laptop. It actually may be, I may have not even filled the original list from the post. I don't think I have. So let me go over here to my other cellular device and look up the original post for this. Because what I do is I like people's comments after I fill, a, fill the order, and I don't think I have got everybody's post uh, from this original thing filled here, pressure, and this is Cake Pressure Chief. Okay, let's see if I still need some on here. I think I do. Let's go most recent. I uh, locked, locked, locked. Yep, I ran out at Brent Robley. Brent Robley gets one. That's so to Brent Robley. Uh, Hayden Ernest was next. Let's give one to Hayden Ernest. And then Mike Massey. Mike, if you're watching, you were next in line. And then the last person is Lillian McCurry. And if anybody else wants one, I'm going to definitely have to wait for more or order more. But Lillian McCurry was the last person. That's from the original post. So I still haven't ever had any to show or sell live. If you haven't already, make sure you've liked the Facebook post and the YouTube video. We already got 256 people watching, but we need like 356 people watching. That would be excellent. So when I walked away... Survivor got a bid for 38. Survivor got a bid for 39. Survivor got a bid for 40. Stacy Brown also wants on that Nickelback waiting list, which is Silver Side Up. If anybody else wants on there, let me know. Survivor 41, now 43. Ethan Motorhead is 38.99. 38.99 on Motorhead. And I got another restock 
of the 13th Floor Elevators album, Bull of the Woods. That's on white vinyl. 13th Floor Elevators, Bull of the Woods. Christopher Brusha was the last person I needed. Christopher Brusha, 13th Floor Elevators. As I've said before, their um, LPs are very difficult to find originals of. If Paul was here, he would definitely agree. Psych Band, he knows all about them. Tough to find their uh, originals. This was a record store day, Black Friday, that we're able to get on white vinyl. Let's go ahead and give that one to Christopher Brusha. Slicker Van Slyke wants one. Let's also put Tim Jensen on that waiting list. Tim Jensen on that waiting list for Nickelback, Silver Side Up. I definitely need to grab some more of those, it looks like. And Motorhead is a 2LP. It's, a, it's the 2LP version, the 2LP Thick Gatefold uh, Spine, $38.99, Jamie. $38.99. All right, and then here's the other Nickelback. It's a Nickelback crate. We've had three Nickelback albums. They've been very successful. No haters on Nickelback here. This one's called Get Rolling. This is their newest album, and there has been a waiting list for this ever since I've started ordering. And Sherry Darnell's on the waiting list for this one. Get Rolling, Nickelback, orange vinyl, $33.99. That is sold to Sherry Darnell, and Susie Breedlove gets this one. Wow, what a bin. Let's go ahead and sell this American Graffiti. I think it's going over the pond. This is going to Jason Boxel. He's watching from the UK, and he's going to pick this up for a winning bid of $40. That's so to Jason Boxel. That's going over the big pond eventually. That's so to Jason for $40. Thank you, Jason. And it looks like all of a sudden we got a lot of action on the Survivor. If you didn't hear already, we got a whole bin of Japanese LPs to auction tonight. Let's go ahead and put that on me. Uh, let's go ahead and put that in the bin. And uh, Susie Breelove got the last nickel back. And the high bid on Survivor right now is Jerry Stone at $45. Jerry's the high bidder at $45. Scott said, sorry, Chad, don't have the mob come and whack me. I'm telling you, Scott, I've told you before on the way to those Tennessee games, you come after me, these Coletco faithfuls will come after you. They don't take criticism too lightly against me. Not at all. Right, folks? I basically got uh, I basically got a security squad following me around. They're called Coletco customers. We have AHA, hunting high and low. This is a $35 start. Coletco, hunting high and low. That's me when I'm looking for records. AHA, featuring the hit song, Take On Me. I can't hit that high note like this guy. I wish I could. This has got the original lyric insert with it. It has another Japanese insert. It is a $35 start with Obi, Near Mint Minus, and Pristine, AHA, Hunting High and Low, Take On Me, $35 start. Back up to the top, we have, how much is 13.4 Elevators? $33.99. $33.99. Who asked? Two people asked, didn't they? Uh, who, who else asked? Somebody else asked. Leslie Silvely asked, and John Martinez asked. Two people asked. Leslie was first. I got a restock of Disturbed, Believe. Disturbed is $29.99. Disturbed, believe, $29.99. That's new and sealed. And there was also a waiting list for this. Matt Ketron. Matt Ketron was on a waiting list. I got two extra copies to this, uh, two extra copies to sell. Disturbed, believe, is $29.99. I got two extra copies. There was a person on the waiting list. I just pulled it. Matt Ketron. I just forgot his name. Matt Ketron. And let's go over here. AHA had bids for 35 and 35 and then 40. Leslie Silvely said take, and that was for 13-4 elevators. Sean Reed, if it's okay with you, I'll add you to a waiting list. Hopefully they will be in this week. And then somebody else asked, Marco Martinez. Marco, if you want on a waiting list, same thing. Darren Wartman wants a Disturbed. Kevin Jordan wants a Disturbed. Those are both sold. Nobody else bid on Survivor. Yes, they did. Jason Bokes will bid $46. That was the last thing I missed there. Jerry was at 45. Jason Boxel bid 46. AHA has bids for 35, 35, and 40. And our next LP is Joy Division, Lay Rock Festival, the 25th, 26th, 27th of August, 1979. First Lay Youth and Rock Festival. So it must be a live Joy Division. Wow, look at this. This number is 318 of 500 on red vinyl, 36.99. That's Joy Division, hand-numbered on the back on red vinyl, $36.99. I've got three of those. And then here's the restock of Mud Crutch, which I actually scheduled this post, I think, when I was uh, going to the Masters. So I don't know if I even noticed if it got a comment or not. I'm sure it did. 
But uh, I was not on my phone for two days, seriously. I, I checked it kind of when I got back in my vehicle, but you can't take your phones into Augusta National. Phones are uh, prohibited there. Phones are not allowed. They do not allow phones there. So when I got back, I had my phone for a little bit. Of course, I was like just really checking up on the world and stuff and then went straight to bed. And then the second day, same thing, like 14, 16 hours without a phone. So I was out of touch for a long time. I've got four copies of this. I thought I had five and there was a post and there were several people who said they wanted one. And let me find the other one. There should be at least one more somewhere. Is there one over here? I thought I had five of them. Where's that stack of other LPs? There should be at least, maybe I only got four. If the other one pops up, we'll tag that one. But right now, I only see four. So Mud Crutch is, did I put it in here? This is $49.99, which is, Tom Petty was in a band, I think pre-Heartbreakers, called Mud Crutch. And then they reunited later and actually made an album. So this is $49.99. And let me read everybody who got one. Uh, these were just unboxed. I don't think I've put one anywhere. I don't know what's happened to it. Weird. I thought I got five, and then I was going to order more if I needed them, which I definitely knew, because these are $49.99, Mud Crutch, long got a print. Debbie Winstead got one from the post. Scott Beebe got one from the post. Michael Mofield, I'm going to skip him and give one to Brent Robley instead, because I don't know if he's in good standing or not, just to be honest. And I'm going to give one to Michael Ruckman. And so there's one for Michael Ruckman. And Greg Rogers, you were next. So Greg Rogers, you were next on the list. Uh, I'll, if there's another one that pops up tonight, it goes to Greg Rogers. If not, then uh, I'll order more. And if anybody wants one right now, $49.99. $49.99. So that's $49.99 on Mud Crutch. I've sold four. I need one more. And if anybody else wants one tonight. Now... Let me go back up to the top. The last two things I said was we sold Disturbed and Disturbed. Jerry Stone came back in on Survivor at 48. Bon, Ron Bart, I don't try to say Ron's full name, but he wants a motorhead. And then two Joy Divisions sold, one to Kelly Gabney, one to Sean Reed. And then Brian Arrigo got the last Joy Division, and I think we're caught up. So we've almost sold out of this first bin. Jason Boxel, you're out on Survivor, and he says he's out. So Jerry Stone, you may be getting this. $48 to Jerry Stone. Final call, and now a final call in AHA. It got a bid right off the bat, three people. Jason Anderson, Michael Lynn, and Patrick Williams. Jason Anderson, Michael Lynn, and then Patrick Williams was at $40. No one else has bid since then. AHA is a final call for $40. There's three different titles left in here. One copy of Pantera, Cowboys from Hell, $33.99. The wait list has been filled. We sold a couple. There's one of those left. There's two Dropkick Murphys left. The Singles Collection, 24 tracks, two LPs, $33.99, Gatefold, two of those left, and one Sleep Token left, Take Me Back to Eden. So those are all still available if anybody wants them. They're right there. They're all right there. Final call on those two auctions, 40 and I believe 48 on Survivor. I've got two more crates of new vinyl. One is just full of a box set. And the other is just about a half crate. So a, just a little bit more new, new vinyl to show. Japanese auctions all night. And then what I'm about to do right now, which is some new vintage arrivals. New vintage arrivals. And like I said, we got several. Uh, we have, um, let's see here. Is this the first bin? Yeah, let's do check condition as usual first. Let's do check condition stuff as usual first. And um, we have a new person working with us, Laura, and she is uh, helping us price LPs now. So uh, Laura and John was here today working on some stuff. And also, um, Paul's about to go on a massive buying trip. So Paul's leaving in the morning to go to buy, uh, hopefully, I don't want to get anybody too excited, but he's about to buy another metal collection, which we hadn't even really skimmed the surface on this first one. He's going to buy a KISS collection which should be impressive, like a KISS collection the size of something like we bought that um, last year in New York. And um, I think he's going to look at another collection. I really don't know. Uh, I hadn't got to talk to him too much, but I know he's got a great trip planned out. So Paul leaves in the morning to go buy even more records. So 
Excellent. Let's go back to the top and see what I've uh, left off. If I get to the bottom and there's no bids, I am going to end these auctions. But first, Fred Carnell wants Dropkick Murphys. Sell that to Fred Carnell. How much is Sleep Token? Sleep Token was $38.99. Any more motorheads? Kenny, you've already got one. You was on a waiting list, I believe, Kenny. Let me look that up. I called your name already for something. Kenny, no, you was on a waiting list for pa uh, Pantera. Kenny, if you want on a waiting list for that, let me know. Your Pantera did come in. Fred Carnell said, what Joy Division? It's a live Lay Rock Festival. They're hand numbered on the back on red vinyl. Ray, Lock, Ray Rock Festival. Fred Carnell, $36.99. All right. Okay. And we have... Okay, so let's sell Survivor. Let's sell Survivor for $48 to Jerry Stone. That one's done. Let's put... Uh, let's put Kenny Case Jr. on that Motorhead, Everything Louder Forever wait list. So Kenny Case Jr. goes on the Motorhead, Everything Louder Forever 2LP. That's the Motorhead Greatest Hits. Fred Carnell wants on the Joy Division Greatest Hits. That's this Lay Rock Festival. And now we got to redo the auction on AHA. Somebody said they need to be retract. They didn't realize it was a Japanese pressing. Well, that makes it even better. But let's just redo the auction on this right quick. Aha, hunting high and low. That should make it even better. It's a Japanese pressing. It's near mint pristine virgin vinyl with Japanese insert booklet with Obi. Let's restart this. Start it all over. That's going to be the easiest thing to do. $35 start on Aha. That is a Japanese pressing. $35. I see a couple other questions. I'll get back to those in one second. But let me put up another LP. I thought this was really cool because we rarely get this album in. We rarely get this album in from uh, in U.S. form, much less a Japanese pressing. This is the Outfield Bangin'. $35 start, the Outfield Bangin'. Bangin', B-A-N-G-I-N, apostrophe, near mint minus and pristine, $35 start. It has the Japanese insert booklet with it, cover and obi, $35 start, $35 start. Let's go back up to the top. I missed a couple questions. And... We have, uh, we did the Joy Division. We did that. We uh, restarted the AHA auction. What press to drop King Murphy's brand new? Sorry if that's a dumb question. Well, I don't, it's just new and sealed. It's on Hellcat Records. It has a 2000 copyright. Of course, it's a brand new pressing. 2024 is literally when this was manufactured, possibly 2023. It's new and sealed. Uh, Stephanie, there's no dumb questions here. This is $33.99. If you want it, just let me know. It's yours. Somebody else has already said they want it, which is John Howard. But you've got first dibs since you asked a question about it. Let me know on that. So that is pending to Stephanie, a new buyer. A new buyer. If not, we got it so to John Howard. Uh, any more of the new Judas Priest Red Vinyl? Scott, those should be here tomorrow. Those should be here tomorrow. Has any of the Muscle Shoals collection been sold? We have touched zero records from the Muscle Shoals collection. They're crated up or they're in tubs somewhere in the back buried. I haven't seen them since they came off a truck three weeks ago. They're back there buried somewhere. AHA was re-auctioned. New bids for $35.35. Outfield has bids for $35.38. AHA 40. Outfield 40. All right. New vintage arrivals. First crate of the night. There are five crates of new vintage arrivals. Make that six. There's five after this one. There's five after this one. So new vintage arrivals. Let's go ahead and see what's in here. Elvis, it happened at the World's Fair. Nice. VG condition, a 1963 mono Rockaway press. VG condition, $14.99. Haven't seen that in a while. It happened at the World's Fair. An original. BGs, two years on. Also a VG pressing. $9.99. That's a Terre Haute 1971. VG condition, $9.99 on the BGs two years on. This is Aretha Franklin. Aretha, interesting. A promo copy has a little bit of cover damage. Some kind of interesting promo copy here. VG plus condition. Never seen anything like this from uh, this album, Aretha. VG plus condition, $9.99. And another Aretha, 10 years of gold. I will say I don't know if I've seen too many of those. Also, VG condition, $9.99. That has R-E-S-P-C-T on it. Respect. I never loved a man. Rock steady. That is Seesaw. Thank you make me feel. That's VG 999. All right, back up to the top. We left off by saying AHA was at 40. 
The outfield was at 40. Let's keep on going down to the bottom. Outfield 41. Christopher Morris, first record out of the bin. So to Christopher Morris. Outfield at 45. Stephanie's going to pack on the drop kicks. No problem. That is so to John Howard. Now, our very first bin of new vinyl only has two records left. Sleep Token, Take Me Back to Eden, 3899, and Pantera Cowboys from Hell. That's the only two LPs left from the first crate of new vinyl we did tonight. Sean Holford wants both Aretha Franklin's. Stephen Free, you, you were second. All and Die, you were third. There's only one record left there. BG's two years on. Big hits, High Tide and Green Grass, The Rolling Stones. This is a Monarch pressing. VG, 1499, OG Monarch, Stones. Big hits, High Tide and Green Grass. There is a little bit of a name written on the cover. VG, 1499. Another Aretha, Soul 69, an original Monarch pressing. VG Condition, 1999. Very nice. 1841 Broadway. I love that font on there. That's uh, If I see that kind of font on a Led Zeppelin 1, that's a great sign. Uh, that's an OG 69 font. Led Zeppelin. I've, no, I've looked at enough Led Zeppelin records, I can look at the font style and tell you what year it's from. I'm very good with Atlantic labels. If you see the green and red Atlantic labels, I've looked at so many of these. There's, there's no telling. We have the OJs in Philadelphia, also a Terre Haute pressing, VG condition, $9.99. The OJs in Philadelphia, that's on the Philadelphia International Records label, VG 999. And East and West of Jazz, featuring the jazz pianos of Duke Jordan and Sadik Hakeem. That's a mono, a UK import, VG Plus condition, $9.99. It's time to do some final calls. The outfield banging. Final call, Grant Peltzer, $45. And one more time, aha, this time the Tracy Soinger, $40. Final call. Continuing, Ian Fleming's 007 James Bond Thrillers. That is a mono pressing, VG Plus condition, 1999. Dr. No from Russia with Love, etc. Lester Flatt and Earl Scruggs, VG condition, $9.99. Songs of the Famous Carter Family, VG condition, $9.99. And Beach Beat Classics Volume 2, this is VG condition, $9.99. Beach Beat Classics Volume 2, VG condition, $9.99. Gone with the Wind, the authentic original score recording, VG Plus condition, $14.99. JP on Lester. JP on Lester. Welcome back, Jay. I actually meant to send you a text message the other day, but thank you and welcome back. I'll do that hopefully sometime soon. Swing in the Blues, VG Condition, $9.99. Swing in the Blues, that's on RCA Camden, VG $9.99. Michelle Miller wants Gone with the Wind, that's sold to Michelle Miller. And Display It wants the, uh, that was uh, Beach Beat. Uh, volume 2, yes, that's so to display it. And George Share on Swing in the Blues. We have a new bid on Outfield as I went to sell it. Nick came in at that last moment, but I am reaching then for AHA, which is sold to Tracy Swinger at $40. Grant Peltzer, you just got bumped on the Outfield. We'll have to give that a few more moments. I'm sure Grant is not done bidding. We'll find out very shortly. Let me put AHA in a new sleeve. Nick, uh, bid 46, Grant right back in at 50. I have a full crate of Japanese stuff. It would be fantastic if we get all these sold tonight. I will try my best to keep them rolling. We still got the outfield, and I will do a staple here in the Japanese department, which is Wings Greatest Hits. And this one appears to be very nice. Uh, it feels awfully heavy. I think there's an insert with it. Let's see what's in it. Wings Greatest Hits. Really cool cover, especially with the OB on there. Just it makes makes it even better. That's an actual photograph. They took that on top of. Uh, um, hold on one second. I'll maybe can remember that. But this is Wings Greatest Hits Japanese pressing. This is also going to be near mint minus and pristine. It has the poster, the Japanese lyric insert, and the original under sleeve. Forty dollars start. But that's an actual photograph they took on top of a mountain. They actually. That was part of that hypnosis. Like they, they actually went up there and took, that's a statue. They, they like, like had to fly a, her, a helicopter on top of a, a snow-capped mountain. That's an actual, like on the peak of a mountain. 
They went through all that trouble for that photograph. Hypnosis did for Paul McCartney. All right, so outfield has bids for 46, 50, 51. Wings has a bid right off the bat at 40. This is the outfield banging, and like I said, I hardly ever get U.S. pressings on this. Hardly ever get U.S. pressings on that, much less a Japanese. Grant Pelter is out on the outfield. Out on the outfield. Nick, you have it for 51. Final call. Back to the bend. Santana. This is VG 1999, an OG Santa Maria pressing of Borboletta. That's VG condition, 1999. And we have Emerson Lake and Palmer, Tarkus. VG plus condition, 1499. Specialty record pressing, VG plus condition, 1499. Emerson Lake and Palmer, Tarkus, VG 1499. Outfield has a new bidder, 55. New bid on wings for 50. And Ben Hutzel wants Santana. That's sold to Ben Hutzel with that original blue foil cover. Jim and Ingrid Croce, another day, another town. That's VG condition, $9.99. Also an SRC pressing, that's specialty record pressing. VG 999, Jim and Ingrid Croce, early material there. 8081, Pat Matheny, VG Plus Condition, 1999. 8081, Pat Matheny, that's on the ECM label. That's a Wakefield pressing, VG Plus Condition, 1999. And Dr. Hook, Belly Up, VG Condition. It has the original insert that comes with it. It's a OG Santa Maria pressing, VG Condition, $9.99. That is Dr. Hook, Belly Up. Aftermath, the Rolling Stones, VG Condition, 1999. Aftermath, the Rolling Stones. It's on that Blue London label. VG Condition, 1999. Aftermath. First track is Paint It Black. Lady Jane is on there. Under My Thumb. VG Condition, 1999 on that. Final call on Wings. George Scherer has that for $50. We have an out on the outfield. Scott Ham has it for $55. Final call. Price on Aretha, price on Aretha with First Atlantic label. That's in VG Condition, 1999. And that is an original Monarch pressing, Soul 69 from 1969. That is V-69. Continuing, Marshall Tucker Band, Carolina Dreams. Marshall Tucker is an original Terre Haute pressing as well. Has their hit song, uh, Heard It in a Love Song. VG Condition, 1499 on Marshall Tucker Band. And Johnny Cash, I Walk the Line. VG Plus Condition, $9.99. Everybody, make sure you've liked the Facebook post. Make sure you've liked the YouTube video. Hopefully, you're following us on both social media platforms. We also have an X, and we have an Instagram, and we have a TikTok. But to catch all the live stream action, definitely make sure you have liked and subscribed on Facebook and YouTube. Ben Hutzel wants Johnny Cash. How VG is it? Let's see. It is a VG because of one scuff there and minor sleeve scuffing and superficial marks on side two. You will be very happy with this VG copy. Display it. I know your standards. You'll be happy with this VG copy. You'll be happy. Money back guarantee here at Coletco. This is Sinatra. This is a duophonic pressing, an original Scranton pressing, VG condition, $9.99. This is Sinatra. Display it said tag it. I'm also tagging these two auctions. We're going to go ahead and sell wings to George Scherer for $50. That was complete with the original poster, the Japanese lyric insert, and the original inner sleeve. Boy, there's some great music on that. Of course, I'm kind of biased to Paul McCartney. I'll say that every time I put one of these up. I am a fan of this material here. And that is sold, and let's go ahead and do the outfield. Won't see too many of these, and it's gone. That is sold to Scott Ham for $55. Scott, you get that. Now, if we can get a Japanese pressing of uh, outfield play deep, I've never seen one of those with an obi. I think we had one come through without an obi, but that's a tough one. All right, that's gone. Let's go back up to the top here. Michelle Miller gets Frank Sinatra. Jason Anderson, you were second, and Tony Lewis was third. Nick Bargeron, fourth. Continuing. Nice, Almond Brothers, Eat a Peach, also an original Terre Haute pressing, VG condition, $24.99 on Almond Brothers, Eat a Peach, and Vanity 6, Vanity 6 has noticeable cover damage here, but that is VG plus condition, $9.99 on Vanity 6. Let's go ahead and get some new Japanese stuff going here, nice. Near Mint Minus and Pristine, Miles and Monk at Newport in shrink wrap with Obi. CBS Sony Jazz label, 
$45 start, beautiful vinyl from Japan, has the original anti-static inner sleeve that originally came with it. No wonder it was kept in such good condition. It's been stored in an anti-static rice paper Japanese sleeve since the day it was manufactured. Original Japanese insert, covers in shrink wrap, $45 start. And now Elvis. We've had such a demand lately for Japanese Elvis albums. This one should be no different. $35 start. This is Elvis Golden Records Volume 4. This one is not near mint minus and pristine though. This is typical for what we would normally grade a U.S. pressing around a VG+. Plus. So by U.S. standards, this is probably around a VG+, plus, which by Japanese standards is probably more like a VG, if you understand what I'm saying. So this one's not perfect. However, I don't think I've ever had it before. Elvis Gold Records Volume 4, and that's a $35 start. $35 start. I think there's some great tracks on here, like You're the Devil in Disguise. So it's still playable, but it's just not a perfect one like we normally see from Japan. All right, let's keep going. We got Michael McCullen on the Almond Brothers. We have Miles and Monk with a bid of $46. And let me make that the last record and that being the Almond Brothers so I can get a new crate started here. Off to a great start. Filled up a bin of LPs very, very quickly. Still got a whole bin of Japanese stuff to auction. More new vinyl to go through. And five more crates of new vintage stuff. 007, the James Bond thrillers. Hey, more James Bond. I can't believe we didn't sell the first one. VG Condition. Red London label. That's a mono pressing. VG Condition, $14.99. And the Monkees. Also, a 1966 mono. VG condition, that's a 66 mono pressing in VG condition, $9.99. Up at the top, Rolling Stone, did you receive uh, uh, in, receive my information? Uh, oh, are you saying as a first-time buyer? Uh, Ethan, I may have missed something you said before that. Are you saying you want to claim the Rolling Stone, and are you asking if we got your information. I'll just set that out for a second to remind me. Elvis got bids for 35, 37. Miles and Monk 50. David Tate does want the James Bond. Miles and Monk 50 again. Elvis 38. Continuing the Yes album. VG condition 11.99. That's a German pressing. It is in VG condition. 11 dollars 99 That's Yes. VG 11.99. Ethan said Yes and Yes. Okay. Remind me of your last name. So they'll go ahead and tag this with your last name so we can match that up. So this is so to Ethan. I'll get his last name, and then Ethan, I'll keep you uh, tagged on that one, and I'll have to check after the sale. I don't really know if they got that or not. Todd Rundgren, A Wizard, A True Star. This is an original Terra Hope pressing. It has the original inserts, and it's the die-cut shaped album cover. This one has the shaped die cut album cover. That's in VG condition, eleven ninety nine. So Elvis is at forty, and Miles and Monk is at fifty five. That's the newest bids. Dead Man's Curve, the new girl in school, Jan and Dean, VG plus condition, nine dollars and ninety nine cents for Jan and Dean and Mountain. They took a sleigh ride. Also an original Monarch pressing, VG fourteen ninety nine. We have an out on Elvis. The high bid on that's forty with Jason Boxel and ZZ Top Fandango. That's a Waddell pressing. VG condition fourteen ninety nine. That's in the original winter sleeve. VG condition fourteen ninety nine. All these pressing details on these albums. I love it. Lots of people will want to know that. Where were they pressed? When were they pressed? Walt Disney Productions: The Story of the Fox and Hound. That's a that's in VG condition. That's a picture disc. VG condition fourteen ninety nine. That was pressed PRC Richmond Press. Count Basie Orchestra. The ABC Collection, that's a Count Basie compilation, VG Plus Condition, $9.99 on Count Basie, and Free Highway, that's free with Paul Rogers, VG Condition, $9.99 Highway. All right, back up to the top. So Miles and Monk was at 55. Elvis got a new bump for 41. Debbie Paredes on Fox and Hound. Michelle second. Luce Rosenberger on WD, that was for Walt Disney, so you were third. David Tate was fourth. New bid on Miles and Monk for 60. The Rolling Stones now, that's a mono pressing from 1964, VG condition, 1999. Red label mono, the Stones now, VG condition, 1999. Also, Super Hits Volume 1, that's a compilation, VG plus 999. 
Super Hits Volume 1. Patches by Clarence Carter's on there. Corinna, Corinna, Ray Peterson. That's a Bob Dylan song, though. VG999 and Elvis, Paradise Hawaiian Style, Mono, a Rockaway Pressing, an original Mono Rockaway Pressing, VG Condition 1499 on that black RCA label, Mono, Paradise Hawaiian Style. All right, so George Scherer had the Miles and Monk at 60. Jason Boxel came back in on Elvis at 42. Susie, you were next in line on Fox. Jason Anderson on the Rolling Stones. Ron Bart, first on Mountain. Then they took a sleigh ride. Robert Phillippe, second on the Stones. Jason Boxel on Elvis Presley. That is sold. And also Elvis, girls, girls, girls. Not Motley Crue. Elvis did it first. VG condition, $9.99. Indianapolis pressing. There's another Elvis and Nancy Sinatra. How does that grab you? VG Condition, $14.99. It's still in shrink wrap. Let's take a look at the label. It is that original stereo pressing, tri-color steamboat. VG, $14.99. And the Hassles, Hour of the Wolf. That's a Billy Joe originally, his sock band. VG, just $12.99. The Hassles featuring Billy Joe, Hour of the Wolf. VG, $12.99. Elvis has a new bid for 45. Christopher Brusha wants NS, Nancy Sinatra. Brandy Klein, your second. Fred Carnell wants to know what Monk is at. The high bid on Monk is with George Scherer at $60. Near Mint Minus and Pristine, Japanese pressing. In shrink wrap with Obi, insert, and the original inner sleeve that came with it. The original Sony Company sleeve. High bid on that is $60 with George Scherer. Okay, Elvis is at 46 we have Christopher Brusha on, uh, that was uh, Nancy Sinatra. We've already pulled that. Brandy was second. Christopher Brusha also first on the Hassles. Christopher Smith second. Chris G third. Last couple records. Cheap Trick one-on-one. -on -one. VG Condition 1499 on Carrollton Press. And Cream Wheels of Fire, an original Terre Haute pressing. VG Condition 1999. Terre Haute VG 1999. All right. All right, so let's go back up to the top. Jason Boxel came back in on Elvis at $46. Tom Moran, you're back out. And Fred just came back in on Miles and Monk at 62. Chris G wants the cream. And Tom Moran's back in on Elvis at 48. That was a great first crate of new vintage arrivals. Check condition titles. Check condition titles. I'm going to run through those very, very quickly one more time because we got a lot of ground to cover. I want to keep new stuff rolling. So let's go ahead and run through those one more time. I actually just may read titles. There was some great stuff in there. Great, great stuff in there. You're not in Gusta. I got back last night. Monday and Tuesday is when I went. BG's two years on. VG condition, $9.99. The OJ's, VG condition, $9.99. East and West, the Jazz Pianos of Duke Jordan. And a mono UK import, VG Plus, $9.99. Goldfinger, James Bond Thrillers, and others. That's also in mono. VG Plus $9.99. Emerson Lake and Palmer Tarkas, VG Plus $14.99. Jim Croce, VG $9.99. 8081, Pat Matheny, VG Plus $19.99. Dr. Hook, Belly Up, also VG Condition $9.99 with the original insert. Miles and Monk got a new bid for $65 with George Scherer. Jason Boxel's back in on Elvis at $50. Tom Moran, you're out. Aftermath, this is VG Condition 1999 on the Stones. That's a stereo copy. Marshall Tucker Band, VG 1499, Carolina Dreaming. Vanity 6 was VG plus 999. The Monkees, VG Condition 999, a 66 mono. Shane Devers wants the Rolling Stones Aftermath. Elvis has a new bid for 55. The Yes Albums in VG Condition 1199. Todd Rundgren, a Wizard, a True Star, VG 1199. And... This is Dead Man's Curve, Jan and Dean. This is VG Plus 999. ZZ Top Fandango, VG 1499. Count Basie is VG Plus 999. Also, Free Highway, and this is VG Condition, $9.99. So, a new bump on Elvis for 55. William Meadows wants Todd Rundgren. That's so to William Meadows. Pete Maselli gets the Yes album. Jamie Wills Erickson, you were second. Super. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't know what just came out of me. Super Hits Volume 1, VG Plus 999. Tony Freeman on JD. That's for Jan. And Dean. Elvis, Girls, 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 VG 999. 
and Cheap Trick one on one, also VG999. Fred Carnell, it's up to you. Let me know if you want back in on Miles and Monk. George Share has it for $65. Uh, Tom Moran, let me know if you want back in on Elvis. Jason Boxel has it for $56. Tom Moran, you're out. If anybody else, if anybody else wants anything in there, let me know. Susie wants super hits. I'm going to bring over a new crate. Anybody else wants anything in there, let me know. Actually, I don't have the stuff in a crate. So let me just leave this right here. Matt Peavy's in on the miles at 70. Let me just bring the, the next bin of new vinyl. I literally can bring over by hand. So let me do that right quick. One of these is a new album by an artist. Uh, the other two is a restock. So let me go ahead and show the new Black Crows. This is Blue Oyster Cult, Ghost Stories. New release. Let me pull up the pre-order. I think I'm going to have one extra. I right, had to set one back for my cousin, who is a avid Blue Oyster Cult fan, and uh, he's much looking for that. So that left me with one extra. It actually got more pre-orders later after I posted it, and so that's why I don't have as many as I thought I would. But this is the new Blue Oyster Cult, and uh, I'll be getting more in. So let's start a waiting list for it. You may have missed the pre-order. Make sure you're in a whole lot of records. It was posted back on March 31st. Let me get a start uh, newest first. So this is Blue Oyster Cult. It's on clear vinyl. That's the indie exclusive. $34.99. New Blue Oyster Cult. Let's give one to Darren Wartman. Let's give one to Jerry Stone. Let's give one to Jeff Malwitz. These are on the pre-order. So Darren Wartman, Jerry Stone, and Jeff Malwitz. James Ludwig also gets one. James Ludwig and John Smetzer. John Smetzer, and that leaves one extra. So the names I read were pre-orders. Let's go back up to the top. We have an out on Elvis with Tom Moran. That means Jason Boxel has this for $56. Final call. Miles is at 70. Miles is at 75. Fred Carnell's out. Curtis Marachi first on BOC. Let's put Robert Phillippe on a waiting list. Let's put Jackie Ray on a waiting list. New bid on Miles Davis for 80. And we got a restock of Johnny B. Good, the original motion picture soundtrack, $26.99. And there has been a waiting list for this. I didn't think I would ever get any more. And I did. Uh, hmm. However, I haven't heard this by... I don't think this person's bought from us in a while. I don't know if they're even still active. Nobody's Fault. Hmm. I haven't seen that name in a while. Nobody's Fault. That's a YouTube. Let me just not tag them, and let's just say both of these are for sale. Johnny Be Good, unless Nobody's Fault is watching. Nobody's Fault. Are you watching? Johnny Be Good is $26.99 if anybody wants it. The, the way I found this is by looking up Kicks. It has a song by Kicks on it, and Judas Priest, and Saga, and Ted Nugent, and Frozen Ghost, Dirty Looks, John Astley, and that's how I found it. I was trying to find anything by Kicks that was in print. Of course, it's just that one album below my fuse. So this actually got some really good music on it. Judas Priest, Kicks, John Astley, like I said, Ted Nugent, Saga, Frozen Ghost. I'm going to go ahead and not tag that person and say I got two copies for $26.99. George Sher is out on Miles Davis. Matt Peavy is at $80. That's a final call. Let's go ahead and sell Elvis. That is sold to Jason Boxel for $56. Jason Boxel gets that for $56. I'm going to put it in a new sleeve and say that's sold to Jason. Johnny B. Good is $26.99. That soundtrack, David Tate wants one. If anybody else wants one, let me know. All right, and any word on Roger Waters Volume 1? No word on Roger Waters Volume 1. And Sean, I have not heard on the Pink Floyds yet. Those were, oh yes, those were pushed back. Those, I, I don't know if I commented on the post. We looked that up one night. Those were pushed back. Those were pushed back on that. Chad, just so you know, I got four tournament badges every year. Would you like to let me buy those? Would you like to transfer those over to me? I would greatly appreciate it. David Tate gets Johnny B. Good. I have one extra if anybody wants it. I have not seen Celine Dion. And we have Megadeth, Rust in Peace. $36.99. Haven't had this in a while. $36.99 for Megadeth, Rust in Peace. I'm about to sell Miles Davis. Matt Peavy has it for $80. Final call. Let's bring over a new Japanese auction, which is going to be yes. And I won't tell the other one because I'm not putting it up yet. So that is, why did I set one of those Johnny B. Goods out? I'm not for sure. Megadeth, though, is $36.99. Maybe because that was the last thing in there. $36.99 on Megadeth. 
$36.99, and there's one Johnny B. Good left. All right, let me set those aside. Here's our next Japanese auction. Yes, not on 125. This is a $35 start. Yes, not on 125. $35 start. The vinyl is near mint minus and pristine. There's the Japanese insert. There is, yes, another Japanese lyric insert. Nice cover of Obi. Owner of a Lonely Heart. $35 start. When I come back, I'm selling Miles Davis. That was really part two of new vinyl, just that little handful there. We sold out of the Bluest Occult. We have a waiting list. Uh, we have Megadeth. I can't believe those didn't sell. Rust and Peace. And uh, we got Johnny B. Good. Street date for Pink Floyd is 419. Yeah, Pink Floyd was put back. How was the Masters? Masters is an undescribable experience. However, it's brutal to walk. I mean, I, I usually walk or work out every night. Uh, elliptical treadmill, Stairmaster, do leg workouts, and especially where I have to stand here for so long. And me, Tanner, the other people I went with, they were absolutely were sore. I'm still sore. Messed up my back, my legs. A lot of people say golf isn't a sport. You go walk Augusta for two days, those guys have to do it for a week. It is incredible how, I mean, in shape people, I'm not saying I'm in shape, but even in shape people, I mean, it's tough for the pros. It is a brutal place to walk. Incline, slopes, it is remarkable though. It is the most manicured landscape piece of property in the world. It is not a piece of grass out of place. It is incredible. Uh, it's, it's undescribable. They have everything perfect. And if something's not perfect, they fix it immediately. It is, uh, it is, a, it is incredible. If you ever get a chance, you got to go. Even people who don't watch golf go just to look at it. Uh, Matt Peavy gets Miles Davis for $80. This is so to Matt Peavy. Of course, I've been an avid golf fan since I was a kid. So uh, the Masters Week. Masters Week is like, it's, it's, I won't get much sleep. But trying, but, but besides trying to work here <laughs> and watch every Masters coverage second I can, I won't be sleeping much. Night Ranger is our next Japanese pressing. This is Seven Wishes. $35 start. This is Night Ranger, Seven Wishes. $35 start. Night Ranger is a Japanese pressing. It has a Japanese booklet insert. It has a solicitation form, and it has a bonus flexi disc. Let's see who's on this. Sometimes they're different. It's like a hard rock sampler, it says. Let's see who's on this one. Uh... Let's see, Rat, who's on this one? Rat, ACDC, Dokken, Vandenberg, Raven, wow. So that's a Japanese like promotional flexi disc. So um, that's pretty incredible. $35 start, okay. Now let's go through a new crate of new vintage stuff. I have no idea what's in here, but we're about to find out, literally have not looked at these. Uh, let's go to, uh, back to yes. We had bids for 35, 40, 45, 47. Yes, 48, and then 49. Yes, 52. And we have Night Ranger 35. First collect, go purchase over the moon to get this. Love these auctions. Matt, I was about to say, I hadn't, I got back to you. I believe Matt Peavy was a first time buyer. Matt Peavy, welcome. Make sure you message our page, which is Collectco. I need your email address and your mailing address. Your email address and your mailing address, $7 in limited shipping all week. To me, it feels like Monday, but this is actually Wednesday. We'll be doing this tomorrow, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. First record is the Aztecs live at the AdLib Club. The greatest club we've ever been in. It has this kind of mention on the cover with the Beatles. Very, very cool. That's a 1964 mono, no condition notes, $29.99. The Aztecs live at the AdLib Club. $29.99. The Poppy Family, Which Way You Going, Billy? $17.99. No condition notes on anything in this bin. No condition notes. The Poppy Family is $17.99. And music from the soundtrack, The Wild Angels. Nice. Peter Fonda, Nancy Sinatra in that movie. That's a Canadian pressing, $24.99. And Killer on a Rampage, Eddie Grant, 
That has his hit song, Electric Avenue, on it. No condition notes on this one. A rich owner sleeve, $24.99. Let's move yes to a final call. Tony said he's out. Jamie Wills Erickson has that for $52. 90125. And Night Ranger has one bid and a final call to David Tate for $35. Curtis Maracci on Eddie Grant. Fred Carnell was second. We also have Attention Earth People. This is a 1985 UK psychobilly record, 1999. Attention Earth People, 1999. Definitely seeing some stuff already from that New Orleans collection. I hope that Paul kept you entertained the last couple of days while I was out of town. It appears that he did a very good job as always. Thank you, Paul. I should be here the rest of the week barring some unforeseen accident or incident, which I definitely don't hope happens. So I should be here the rest of the week. And so uh, Paul's leaving for a bond trip. So if I can't be here and Paul's on the bond trip, then we're not having a sale. But I'll be here the rest of the week. Y'all know I'm not going to miss any more sales. Fred Carnell gets attention, Earth people. Chris G said bird. And bird was for... What was Bird? That was, what was Bird, Chris G? Did I miss your, did I miss something? Wild Angels, I may have missed something there. Tracy Soinger wants the Poppy family. Sell that to Tracy Soinger. And we have Sanders Truck Stop, $29.99. This is a 69 white label promo. Sanders Truck Stop, that's Ed Sanders. I think he was in the Fugs. $29.99 for Sanders Truck Stop. And Bison Bop. The Bop That Never Stopped for a Real Rockin' Cat, Volume 23, 1999. One in your hand. Uh, well, I may, uh, there's a delay, so by the time you sent that, I've already moved on. We have Subnartic 39 Clocks, a 1982 German pressing, and that is 34.99, the Attention album. Okay, Fred Carnell was first. Fred Carnell was first of that one. And we have Illiterate Beach. No polyester, please. That's an 87 pressing. That's indie rock, $9.99. All right, let's sell yes. Let's put up some new Japanese auctions. Yes, so to Jamie Wills Erickson for $52. Thank you, Jamie Wills Erickson. That is so to you. And we're also going to go ahead and sell David Tate, the Night Ranger. David Tate's going to get the Night Ranger for that opening bid of $35, which is $35. All right, Paul's going to buy a Kiss collection, and then he's going to buy another collection, hopefully, that's... It's a really incredible batch of records. This guy kind of has all genres, kind of a curated collector collection, which is stuff we really like. You know, collect top copies, collects metal, collects soul, collects jazz, collects a little bit of everything and kind of curates really nice stuff. Lucas wants 39 clocks, and price on Wild Angels is $24.99. And Stephen, and for anybody else, there's no condition notes on anything in this bin. Let's show two more records. Rebel Rockabilly, Volume 2. Rebel Rockabilly, lots of amazing compilations from the New Orleans collection. This is 1999. Yes, there's one Johnny B. Good left. One Johnny B. Good left for $26.99. And the other new LP we still have is Megadeth, Rust and Peace. Let's get two new Japanese going. The other night, there was a lot of interest in this one. Santana Go Disc, which is a Santana compilation. $35 start again. It's got a foil cover. Very, very cool foil cover. Gatefold has pictures of the band, information, more pictures, and then lyrics. Has the uh, original insert with it, $35, or the original one or sleeve, I should say. And this one is beautiful. A top copy, $35 start. And then auction number two is Madonna True Blue. Madonna True Blue is also going up for auction. It's also a Japanese pressing, near mint minus and pristine. $35 start on this. I don't even have to show you. You know what near mint minus and pristine looks like. There's the LP. There's that Japanese insert. There's the cover and Obi. There we have it. Fred Carnell wants Rebel. Stephen A. Young says, uh, Stephen A. Young says Wild Angels. And then Stephen Freeze says, I'll take it. And that was for Johnny B. Good. That's for Johnny B. Good. All right, so we're caught up. We already have bids on both auctions right off the bat. Jason bid both on Santana and Madonna. And this is David Bowie, $64.99. $64.99. This is David Bowie, special radio series. David Bowie, this is a radio broadcast special series, promotional only with the Q sheet. It's a David Bowie 
a special five-volume set of radio specials. This one's David Bowie. So it has uh, information about what's on here, which is uh, the Scary Monsters album. Very unique piece if you're a Bowie collector. It's an RCA radio show about David Bowie, Scary Monsters. And I think it plays, it plays information from the, the radio, uh, like the radio broadcast. That's $64.99. Okay, Rare Rock from Canada. That's 1999. Rare Rock from Canada, 1999. Let me know if my mic gets worse and I'll swap it out. We have original 50s recordings, unknown rock and roll. More compilations, 1999, and we have Howlin' Wolf Live, 1975, nice, 39.99. Let me go ahead and swap out my mic. Let me go ahead and swap out my mic. All right, I'm also going to go over here and turn down this air conditioning because I turned it on. It was like 78 degrees in here. Now it's like... A meat locker. I don't know if y'all can hear it. We got some very powerful air conditionings here in the store. I'm just going to turn it off. I'd I'd rather be. Uh, I don't want to be cold doing a sale. Can't can't be cold hopping up records. Can't do it. Can't do it. All right. So let's go back to the top here. We had opening bids both from Jason Anderson. He was first, 35 and 35. Final calls, because no one else has bid. And then Steve Koch wants a rust and peace. These are new and sealed for $36.99. It's the newest repress. And then Howland Wolf is with Christopher Brusha. George Scher is second on Howland Wolf. Jason Boxel has bid 37 on Santana. Jason Boxel bid 37 on Santana. Continuing with this bin, Martha and the Muffins. Metro Music, VG Plus Condition, $14.99. VG Plus Condition, $14.99. And Snooky Pryor, Shake Your Boogie. That's a 1976 German pressing. Snooky Pryor, 1999 for Snooky. The Mystics, Dandies Are Back. The Mystics is a 1983 French pressing. That's a rock album, 1999. And Brownie McGee, Sonny Terry, Guitar Highway. Wow, that looks pretty cool on Verve Folkways, 34.99. Brownie McGee and Sonny Terry, Sonny Terry, Guitar Highway. Looks like they painted the stripes there on the road and... Jay, they just went ahead and striped the guitar too. All right, I'm good. I need to step back over here. I just realized I need a bottle of water too. All I drunk at the Masters was sweet tea for the last two days. That's why I was cramping too. I was like, oh, no more sweet tea. But it's very delicious when it's only like a buck fifty. Prices are crazy. You can you can eat for like you can eat lunch for like less than five dollars. That's like with candy, cookie chip sandwich it's crazy not your typical major sports event pricing at the masters santana's at 37 santana is uh at 38 madonna 37 madonna 38 uh does uh martha have echo beach on it martha and the muffins does it have echo beach it has first song echo beach yes paul it's on there back to the bin Mississippi Fred McDowell in London, Volume 2. There should be lots of blues albums tonight. Uh, 69 UK, 49.99. Mississippi Fred McDowell in London, Volume 2, 49.99. A 69 UK copy of Mississippi Fred McDowell. Down Home Blues, Louisiana Red, Lightning Hopkins, John Lee Hooker. Some of the artists on that one. That's an 84 UK pressing, 1999. New bid on Santana, 40. New bid on Madonna, 40. Paul Ogley wants Martha and the Muffins. George Scherer wants Mississippi Fred McDowell. Next is Madonna, another $40 bid. Christopher Brusha, first on this Lightning Hopkins Blues compilation. Jim Sadal, you were second. I thought I missed something about Brownie McGee. Did I miss something about Brownie McGee? I thought I saw a comment. I, I guess not. Never mind. Also, this is Blues by Lonnie Johnson, $34.99. Blues by Lonnie Johnson. That is a 84 blues album, $34.99. If it makes you feel any happy, a 24-ounce beer at the Spring Spring Show I went to on Sunday cost $24. Well, I don't drink. However, a beer at the Masters, I think, is either $4 or $6. It's pretty crazy because I know usually at events they're like $15, $20. Bucks. So speaking of that, I definitely need some water.
Okay. So, uh, Jim Sadal, you were, or excuse me, uh, David Graves, you were third on uh, Down Home Blues. George Sherry gets to Lonnie Johnson. And we have Madonna. Madonna is at $40. The first person to bid $40 was Jamie Wills Erickson. And then Jason Anderson's at $50 on Santana. Jason Boxel's at $51. Next is the meter, Strutton. The meters is sealed. That's 180 gram pressing. The meters, $29.99. Steel Mill, Green Eyed God. That looks interesting. That's a prog record, a 1996 UK record, $49.99. Steel Mill, Green Eyed God, $49.99. That is a pimento cheese sandwich, which I think is a buck seventy-five at the Masters. That's a pimento cheese sandwich. Buck seventy-five. 80s colors. That's $36.99, 80s colors. That looks interesting. A 1985 Italian pressing, $36.99 for 80s colors. Music for the Heart of Thinking, Doug and the Slugs, $19.99. Music for the Heart of Thinking, Doug and the Slugs, $19.99. Santana, $55. Madonna, $42. Santana, $56. Madonna, $50. $43 on Madonna. Why Pick on Me, The Standales. That's an original Tower Records pressing. $39.99, that's in mono, the Standales, $39.99, Santana 56, Madonna 53, Madonna 45, the Yum Yums, Sweet as Candy, that's Power Pop, a 1997 German pressing, $26.99, and Bad Seeds, Bad Seeds is a 1984 French pressing, $34.99, Bad Seeds, $34.99, $34.99, Frost Music, The Frost, this is $24.99. Frost Music, $24.99. All right, back up to the top. So last thing I said was uh, Madonna, 45. Santana, 56. Jason says he's out. And we have Seth Weeby on the Yum Yums. Seth Weeby on the Yum Yums. Bet you have to walk 10 miles to the bathroom. Actually, the bathrooms and concession stands are everywhere. The Masters has stuff hidden that you have no idea... You're within just a couple steps of a very nice restroom facility, literally everywhere. They have a full staff and every one of them constantly cleaning everything. I'm telling you, it's an unbelievable place. Everything is perfectly clean all the time, even the bathrooms, the concessions. There's like 15 people in the bathrooms constantly cleaning them, like constantly. Somebody comes out of a stall, Somebody goes in there and cleans it. It is incredible. The Monster Dance Hall Favorites, 1999, Volume 2. That's a cool cover. The Monster Dance Hall Favorites, 1999. There's over 9,000 volunteers they have working the day, uh, the week of the Masters, even for the practice rounds. There's over 9,000 volunteers. That does include the paid people. Uh, Bliss is a 2004 hard rock album, 59.99. Bliss. Now, when I say 2004, that's the year it was pressed. So, once again, a reminder, uh, all these albums, if I tell you the year, that's the year it was pressed. Some of these are reissues of rare vintage records, but the year I'm telling you is the year it was pressed, just FYI. Some of these may be reissues of like albums, otherwise it would be hundreds of dollars, just FYI. Uh, Garrett, you were second on the Yums. Uh, Jim Sadal first on Munster, Michelle second, Fred Carnell third, Jim B was fourth, Sin Alley heading for Vegas. That's a 1995 Belgian pressing. That's Psycho Billy, $49.99, $49.99. And Gore Gore Girls, the Gore Gore Girls, that's a garage album, 2001 white vinyl pressing, $29.99. The Gore Gore Girls. All right, let's end some auctions. Madonna is sold to Joe Maynard for $45. Joe Maynard gets that for $45. Let me put that in a new sleeve. That's sold to Joe Maynard and Santana is also officially sold. Santana is gone. Let's go disc, and that is sold to um, Jason, Jason Boxel. One of the Jasons, Jason Boxel, $56 on gold disc. Great Santana compilation. If you didn't get that one that time, we usually get that one quite often. Stay tuned. There might even be one another one tonight, but we have more Japanese stuff to get to on this. So let's go back up to the top. Uh, Fred Carnell wants Vegas and Gore. That's sold and sold. And we have two more LPs to put up for auction. 
right now. Two more LPs to put up for auction right now, which is going to be Elvis, Aloha via Hawaii. And we're going to put up a Queen, which is the Flash Gordon soundtrack. Two pretty cool ones here right now. Is there a major contrast between viewing, practice rounds, and tournament? And we have, did you say you can afford a membership at Augusta? Well, I will probably never get that opportunity because it's invite only. If you want to become a member at Augusta National, they have to invite you. It's exclusive. You, most of them are CEOs and billionaires, so it's very exclusive. Nobody knows how you get in. They just know that you have to be invited. This is the Flash Gordon soundtrack by Queen, and display it. I will answer your question in just a second. But this has the Japanese insert. It has another Japanese insert. It has the very cool original inner sleeve, Flash, aha. And this is going to be just a $35 start in boss cover with Obi. Very, very nice. $35 start on that. $35 start on that. And we have Elvis, Aloha via Satellite. Let me check the vinyl on this one. But I can tell you right off the bat, this is near mint minus and pristine. It is. Okay, very, very nice. Elvis, Aloha from Hawaii. And I think, uh, let me check the other disc. I thought one of these I was looking at had one kind of scuff, couple scuff marks. So let me make sure. I think this may be the one. Yeah, let's call this one more EX, okay? Let's not call this one. It has just a couple of scuffs there. Oh, I'll have more if I don't hold on to it. And right there. So yeah, $35 start on that one. But better than the other Elvis we had, this one's closer to EX. The other one I graded VG by US standards. This one would be EX... So probably um, it, it's, uh, it's very nice. It's nothing to fret over. It's just not absolutely perfect. Elvis Aloha via satellite. So there's another one, Gayfo of Obi. Okay, now let's show a few more LPs. We had uh, Flash Gordon's already got bids and Elvis. The Thugs, Alive at the Fillmore, that's $39.99. That is $39.99. Golden Field, The Thugs. Also, International Vicious Society. International Vicious Society, that's a Spanish pressing, $49.99. So many interesting records. I wish I could tell you more about them. You may have to research some of them. I think some people have been going back and trying to look some of these up, maybe hearing a sample and then finding out some really good music. Necro uh, Romantics in Psycho Color, Undead Live. That's a 2000 Denmark pressing sealed, $59.99. And the Speedos, A Dreaming Life, the Speedos, is a 1992 German pressing, Grockabilly, 1999. All right, so Flash Gordon had bids for 35, 36, 35, 38. Flash Gordon, 40. Elvis Presley, 35. Elvis Presley, 40. Elvis Presley, 50. Fred Carnell, first on the Fugs. That's so to Fred Carnell. Elvis Presley, 42. Flash Gordon, 40. Elvis, 55. Flash Gordon, 42. So Flash Gordon's at 42. Elvis is at 55. The Nomads, made in Japan, the Nomads is $79.99. That's a 96 Spanish pressing. That's a garage pressing. $79.99. Also, Billy Furry. Billy Furry. And this is a 1984 pressing. 1999. Billy Furry. 1999 on Billy. And we have Wild Billy Childish and his famous head coats. I am the object of your desire. $34.99. That's a 2000 UK garage record. $34.99. So Elvis has new bids for 60, and Flash Gordon has a new bid for 45. I'm going to go ahead and grab the next two Japanese pressings. I think we're a ways from a new one hitting the deck, but I'm going to go ahead and grab them and have them uh, on deck over here, which is going to be a Heart album, and it's also going to be a Journey album. So Heart and Journey's on deck. Uh, the reason I go to practice rounds at the Masters is because um, the, the players are a little bit more relaxed. Um, you still You get to sometimes kind of interact. They're much more willing to you know, cut up or say something or, you know, but during the tournament, it's so serious. They're under so much pressure. You don't get much out of them. Uh, if you, if you hit the, if you get there early enough, you can see about everybody you want to see. Like I got to see Tiger both days. I followed him around for nine holes the next day, saw him for about half of his round. Most of them play nine holes and then you can see them at the practice facility, et cetera. So I like practice rounds. It's very relaxed, laid back. You get to move around. The tournament, you know, you kind of, uh, you'll get to see everybody if you sit somewhere one day. But if I recommend going for the first time a practice round, Monday or Tuesday. 
the backbeats, all the fun in the world, if you can get access to tickets. An 83 electronic, 1983 electronic record. This is 1999. The backbeats, all the fun in the world, a 1983 electronic record, 1999. The meters, Cabbage Alley. The meters, that is sealed, unopened, $29.99 for the meters. And Real Cool Killers. That's an alternate rock album, a 1989 French pressing, $24.99. And the Elvis Medley. The Elvis Medley, 1999. Boy, I hadn't seen that in a while. That's an Elvis record on RCA, 1999 on the Elvis Medley. And the Fleetwoods Greatest Hits, $9.99. The Fleetwoods Greatest Hits. Retro Class Entertainment on the meters. There was another, uh, Rydell, there's another meters album in here earlier. I don't know if you saw it or not. All right, let's update Flash. Aha, Jason Boxel still has it for 45. Final call, Don Nicole was at 70 on Elvis. 70 on Elvis. That's a final call. Meters is sold. We have the beat, the real Ruth Brown, excuse me, the real Ruth Brown, 1999. Has a sticker on it that says Stereo LP. That's pretty cool. Stereo LP. It's on the cobblestone label, 1999. Burt Jordan gets the Elvis medley. Hadn't seen that in a while. That's sold to Burt Jordan. Also, the Dynamic Superiors. Pure Pleasure, that's a Motown record, a 1975 disco album, $24.99. The Dynamic Superiors, Pure Pleasure, 75 disco Motown, $24.99. The Best of Louie Louie, that's $24.99. That is sealed. It's never been open. I'm about to sell Flash Gordon. It's about to go to Jason Boxel for $45. And Elvis is a final call to Don Nicole for $70. About to sell that one. Retro Class Entertainment wants the Dynamic Superiors. That's sold to Retro Class Entertainment. Lincoln Chasing You, Lincoln Chasing You, that's a 73 promo album, $39.99, Lincoln Chasing You, do I have a name on this one, this is Lincoln Chase, Lincoln Chasing You, a white label promo, no condition notes on anything in here, that's $39.99, Paul Stevens, you were second to the discount Motown, and John Prine, Common Sense, $34.99 for Prine, John Prine, Common Sense, $34.99, just a generic wide inner sleeve, Flash, Aha, so did Jason Boxel, $45. Let's tag that for Jason. We have Elvis Aloha via satellite. That is sold to Don Nicole for $70. Elvis is sold. And let's go ahead and tag, or let's go ahead, this is tagged to Don. Thank you, Don. And let's go ahead and start two new auctions after I show two more new records. That's what I was going to say. That's sold. I have more Elvis Japanese pressings tonight. I've been trying to get more of these. Uh, not a lot of supply to pick from uh, when I'm uh, getting this stuff from Japan, but I try my best. Uh, the demand in Japanese vinyl, I'd say in the last five years, has exponentially increased. So it uh, seems like it's more difficult. However, we're still getting a steady weekly supply, supply luckily. Nick Bargeron gets John Prine. The Golden Age of Rhythm and Blues, 1999. That's a 2LP compilation. It is what it says it is. The Golden Age of Rhythm and Blues. Like nothing your ears have ever heard before. These have been very popular. That's volume four. That's volume four. That's $29.99. Like nothing your eyes have ever heard before. George Sher wants RB. That's Rhythm and Blues. That's so to George Sher. Next two Japanese auctions, Heart, Bad Animals. Heart has the OB with it, the vinyl, you guessed it, near mint minus and pristine. $35 start on Heart, Bad Animals. There's the Japanese insert covering OB, also very nice. Heart, $35, $35 start. Journey, Frontiers, Craig just shared the track listing. Separate Ways, Send Her My Love, Faithfully, Loaded With Hits. The cover is in shrink wrap. It has the Japanese insert with the OB, the vinyl, as you would expect, super nice, $35 start. There's the inserts from Japan. Those are three five on those. All right, we have Surfing Craze, the Fantastic Baggies, 1999, and Grand Funk, we're an American band. That's on gold vinyl. Grand Funk, we're an American band. That is on the yellow gold vinyl, $39.99, $39.99. That's Grand Funk, we're an American band. We're coming to your town, Grand Funk. All right, so Charlie bid 35 on heart, Dominic bid 45, James Vasquez bid 40. Are you still going to Japan next month? I don't know yet. Uh, my window of opportunity is closing, so um, it, it was uh, 
it was weird being away from the store for two or three days. I couldn't imagine seven or ten days uh, not being here at Coletco. I'm sure y'all couldn't imagine that either. <laughs> but uh, I, I, I got to get over there to do some uh, business uh, in Japan. But uh, uh, just being gone, five, even if I can do it in five days, which it's going to take to be efficient, at least seven that's going to be weird. So, all right, let's go through this crate one more time. I'm just going to read titles, so this will be very quickly. We have the Aztecs, also Sanders Truck Stop, Bison Bop, Subnautic 39 Clocks. I thought I pulled that already. I might have pulled the wrong record for somebody. Subnautic 39 Clocks. I did. I think I pulled Literate Beach instead of 39 Clocks for Lucas H. earlier. Lucas H. earlier. He gets... 39 clocks. I don't think anybody claimed Illiterate Beach. There's Illiterate Beach. There's the David Bowie record. Uh, Rare Rock from Canada. Unknown Rock and Roll. Lots of compilations. Snooky Pryor. We still got the Mystics. Brandy McGee. The Meters. That is uh, $29.99 sealed. Strutton. The Meters. Sealed. 180 gram pressing. Steel Mill. Green Eyed Lady. 80s Colors. Music for the Heart of Thinking. Doug and the Slugs. The Standales, Why I Pick on Me, Bad Seeds, The Frost, Bliss, The International Vicious Society, Necro Mo Romantics, The Speedos, The Nomads, Billy Furry, Wild Billy Childish, The Backbeats, Real Cool Killers. I don't remember showing that one. Real Cool Killers. Oh, yeah, that was that alternate rock album, $24.99, and The Fleetwood's Greatest Hits. All right, so Hart had a high bit of 45. Hart had a high bit of 45, then 50. Retro Class Entertainment said he will take that other Meters album. That's sold to Retro Class Entertainment, a.k.a. Rydell Martin. Seth will take care of everything for 10 days. Oh, boy. Well, we'd be out of business. Store would be burnt down, and uh, we'd have multiple lawsuits against us. Hearts at 52 and 55. Uh, Murphy, you were second on the Meters. Fred wants to know on the Necromantics. The Necromantics is... What was the Necromantics? Fred Carnell, the Necromantics Certified X. That is a sealed record, a 2000 Denmark pressing, $59.99. $59.99. Uh, the Real Ruth Brown, that's $19.99. What's the 80s colors? I think that's the name of the band. I don't really know. Let's go back to it. 80s colors. 80s colors. It is a compilation. Uh... Obscure artists for sure. Sick Rose, Party Kids, Double Deck 5, Technicolor Dream, Pression X. I'm assuming like maybe, I don't know, I'm assuming 80s New Wave, uh, Obscurities. It definitely looks like 80s looking groups. I'm going to say that's 80s New Waves Obscurities, but I don't know. Uh, Fred Carnell wants, uh, let's see here, pa 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 we have Necromantics. Necromantics is so to Fred Cardinal. And then uh, Dwayne Caldwell wants to know the information on Bliss. Bliss was a 2004 pressing. But like I said, this looks like it's a reissue of some other album. I don't know, though. Uh, I'm just going to say it's a 2004 pressing. It's $59.99. $59.99. Uh, Display Gore Gore Girls already sold. Fred Cardinal did a two-in-one claim when I first showed it. That's already sold. Gore, gore, girls. Gore, gore, girls. That's already sold. Uh, Lincoln Chase, uh, like nothing your ears have heard before. Surfing Craze, and then the Grand Funk. All right. So, Heart is about to be sold to James Vasquez for $55. Nobody bid on Journey. $35 buy it now. $35 buy it now on Journey. $35 buy it now on Journey. And I need to send one text message before I forget. Here we go. Let's see. Dead air. I hate it. Okay. So, uh, Robert Phillippe gets Journey for $35. That's so to Robert Phillippe. He was first to that for $35. Thank you, Robert Phillippe. And uh, we got a lot more to go to. Uh, so let me keep let me keep this train rolling. Robert Phillip against Journey. Jason was second. Michael Ling, you were 30. What's the Megadeth? This is a new restock. This is a new restock that came in today of Rust and Peace. $36.99. $36.99 on that. Rust and Peace. 
Bliss is a pop British pop roof in England, 1986. See, I bet that's a probably a 2004 reissue, unless they had an album come out in 2004. That's probably what's going on there. All right, so I have condensed those. Excellent. Now, let's bring over this, which is going to be very popular because we've already sold several, and I'm going to have to immediately uh, mark them, or I'm going to look up the price because there was a pre-order on it. And uh, the Megadeth restock is $36.99 if anybody wants them. I got four copies left. Rust in peace. And let's do the new Eagles. Let's do the new Eagles release. This is uh, going to be pretty popular. I think we've already pre-sold several. This is the Eagles, and this is called To the Limit. As in, take it to the limit. One more time. This is uh, a 6LP box set. The Definite Career Spanning Eagles Collection. A new release by the Eagles. That's always big. It's a 6LP box. Essentially, their best of the best, according to whoever curated this song list. <coughs> Excuse me. Whoever curated the song list. 6LPs, and there was a pre-order for it. They're $159.99. $159.99. 6LPs. The Essential Hits, Album Cuts, and Live Performances. So it's hits, album cuts, and live performances. There was a pre-order. I don't have these stickers, so make sure we write down the price. Rebecca, Jake, whoever watches this, $159.99. Let's give one to Stacy Brown. Let's give one to Stacy Brown. Let's give one to Catherine Lutz. She was on the pre-order. These people were on pre-orders. And then Brian Thompson, that's the first three. And I need to go ahead and swap out crates because this has filled up a crate quickly. Box sets will do that. Let me go grab a new empty one here. So uh, the Eagles, take it to the limit, $159.99. The next person was Nikki Cox. And then Fred Carr, excuse me, Chris Kirkley wants one. Chris Kirkley got one. Marsha French, Cynthia Herdron. That was everybody on the pre-order. So everybody got one. Nikki Cox, Chris, uh, Chris Kirkley, Martha French, and Cynthia Herdron. And I have two extras, Eagles to the limit. $159.99. So I've got two extras over here. New release for this Friday. New release for this Friday. $159.99. All right. So uh, let's go ahead and sell this heart album. Let's get two new auctions going. Heart is sold to James Vasquez for $55. James Vasquez gets this for $55. The Megadeth is just new and sealed. It's a new restock. It's the 2023 repress. It is $36.99. $36.99. All right, and so Hart, that's so to James Vasquez. I'm going to put Megadeth right over here if anybody decides they want any. I'm sure we'll get asked about it. And let's go ahead and put the Eagles over here. That's the to the limit. Two extra ones of those, 159 99ers. So let's get two new auctions. Let me go ahead and grab the next crate so everybody knows that we have some more stuff coming. And let me actually grab this other stuff that Laura marked. She got some, she has some non-check condition stuff in here and VG plus EX. Great job. Everybody's, uh, I think, yeah, let's bring over there. We still got three crates of new vintage stuff to go through. I don't think Paul unboxed any new vinyl, so we're probably expecting more uh, coming very soon. But first, we got a couple claims. Let me pull that surfing craze, and we have a claim for Megadeth. And while I'm over here, I'll grab our other Japanese auction, surfing craze. Is yes, sold. Here's Surfing Craze, and that's sold to Joe Maynard. That's sold to Joe Maynard, and let's give uh, Dustin Riviera Megadeth, and that is sold to Dustin Riviera. James Vasquez, you got the heart. I just sold it. We're going to put up some new stuff. The next new auction, let's go back to the front of the bin, and let's do, let's see here. Hmm, I got so many titles I could read off to you, but I'm just going to keep them a secret till I pull them out. Let's do The Journey Raised on Radio, and we'll do another Madonna album, which is Like a Virgin. We'll do two more Japanese auctions right now, just like the Van Halen song. This is Madonna Like a Virgin. Jerry, that was all of the new, new vinyl for today. I'm going to go through more new vinyl later, but that's all of it for today. Like a Virgin is in shrink wrap. The vinyl's near mint minus and pristine. It has the Japanese insert. It has another Japanese booklet with lyrics, and that is a $35 start. And then we have Journey, Raised on Radio. And this is also beautiful Japanese vinyl. 
Near Mint Minus and Pristine. Has another Japanese book with it. And it's in shrink wrap with hop sticker and obi. Raised on radio. $35 start on those. Okay, let's go through this bin. New vintage or pre-owned stuff. I'm very excited to see what's in here because I have no idea myself. I still got two of the new Eagles box sets, and I'm going to leave Megadeth sticking out right there in the corner. I bet by the end of the night, those last three copies are gone. They, they may still be there, but a Megadeth rest in peace restock usually just doesn't stay around all night. Country Gazette Live, $9.99. If I don't say anything about condition, if I don't say EX or VG or VG+, Plus, then they're all the same similar condition of EX+. Plus or near mint minus, which to us, that's a no non-condition note record. Country Gazette, we have Carla White Mood Swings, $14.99. Carla White Mood Swings, Jefferson, $9.99. That's on Janice, $9.99. Keith Jarrett, My Song, that is a promo copy. Keith Jarrett's a promo. That is $19.99, Eagles box set or wait list. Paul, I'll give you one right now. These are, once again, I'll remind you of the price, $159.99. One left, Eagles to the Limit, the Essential, the essential Collection. That's so to Paul Brothers. I have one left. A variety of country songs, Reno and Smiley, in shrink wrap, $9.99. Flat on Victor, Lester Flat, $9.99. That's RCA Victor label. That's uh, from the title. Another Lester Flat. This is Roland. Lester Flat is $9.99. And then we have Lester Flat and Earl Scruggs, The Foggy Mountain Boys. That is sealed. That's never been open. $19.99. Well, somebody just got lucky because there's three Lester Flat records in a, in a row. I was taking a peek there to make sure there wasn't four. That's three Lester Flat records in a row. So whoever has first dibs, you can claim all of them or you can claim one or you can pick. So just let me know. There's actually three there. Let's do an update on our auctions. I introduced a Journey and a Madonna. And Madonna had bids for 35. Journey had bids for 35. And then Journey has bids for 35. Madonna has a bid for 36. Madonna has a bid for 40. Madonna has a bid for 37. John Dorsey was flat first on Flat and Scruggs. So uh, John Dorsey, let me know if you want Flat on Victor, Roland or uh, Blue Ridge Cabin Home, or you can have all three. Jackie Reynolds is second, and she wants both. Uh, Journey is at 37, Madonna 42, Journey 40, Journey 42. John Dorsey says, give me the trio, all flat and scrugs. Those are sold and sold. Jerry Stone wants a rust and peace. Jerry, I'm glad you're still watching. This is sold to Jerry Stone. And we're also going to grab this other LP. Jerry, I'm going to go ahead and add this to your ticket. I'm still looking for the other item we discussed, but Jerry wanted, I'm, I'm going to make sure this is the one you're wa uh, you wanted while you're watching. You wanted now your book 88, right? So sell this to Jerry Stone. Also sell him a now your book 88, which Jerry, that's $54.99. That was the triple LP, now your book 88. And then the other thing you wanted, I uh, know what it is. It's the Dead Kennedys, Give Me Convenience or Give Me Death. I'm still looking for that, which it should be in one of these crates. I just don't know what's happened to them. Let me see if they're right over here. Aha, uh -huh, I have found the last one. We've sold two more in the store. I'm glad I grabbed it. This is the Dead Kennedys, Give Me Convenience or Give Me Death. I'm going to go ahead and tag this tonight so Rebecca and Jake know to put your name on it. So these two also sold to Jerry Stone. Dead Kennedys, Give Me Convenience or Give Me Death, and the Now Your Book 88. And now the Megadeths are gone. Jerry just kick-started a fire. The last two are also sold. Scott Marchheim wants one, and Randy Davis wants one. Now, if anybody wants on a waiting list, that will be for Megadeth, Rust in Peace. Those two just got sold. Now they're gone. Scott Marchheim and Randy Davis. Journey's at $47, and the high bid on Madonna, before I get back into the bin, Scott Ham has Madonna for $37. Scott Ham also has Journey for $47. Back to the bin. Laminar Flow, Roy Orbison. That is a specialty pressing, $11.99 for Roy Orbison. Banana Rama, I want you back. There, somebody wrote their name on the cover, Papo Ruiz. That's a German pressing, though, of Banana Rama, $9.99. And Richie Havens, Mixed Bag. Richie Havens is in shrink wrap, 
$9.99. I always like this album because it has this Woodstock mention at the front. The Woodstock showstopper, Handsome Johnny, included in this album, which is a Vietnam protest song, $9.99. Uh, George Scherer on RO, that's for Roy Orbison, that's so to George Scherer. George Scherer also wants Richie Havens, nice there. And we got new bids on Madonna for 40 and a new bid on Journey for 49 Mr. T, Conway Twitty, $11.99. This is a Gloversville pressing with the original insert, $11.99, and Grover Washington Jr. Paradise. Grover is also $9.99, red electric label, and that's a PRC Richmond pressing, $9.99. John Clemmer, Magic Moments, a Monarch pressing, 2LP, $9.99, and Philip Bailey is also $9.99 in shrink wrap, inside out, original on her sleeve, $9.99. Journey has a new bid for $50. Madonna's at $40. Now it's at $41 with Debbie Winston. So still active bidding going on on Journey and Madonna. Roche, or yeah, I guess that's Roche. Roche and the Sanos, the Sarnos, the Soros. Roche and the Sarnos. That's a UK import, $34.99. Understanding Sarno, interesting, on the Nervous label. That's on a label called Nervous. Spiritual Beggars. Spiritual Beggars is a Swedish import, $39.99. Spiritual Beggars, $39.99. Pink Floyd has been pushed back. The release date has been pushed back till uh, next week. Uh, lots of people, I need to go, let me go comment on, the, I thought I did comment on that post. Let me go do that right now. So it bump, not only does it bump it, but everybody, if anybody goes to that, they'll find out. Because you're the, you're the third person to ask, and I have maybe failed to post, or sometimes I edit the description, but people don't see that. They'll see a comment, though. Let me see if I commented. Uh, I didn't, but let me do that right now. New release date. Uh, new release date. New release date for this is 04-19-24. Okay, and that for that's on this right here. Make sure you're on the pre... I need to make sure I have enough ordered for everybody because it looks like it's going to be really popular. It's a new uh, 50th anniversary edition of Pink Floyd, Dark Side of the Moon that comes on... It's like picture disc, but it's clear vinyl. It's a... Uh, you read, If you read on the description, it'll explain it to you, but it's on some kind of new UV printing... You know, it it's, uh, appears to be very good. They're $56.99. It's a 2LP version, $56.99. So uh, lots of pre-orders on that. As you can see, those are everybody who pre-ordered. I got, golly, I got to make sure I have enough ordered. I didn't realize that many pre-orders was on it. Okay, looks like I got some work to do after the sale. We have Madonna at 38. We have George, Shor George Scherer on RH, which was, uh, he put RO and then RH, Oh, uh, that was for Richie Havens. I think I've already pulled that, right, George? Richie Havens? Yeah, I've already done that. Okay, there hadn't been a new claim then. No new claims. Uh, Giddy Up, Giddy Up Ding Along. No, excuse me. Giddy Up Ding Dong. Collector's Classics. Top 12 top recordings. A UK import, 1999. UK import, 1999. Paul McCartney, give my regards to Broad Street. A Carrollton pressing. McCartney is 1999. And Grass with a bunch of S's. 1999. Vocals by Robert Korff. Music from the soundtrack. No, that's Gas, not Grass. Gas. Gas, 1999. And Shaky Sam. Shaky Sam is a Netherland import, 29.99. Netherland import. Nervous Eaters. Hot steel and acid. That is sealed. It is shaped like a... What is that shaped like? A plate? I don't know what it's supposed to be shaped like, but it's a die-cut shaped circular cover. Sealed, $19.99. That's some interesting tracks on here. Uh, $29.99. Also, Twist in Time. 18 more of the craziest twist songs ever. That looks like a rare 45 compilation. $14.99. Madonna had new bids for 50 and then 51. We definitely need to update Journey. Journey's a final call to Scott Ham for 50. Tony Freeman, let me know if you want back in. That's a final call for 50 on Journey. 
with Scott Ham. Madonna got the 50 with Davey Winstead. Javi Soto wants the Banana Rama. That sold to Javi Soto. Then somebody asked, Giggs asked, how much was Mr. T? Mr. T was $11.99 shrink wrap with the original insert that came with it. Display It wants NE, Nervous Eaters. That sold to Display It. Madonna has a new bid for 51 We say, someone said that's a tambourine, a drum head, and a drum head. Okay. Yeah, I can see that now. I guess it's a drum head. Tambourine. I'm not for sure. Nervous Eaters, I was thinking like a plate or something. <laughs> it looks like a, but I don't know many plates that have a big gold rim around it. Okay, and then Tracy Soinger on Twist. That is told to Tracy Soinger. Also, Flatten Scruggs, more Flatten Scruggs. $11.99, Flatten Scruggs. We have REO Speedwagon, High Infidelity. That's in VG condition, $12.99. That's a Pittman pressing. VG condition, $12.99. And Wizards Brew, Ray Woods Wizard, VG Plus Condition, 1999, Wizards Brew, interesting. Freaking at the Freaker's Ball, Shell Silverstein, VG Condition, 999. We have an Adam Madonna, Scott Ham has that for 51. I'm going to wait on selling Journey, so I can go ahead and sell them both to Scott unless somebody else bids. He has Journey for 50, about to sell that, and Madonna for 51, about to sell that. Christopher Brusha gets the Shell Silverstein. That's sold to Christopher Brusha. The, the, infected. The last copy of this we auctioned. This is in VG Plus condition, $34.99. The, the, infected. VG Plus, $34.99. Nina Hagen, Nunsex Monk Rock. Yeah, Nunsex Monk Rock, Nina Hagen. That's in VG Plus condition, $19.99. That's a Canadian import. Rob Scheffler, you were second on Shell. And Blondie, Eat to the Beat. Blondie is in VG Plus condition, $19.99. Eat to the Beat. With the original on her sleeve, $19.99. All right. Both auctions have concluded. These are sold. No more bids. Scott Ham gets both of them. 50 on Journey, 51 on Madonna. I'll go ahead and grab sleeves and make that easier on me and sell those both at the same time. Thanks, everybody, for joining us on Wednesday night. We're going through some great, fantastic bins of new vintage arrivals. We've got new stuff right here we're showing right now. And we have a new vinyl, a various new vinyl I'm going to be showing next. We're going to be doing this every night. If you're new, welcome. We do $7 in limited shipping. Let's go ahead and sell Journey, though. That final call was for $50 to Scott Ham, and he gets Madonna here. That's also sold to Scott for $51. Those are sold and sold. I'll grab two new auctions, as usual, after I show two more records. And I got a couple claims to pull here, it looks like. Next new comment was uh, Paul Brothers on Nina Hagen and Tracy Swinger on Blondie. Two records sold. Next two records are Rabbit, spelt with a W, $9.99, no condition notes on that, and Def Leppard, high and dry, $34.99, a hot pog pressing, Original on her sleeve, OG Def Leopard, not a club. Original on her sleeve, $34.99. Wow. Usually pull those out and auction them. Those are sold. Shipping. Uh, right now, at the end of the week, it, it, it actually depends on the time of the week. At the end of the week, we're usually five days out. That's what we strive for. When a new week starts and through about Wednesday or Thursday, we're about seven to ten days out. But the good thing is, like, the next 48 hours, everybody here, the only thing they're doing is shipping. At least Brian and Doug and Ed and Tanner helps and Jake helps. So we really get caught up on Thursdays and especially Fridays. Um, but when a, Mondays and Tuesdays, we're like 7 or 10 days out. So if you kind of average that, we're usually about 7 days out on shipping. Um, so if you pay for an invoice... That's about the turnaround, and we're constantly working to improve that, uh, including with staff and methods we take. We're constantly working on improving it. The problem is, is we keep growing. We keep selling more and more, so whenever we get think we're doing something faster, the influx gets bigger and bigger, which I'm not complaining. Uh, it's actually a great thing, so we're constantly dealing with uh, more and more uh, uh, customers and orders, so it's a constant improvement for us. 
Rod Stewart's greatest hits. Japanese pressing, $35 start. Rod Stewart's greatest hits. Trust me, we have meetings, we talk about it, we have discussions about it, and uh, it's, it's literally a uh, how do we make Coletco better every day. Uh, Sticks, this is really cool. Japanese pressing, $35 start. This is Sticks Cornerstone. The vinyl is near mint minus and pristine. So we got a Rod Stewart's Greatest Hits, and we have a Sticks Cornerstone. Very nice thick jacket with Obi. We have uh, the original kind of foil insert that came with it. Very cool there. Gatefold, thick gatefold jacket. This is nothing like the U.S. jacket. This is a completely different jacket, almost a completely different packaging for this in Japan. $35 start on that. All right, let's go back up the top. I left off by saying Steve Koch gets Def Leppard. Jason second, Shannon M third, Ben Hutzel fourth, Scott Oman fifth, Robert Phillippe sixth, and we have Rod Stewart, 35. Billy Joe with a nylon curtain. A Carrollton press in shrink wrap with hop sticker. Original under sleeve. Joel, Billy Joel, $14.99. Pat Benatar in the heat of the night. Pat Benatar is $14.99. Pat Benatar is $14.99 in the heat of the night. John Cougar Mellencamp in shrink wrap with hop sticker featuring paper in fire. $14.99. Wow, that's some nice. Those right there were all nice looking records. Joel, Benatar, Mellencamp, and the Ataris. The Ataris. Anywhere but here. A black and yellow, a black and yellow swirl vinyl. That is how you spell Atari. Yeah, Ataris. That is $29.99. And this should be on yellow, black, kind of swirl merged vinyl there. All right, back up to the top. So Rod Stewart got a bid for 35, and then Sticks got a bid for 35. Brad Chapman wanted REO. I don't think there was an REO. Never mind, there was. Brad Chapman. Brad, have I sold to you before? Brad Chapman. I don't know if I have sold REO, or I don't know if I've sold you. I know possibly I haven't sold an REO speed wagon to you. Let me know, Brad, if you're a first time buyer. Uh, Rod has a new bid for 40. Carol Keys wants the Billy Joel. Those are very nice, clean copies and shrink wrap, complete hop stickers. That's sold to Carol Keys. John Smetzer on JC, John Cougar, Patrick Lear second, then Chris Roller. Uh, Clay Moore wants the Ataris. Display at second. Paul Bill third. And we have Incubus eight. Incubus is sealed. It's never been opened. $34.99 for Incubus. Doc Holiday, Modern Medicine. Now we've had some, we've had that first Doc Holiday album. I don't know if I've ever seen this one. Doc Holiday is $14.99. That's Brad's second time. Welcome back, Brad. Sorry I didn't remember your name. I've, I'm relying on a memory bank now of thousands of customers. I've got stored up here in my noggin, so forgive me on that. Wow, this is $74.99. This is that CA Quintet. I wonder if Paul knew this was back there. It's not an original. Uh, they recently reissued this, like a new 2024. We had it, or maybe 2023. This is $74.99. This is a 2LP version. This album is like at least $1,000, maybe a couple thousand dollars if you find an original. It's called Trip Through Hell CA Quintet. This is a 2LP version on red and blue vinyl. One LP is red and black smoke, and the other one is blue and black smoke. And this is CA Quint. CA Quintet Trip Through Hell, $74.99. Pretty sure originals are thousands of dollars. Not a thousand, but maybe thousands, maybe more than a thousand. Just FYI. Scott Beebe gets the Incubus. That's so to Scott BB. And we have Bill Samus on Pat Benatar. That's so to Bill Samus. Update on our auction. Sticks for the longest was at $35. No longer. We just got a new bid from Tim Turner. Scott's right back in at $37 with Scott Ham. Rod Stewart, though, is a final call. George Scherer has that for $40, and the Ataris have already sold. That is long gone. We have Los Contentos. Los Contentos is $34.99. Los Contentos, $34.99. The Collins Kids, introducing Larry and Lori. The Collins Kids is in mono, $24.99. That's a Carrollton Pressings, the Collins Kids. June and Lennon, the lot. That is sealed. It's never been opened. It does have a saw mark. $14.99 on June Lynn and Velot. It is sealed. And Radio Birdman, Radio Birdman, Radios Appear, and that is $54.99. That's an Australian import. 
a 1984 reissue, $54.99, $54.99. Rod Stewart at 41, Styx is at 40, and Rod Stewart is at 45. Rod Stewart is at 45. All right. So, uh, George Sherr is at 45, and Styx is at 40. All right. Thank you, Stephen, for you for the positive comments. I greatly appreciate it. I'm also going to be grabbing our next couple of auctions, but... Yes, my kind of job here as Coletco owner is managing our huge wave of growth we have every week. Literally, it's a week-to-week -week thing. Uh, everybody's trying to manage it. Uh, our shipping department, myself, my accountant, <laughs> the post office. <laughs> they're, everybody's trying to manage it better. Uh, Rod Stewart has a new bid for 46 and... Sticks has a high bid of 40 with Tim Turner. Scott says he's out, so that's a final call for $40. I'm going to read the titles that's left in here one more time, okay? I'm going to read these titles one more time. If you want a price, let me know. Here's our next bin of new vintage arrivals. We had Country Gazette Live, Carla White, Mood Swings, Jefferson, Keith Jarrett, a variety of country songs, Reno and Smiley, Grover Washington Jr., John Clemmer, Philip Bailey, Roche and the Sarnos, Spiritual Beggars, the Giddy Up a Ding Dong, 10 Inch Collector's Classics Compilation, Paul McCartney, Give My Regards to Broad Street, Gas, and Shaky Sam. Uncle Sam always gets his fair share, yes. We have Rod Stewart, 46, Rod Stewart, 48, and now Sticks is definitely a final call. Tim Turner, 40, Scott's out. We're about to sell that. We have Mr. T. We have Flat and Scruggs, Wizards Brew, Ray Wood, The The, Rabbit, Doc Holliday, C.A. Quintet, Los Contentos, The Collins Kids, Judy Lynn Lennon was sealed for $14.99, and Radio Birdman. John Dorsey picks up the Flat and Scruggs. He got all four Flat and Scruggs that was in there. I'm going to go ahead and set this crate off to the side. We have an out on one of our auctions, which means I think I'm just going to go ahead and end those because i got to move some crates around in the back anyway to get to some stuff back there. And let's go ahead and do those. All right. Fantastic. All right. So Rod Stewart. Rod Stewart is at uh, 48 with George Sure. Carol set out. That's sold for $48. That is sold for $48. And we have uh, Sticks also sold for $50. And Sticks was to uh, Tim Turner. Tim Turner, you get Sticks. Very nice. Cornerstone. Japanese pressing of the original foil insert. Thick gatefold jacket. Those are sold. All right. I think I'm going to go through. I think I'm going to go through this crate back here one more time because it has some great restocks in it. And what doesn't sell, I'm going to set it off to the side. Or remember where it's at because I'm going to put some of these records and you'll see who you'll see by what artist in just a second but let's uh, I still got two new crates of vintage stuff to go through but let me run through this crate right quick and grab our next auctions actually I have them right over here Bobby Moyes said Toto uh, let's see what happened here Bobby Moyes said Toto was that something in the bin or did I or are you just uh, uh, repeating my Odd, evidently odd pronunciation. How much was C.A. Quintet? It was uh, 30, uh, 70, 74 99 Like I said, there was a recent reissue of this. Paul, uh, Paul's the one who told me about it. Of course, originals are, like I said, thousands. It was $74.99. It's a 2LP version. The one that just came out, this is, I think, this is, yeah, this is a 1996 reissue. So that was, that's probably already kind of, that's probably just as scarce. No, it's not as scarce as the rare one, as the first one, but definitely still pretty limited edition. I think that's a 1996 Sundays. This um, New Orleans collection, as y'all have seen, the most rare, obscure, soul, funk, sock, just incredible stuff we've uh, been showing lately from this collection. It is deep in the genres for sure. Deep in the genres for sure on that one. Let's go ahead and put up Toto. This is our next auction. Speaking of them, Hold the Line, the hit song on here, $35 start. The vinyl is what you would expect, Near Mint Minus and Pristine. There's the original CBS Sony, Inner Sleeve. There's the Japanese insert. There's the cover of Obi. Toto's debut. 
their first LP, $35 start on that. And our next auction is REO Speedwagon, also known as Oreo Speedwagon. Oreo Speedwagon is a $35 start. I can't fight this feeling anymore. We've all heard that one. $35 start, near mint minus and pristine. Has a Japanese insert. It also has this cardboard insert. It's a cardboard insert. It looks like some kind of uh, item you would put on your turntable. It has maybe like a punch hole there. I think it's something literally you put on your turntable, uh, but I never have seen that one. So uh, there's the cover with Obi. That's a $35 start. All right. Uh, could someone give me the Def Leppard information? Def Leppard has already sold. And if I missed any other questions, just send them again. Just send them again if I missed the question. I don't think I did. But let's run through this bin very quickly. I have In Through the Outdoor, new sealed copies of Led Zeppelin. Led Zeppelin, folks. In Through the Outdoor, in the evening. This is Full in the Rain, 180 gram. That is $33.99. $33.99 for Led Zeppelin. Still got Alabama Shakes. That's a deluxe edition on 2LP, colored vinyl. Red, black, and pink colored vinyl. Alabama Shakes has an embossed cover, $39.99. I have one of those left. I still have Cinquanta. This is Pussifer, A Perfect Circle, and Failure. A 50th anniversary celebration for Maynard James Keenan, $46.99. White swirl vinyl, they're hand numbered on the back, $4.98 of 2000. That's $46.99. Also have Beastie Boys, Ill Communication. That's a 2LP remaster, $46.99. Ario Speedwagon has bids for $35 and now $40. No bid on Toto. Looking for a $35 start on that. And Eat the Elephant. Eat the Elephant, $46.99. Also a 2LP, new and sealed. And one copy left of Slash. That's live. Made in Stoke, featuring Miles Kennedy. 2LP gatefold. Slash is $36.99. Also got another Led Zeppelin restock, Presence. This is $33.99. Nobody's fault but mine. Let's not forget about Achilles' last stand. $33.99 on Led Zeppelin Presence. Also, the Virgin Suicide soundtrack. That's a new reissue. This was only a UK import. I think I had some of these before, and they were like $60 because they were an import. Now pressed in the States, or not an import at least. I don't know where they're pressed at. Uh, but it's $33.99. That's the Virgin Suicides. And the other Led Zeppelin in here was Physical Graffiti. Physical Graffiti. $44.99. 2LP, new and sealed. Physical Graffiti. $44.99 on that. Remaster. We have The Band, Music from Big Pink, the Deluxe Edition. A 50th Anniversary Super Deluxe. An amazing album. This is a really cool box set. $79.99. And one copy left of Joe Satriani. Not of this earth. Joe Satriani is $39.99, limited to $1,500 on blue vinyl. Wow, the chat. Uh, is this thing working? Test one, two. Uh, the only thing is Craig's two track listings, and that's the only thing in the last two minutes. Nobody else bid on REO Speedwagon. Final call for $40. Toto is the final call. No bid for $35. And the last record in this bin was Rush Moving Pictures, $39.99. Rush Moving Pictures. That's a half speed master. Gatefold jacket, $39.99. So we have Rush, Joe Satriani, The Band, Zeppelin, Virgin Suicides, Zeppelin, Slash, Perfect Circle, Beastie Boys, Cinquata, Alabama Shakes, and Led Zeppelin. Scott Beebe wants a Rush. Thank you, Scott. There is somebody alive out there. And let's slide this over. Let's go ahead and... Uh, we're about to sell Ario Speedway. I was wanting to make sure Jason Anderson was done. I hadn't heard back from him. And Scott Beebe got a rush. All those are still available. I wanted to pull that up front so I can remember to pull the Zeppelin albums out. I got to pull the Zeppelin albums and put it over there So um, in our Zeppelin rack. Now our Zeppelin rack is full. By the way, we got Led Zeppelin uh, 2, 3, 4, House of the Holy, Physical Graffiti, Presence and In Through the Outdoor. The only thing we can't keep in stock is Led Zeppelin 1. We're always, always needing copies of Led Zeppelin 1. Just can't quite keep those in stock. Let me bring over a new crate of vintage pre-owned stuff. A new crate of vintage pre-owned stuff. Let's do it right now. So, doesn't it look like everybody's too hot on that being a new vinyl. That's okay. I've probably sold most everybody in there something. And if you haven't got one, then I don't know why. 
Chad Van Horn wants in through the outdoor. Excellent. Let's sell one of those to Chad Van Horn. That's sold to Chad Van Horn. Let's end these auctions and put up some new ones. Nick Bargeron gets the Oreo Speedwagon for $40. Wheels are turning. Thank you, Nick Bargeron. And let's make Toto a buy it now. Buy it now. That is sold. If anybody claims it, for $35 for Toto, self-titled debut there. Jamie Wills Erickson on Slash, Maiden Stoke. Now we're selling a few things out of here. Maybe everybody needed to check their collection or maybe check their wallet first. Jamie Wills Erickson first on Slash, and Toto is a no-bid, $35 bot. Now Led Zeppelin's the only one, only one is Led Zeppelin one, the only one you need. Uh, the only way I can get it is a deluxe version, which I sell a bunch of those because... The Led Zeppelin 1, not the Super Deluxe, not the box set, but the Standard Deluxe is actually really cool because it includes a live full concert from Paris Olympia, 1969. And I can order those if anybody wants one. I probably need to go ahead and stock some more. But it's really cool. You get Led Zeppelin 1 remastered and a 2LP live concert. So it's a 3LP set for a a 3LP set for a, uh, I think they're $64.99 or $59.99, one of the two. Not bad. It's about $20 a disc. The Beatles. Let me check the condition of the vinyl right quick. This is Help. This is by Jap Japanese standards like a VG Plus or EX, just FYI. There's a scuff there. There's a couple stray marks. So this is a check condition, a check condition copy of the Beatles Help. Japanese vinyl, though, and OB and insert, $35 start. There's Help by the Beatles. It has a Japanese insert. It has the original black inner sleeve. Very cool back cover. That's something you won't see on the U.S. pressings. And it's a gatefold. Very cool. Help is a $35 start. Led Zeppelin 2 is $33.99, Brooks. $33.99. $33.99. DK's in on the Beatles at $40. And look what we have. Another Elvis, Aloha from Hawaii. And I think there's a different Elvis album that we hadn't put up yet. But this is also going to be a $35 start. Let's see what this one looks like. The last one we had was slightly check condition. Let's take a look at this one. And this is, I think this one's nice. Yeah, nothing wrong with that one. I think this one may be, I think we've sold the check condition copy. And I think this one is... Um, Near Mint Minus and Pristine. It is. This is a nice copy. Near Mint Minus and Pristine. Elvis, Aloha from Hawaii via satellite. Also a $35 start. Also a $35 start. Aloha from Hawaii via satellite. Gatefold with Obi. This is a really nice looking copy. $35 start. It looks like it has maybe one creased corner right here. Has one creased corner, one Dean corner right there. And uh, that's it. The OB actually does a really good job covering it up. That's now what for bid. All right, let's see what I've missed. Uh, the Beatles got a bid for 40. Brooks wants a Led Zeppelin 2. That's so to Brooks Valter. Man, there's no telling how many. I, I think this holds the record for the album Chad has listened to the most, especially in a row. I've tested copies of these before, RL copies, and listened to them like, no joke, just on repeat, literally for hours. So uh, it doesn't get old. It's like a fresh experience every time you listen to it, uh, especially the Lemon Song. The Lemon Song, that little breakdown they do right there in the middle, incredible. That's Led Zeppelin at their peak, all four members. That is sold to Brooks Valder. And the In Through the Outdoor is a new sealed copy. This is new and sealed, In Through the Outdoor. So it's 180 gram U.S. Jimmy Page remaster. New and sealed. Elvis has bids for 35 and 35, and the Beatles has a new bid for 41. That's where we're at. New vintage arrivals. We still got two full crates to go through. Wow, I don't see this very often. James Brown, Slaughter's Big Ripoff, a 73 Presswell pressing, 49.99. I've actually only seen a couple before. No condition notes either. James Brown, 49.99. That's pretty incredible. Also, back to back. This is an 83 French pressing, though. This is an 83 French pressing, steel. Beautiful vinyl. Look at that. James Brown, $34.99 on that one. And that's called Excitement, Mr. Dynamite. Excitement, Mr. Dynamite. 
34.99 on that James Brown. And we have 10cc's greatest hits. $24.99 for 10cc's greatest hits. Red Polydor label. Beautiful vinyl. $34.99 on that. Boy, that was heavy. I couldn't even pick it up. The Music People. 40 great hits by Columbia Records. It is $22.99. I think it's a triple LP. Lots of great music on here. $22.99. Orlando. You were first to James Brown, Orlando Martinez. Let me know. I know for sure you want that one. But let me know if you want this one as well or if you want both of them. Your pick, Orlando, just let me know. By the way, the new bid on Elvis is $50 and the high bid on the Beatles is $50. Both auctions are at $50. Boy, how many albums have those two artists sold combined? That's it. They're the, that's the two big dogs right there, Elvis and the Beatles. We have The Legend of the Yardbirds, 1999. The Legend of the Yardbirds, Volume 3, featuring Eric Clapton. And Jeff Beck, 1999 on that. Also, Best of Budgie, wow. 1982 UK pressing, 34.99. Best of Budgie, MCA, that is a UK pressing, 34.99. Also, we have Dr. Hook, Belly Up. Dr. Hook is 19.99. Chad, the birthday bot's back. Oh boy, was I here for the birthday bot? I'm not, I don't know if I know the birthday bot. Is that something that happened during Paul? We, uh, Paul text, luckily we was out of the Masters. Of course, we would have been by the time, but we had to block a couple people the other night on YouTube. I think a couple people were being unruly, so we got on there very quickly and removed them. And one person, I had a feeling it was going to happen eventually anyway, so... Uh, so, let me block bots. We block bots and unruly behavior, especially if it's negativity. All right, let's block the bot. Blocking the bot. Where are you, John Ross? John Ross. All right. We do not care about your birthday. Unless you are a Coletco customer. Then we'll give you a shout-out. Otherwise, you could care less, Mr. Bot. All right, let's go back up to the top. We have Orlando saying he just takes that first James Brown record. Very, very cool. That's so to Orlando Martinez. And then we had a, a new bid on Elvis for 56. And then this crate is full. Let me go ahead and swap out crates before I pull Susie the Yardbirds. But that's going to be the next bin. Susie gets the Yardbirds, Susie Breed Love, and then John Oliver got the Budgie, and then James Bragg second on the Yardbirds, and we have Brad Moore. You were second on Budgie. The high bid on, or third on Budgie, the high bid on Elvis was 70, and I don't think anybody else has bid on the Beatles. The Beatles is a final call to DK Evans for $50. Okay, price on Mr. Excitement. Mr. Excitement, this was an 83 French pressing, $34.99. Let's keep rolling. We have The Creatures of the Golden Dawn. The Creatures of the Golden Dawn is a 2006. That's a garage album, $29.99. Uh, Fun Hunt, Richard Hale and the Voivods, live at CBGB's and Max's. A 92 French pressing, 2 LP, $34.99. Let It All Hang Out, Volume 1, $19.99. John Cale, Church of Anthrax, Terry Riley. John Cale and Terry Riley, Church of Anthrax, $24.99. <clears throat> Excuse me. And we have, wow, Dr. Seuss presents Yertle the Turtle, $19.99. That's an RCA Camden Living Stereo. That's pretty cool. Let me mute my mic right quick before I choke to death. All right. By the way, I, I'm going to try to do late night poster night. I told everybody we would when I come back. Uh, the other night, we found some incredible posters. We found some Bruce Lee. Uh, we found an original Cool Hand Luke, which is now, the I guess, the current record for most expensive movie poster we've sold here. Uh, we found a cool, a cool Hand Luke movie poster, which is uh, rare and pricey. And... Um, 
yeah, if you can stick around till midnight, uh, come back. We'll do posters. Hopefully, uh, I got. I hadn't been here in a couple of days. I really don't know where that tub is anymore, but I hope I can find it. So, I also have an extraordinary to do list. Uh, William Meadows wants 10 CC's greatest hits. Let's sell that to William Meadows. Next is Henry Paredes on Dr. Seuss. Christopher Brush is second. Susie Breedlove third. Michelle Miller fourth. Pressing notes on the kale. Lucas, the kale, uh, I don't think it's a 70, uh, just by the way it looks and feels. Yeah, it's on that newer Columbia. It's a new pressing. I don't, ha I don't know exactly which one, but that's not an original. It's not an original. It don't, it don't have a, it don't have any other date on it though. It says 1970, but that's the original date. Uh, Jenny Pinnell wants let it hang out. That's sort of Jenny Pinnell, and uh, we're about to sell both these auctions as soon as I show two more records. This is Bloodwin Pig. A head wings out. Bloodwin Pig, twenty nine ninety nine. She's just rocking. That's an eighty seven UK. That's a compilation of album of rockabilly. She's just rocking. 87 UK, 1999. Sammy Lawhorn, After Hour. Sammy Lawhorn is a 1980 French pressing, 24.99. The Trogs, Black Bottom, 1999 on the Trogs. And the Acrylic Tones, Above the Streets and Houses. That's a mod record, a 97 UK pressing, 14.99. We have a question on help, but let's go ahead and sell Elvis then. Elvis is sold to Tracy Soinger for $70. And the high bid on the Beatles, if anybody wants to bid, uh, John Smitzer, actually, let me know if you do. If not, I'm going to go ahead and have to sell it. The high bid is with DK Evans. He's had that quite some time for $50. It's a check condition copy. It's not pristine. It's uh, by Japanese standards like a VG+, Plus, maybe an EX. Uh, by anything else, you'll be very happy with it. Just FYI. Let me go ahead and put this in a new uh, sleeve. And we have a couple claims. First is George H. on She Rockin'. Let's go ahead and sell that to George H. I had a cool cover on it with the upright bass and the hot rod there. Definitely rockabilly. That's sold to George H. Christopher Brusha on the Trogs. And let's go ahead and sell this to DK Evans for $50. I'll grab two new auctions. As soon as I show, what, maybe two more records? Beatles is gone. Uh, so to DK Evans, and let's show a couple more records. We have Zorch Factor 3. Wow, look at that cover. That's a Psychobilly album, a 1988 UK pressing, 1999. Zork or Zorch, one of the two, 1999. And Highway Child, Rick Neufeld. That is a 1971 pressing, sealed, 1999. Bloodwood Pig, label and condition. Bloodwind Pig label and condition. Let's go over here to the gatefold. Let's take a look at it. It's on the Tan A&M Records. No condition notes. That was at least EX Plus on that one. At least EX Plus on that one. Charlie DeFrank. All right. Paul Ogley first on Zorch. And then James Bragg was second and Jim B was third. Now, that was two records. So let me grab our next two Japanese pressings. Now I'll go ahead and read off some stuff in here. Peter Frampton, John Lennon, Cheap Trick, Creedence Clearwater Revival, Live, Loverboy, Power Station, Phil Collins, uh, uh, Joy to the World, and Creedence. I'll stop right there. I can't read them all. They're still pretty much a full crate of Japanese stuff. But let's do the Three Dog Night Greatest Hits. One is the Loneliest Number, Shambhala. This is a Near Mint Minus and Pristine Japanese Vinyl. Great music on here, of course. Three Dog Nights, Greatest Hits, $35 start, just an old-fashioned love song. What's that other one? Uh, Let Me Serenade You, I think is what it's called. And then this is Credence Clearwater Revival. That's a $35 start. And this is Live in Europe, CCR, Live in Europe. Vinyl is beautiful. That's a 2LP. That's a 2LP. There's the original on her sleeves that it came with. And then here's the book, CCR, Live in Europe, 2LP. $35 start, $35 start. We got requests for Cheap Trick and CCR, or excuse me, Cheap Trick and Power Station. I'll do those next. There's those two. And, ooh, sorry, neck adjustment. That is sold to Charlie DeFrank. Is a perfect circle from the previous bin still available? So how much? $46.99, 2LP, a perfect circle. 
Eat the Elephant. I've got two copies left. Back to the bin. Sonny Rollins, Easy Living, 1999. Sonny Rollins, Easy Living, 1999. That's on the Milestone label, 1999. Mike Brangle takes a perfect circle. There's one copy left of a perfect circle. Let's sell that one to Mike Brangle. Also, Jerky Turkey, We Are So Cute, Rock and Bones, a 2000 Italian, 2001 Italian pressing. That is a punk record, 1499 for Turkey Jerky. The Falcons, You're So Fine. The Falcons is 1999, 1999 on the Falcons. Also, an 88 Denmark pressing, Beat Rock of Who. This is called, well, see if I can make this out. I, I was trying to read that for a second. Couldn't quite make it out. It looks like Beat Crazy. Beat Crazy. I think it looks like Beat Crazy. The label didn't help me out much. Let me look at the label one more time. This says, yep, Beat Crazy. I don't know if that's an artist or a comp. I'm not real for sure on that one. Also, uh, the Pop Revens, the Pop Rivens, MT Sounds from Anarchy Ranch. That is 1999. 2004 UK, White Vinyl Punk, Beat Crazy. Craig confirmed that one for me. I Feel So Bad, The Blues of Eddie Taylor. A 72 pressing, $39.99 on the Advent label. I Feel So Bad, The Blues of Eddie Taylor, $39.99. That looks interesting. The Ch Chicans, Second Thoughts, an 86 UK album. That's Garage, $24.99. And Pine Top Perkins, Pine Top is just top. Pine Top is $19.99. Update on these auctions. Since I've been gone, CCR got bids for $40, $35, $37. 50, 53, 55, 60, 57, 62, 65. Wow, no one bid on Three Dog Night. $35 buy it now. $35 buy it now on Three Dog Night. Leslie Holt, price on Beat Crazy. Beat Crazy is $19.99. $19.99. Patrick Lear wants Pine Top Perkins. That's sold to Patrick Lear. We also have Jimmy Reed, Got Me Dizzy. Jimmy Reed is an 81 UK pressing, sealed, never been opened. $26.99. Robert Phillip is going to pick up the Three Dog Knot for a buy it now $35. I figured somebody would. Three Dog Knot is sold to Robert Phillip for $35. Sell that. Oh, that was a wild noise I heard outside. It sounded like a cat squealing, but also like a bottle rocket that went right by the front door. So I don't know what that was. However, this is sold to. Robert Phillippe for $35. Jeffrey Sapia was second. We have Leslie Holt says, I'll take it. That was on Beat Crazy. CCR now has a high bid of 70, and we have a question. Label on the Falcons. It says Lupine Productions presents. It's on Flick Recording Company. 65 East Forest Avenue, Detroit, Michigan. The Falcons. 1999. CCR is at $75. Just one quick reminder, there is a... Buy it now. This was our only no bid so far tonight. Toto is a $35 buy it now, their debut LP. Let's go ahead and do the cheap trick. It was the next request and then um, the uh, power station, but let's go ahead and put this up. This is cheap trick in color, always popular. Very cool cover too. Uh, we had a fully autographed one of these one time. I don't know who ended up with it, but we sold it right here. Somebody has it in their collection. This is Cheap Trick in color, near mint minus and pristine Japanese pressing. It has the Japanese insert, or the, yeah, it has the Japanese insert and the original inner sleeve that came with it. $35 start. Cheap Trick in color, $35 start. Final call on CCR, $75. We're about to sell it. Kyra, here I am. I always am. Kyra is $39.99, a 98 UK sealed garage album. That is Kyra, here I am, always I am. I always am. Uh, Sonny Terry, Robin the Grave. Sonny Terry is $19.99. Also, Attack. This is called Final Days. Attack is a 2001 Italian pressing, sealed. $49.99 for Attack. The Mojo's Working. Then 82 UK. That's a beat rock record, $19.99. Paul Stevens wants Eddie Taylor. That was from earlier. That was the Blues of Eddie Taylor. That's so to Paul Stevens. 
and we have Giant Sand, Long Stem Rant, a 1989 Southern Rock album, $29.99. No one has bid on Cheap Trick. Final call before I make it a buy it now. Let's go ahead and sell Steve Coke the CCR live in Europe. Very, very nice copy there. That's sold to Steve Coke for $75. Thank you, Steve. That is sold to you. Let me put this in a new sleeve for you. And if anybody wants a Cheap Trick, final call. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and move that one to its final position, and then I will get some new Japanese stuff started in just a second. Wednesday night, it's 9.36 Central Time. If you haven't already, please do us one favor. Like the Facebook post. Please like the YouTube video. Make sure you followed and subscribed everywhere possible on all of our social medias. That's plural because we have several. But first, I'm going to sell the Chicanes to Christopher Allen. That's so to Christopher Allen. The only lick I know, Chris Spedding. That is a 72 UK copy, $64.99. Interesting. Chris Spedding, the only lick I know, EMI Harvest Label, $64.99. And Heavy the World. Heavy the World is a 1987 Stoner Rock, $34.99. Wow, I've never seen anything labeled Stoner Rock from the 80s. Usually it's like 2000s onward. All right, nobody bid on Cheap Trick. $35 buy now. That is extremely surprising. $35 buy now, though. It's a first come, first serve. We'll see if somebody was waiting for the buy now or maybe who missed out on it. We're about to find out. But first, let me just go ahead and tag this to uh, Jeff Malwitz. CT, he got it. Cheap Trick. That's so to Jeff Malwitz for a $35 buy now. That's sold to Jeff Malwitz for a $35 buy it now. Next is James Bragg. He wants Heavy the World. That's sold to James Bragg. Rami Lou second on Cheap Trick. A-Rod was third. Our next Japanese auction is Power Station. This is going to be a $35 start. The vinyl is near mint minus and pristine. Cover with Obi. Power Station, $35 start. $35 start. That's now for bid. And this is a really cool John Lennon compilation. It's called... The John Lennon Collection. Excellent track listing here. Imagine, Jealous Guy, Stand By Me, Just Like Starting Over, Woman, Beautiful Boy, Watching the Wheels, Give Peace a Chance, Instant Karma, Whatever Gets You to the Night, Number Nine Dream, Mind Games, Happy Xmas. I didn't read them all. There's the original on her sleeve. There's the cover of Obi. The John Lennon Collection is a $35 start. Great compilation there. Power Station already has bids for 35, 35, and 40. And we have the only lick I know. That's so to James Bragg. That's so to James Bragg. It was right there up front. All right. We have the the stair the staircase. The how do you say that? 1999 UK Garage Album. 1988. 1988 UK Garage Album. I think that says the staircase, but it's just spelled odd. The stay, the stayer case, <laughs> stay our case, 1999. The dentist, wow, they literally have a band for everything. This is the dentist, uh, 85 UK rock album, 99.99. The dentist, I need to send you, I need to send a picture of this to my dentist. He may want to buy it, frame it, put it in his. Wow, The Big Valley. I've never seen that before. Original music from the soundtrack, The Big Valley, $29.99. The Big Valley, $29.99. That, that's interesting. And Leaving It All Behind. Leaving It All Behind is a compilation, a 2000 Italian pressing, $34.99. Very interesting. Up at the top, Power Station was at 45, John Lennon 35, Power Station 47, Power Station 50. Paul Ogley wants the stay case or something like that. James Bragg was second. And we have Radio Birdman, Radios Appear. That's $24.99. That's an unofficial pressing, $24.99. John Lennon's at 40. Also, Nasty Rockabilly. And this one has literally pornography on the cover. That's why we have sticky notes all over it. $49.99 on Nasty Rockabilly Volume 20. $49.99. Trilogy 3, I'm Beginning to Feel It. That is a 1970 white label promo. Trilogy 3, 
I'm beginning to feel it. It's actually just trilogy. That's it's not trilogy three. Three means trilogy, right? They have a little three Roman numeral underneath their logo. So that is uh, $39.99. Okay. Paul Ogley was not claiming it, but James Bragg was. So don't sell this to Paul Ogley. Give it to James Bragg, and that was the staircase. Give that to James Bragg, the staircase. Okay. And then John Lennon had a new bid for 40 George H. wants the nasty rockabilly. That's so to George H. Fred Carnell was second. Uh, Monsters of the Midwest, Volume 2. Lost Tracks from the Action 60s. I bet that's pretty good. An 85 Garage Comp, $29.99 for Monsters of the Midwest. And Sounds of the 60s, San Francisco Part 2. Sounds of the 60s, Sounds of the 60s, $29.99. So a uh, clarify on these auctions. John Lennon's at 40 with Tony Samuelson. Final call. Power Station is at 50 with Jamie's Wills Erickson. Final call. And I was just making sure Joe Maynard was done bidding. Jamie Wills has it for 50. Christopher Brusha wants SF. SF was San Francisco. Sounds the 60s. Midwest Monsters goes to James Bragg. New bid on John Lennon for 42. Gunshot, the Fireballs on gold vinyl. Gunshot, the Fireballs, that's a older Sunday's reissue. 1999. And Screaming Broccoli. Screaming Broccoli is a punk album. 1999. John Lennon has new bids, and so does Power Station. Uh, John Lennon has a bid for 42. Power Station has a bid for 52. Power Station has a bid for 55. John Lennon has a bid for 54. All righty. So the only thing I'm going to do now is read the titles that's left in here. Christopher Brusher wants Broccoli. Paul Ogley was second. I'm going to read the titles that's left in here. If you wanted information again, if you want or need information again, just let me know. Or if you want to go ahead and claim it, be my guest. Here's what's left in here. The Music People, which is a 40-track, I believe, 3LP Columbia compilation. Santana, New Riders, REO Speedwagon, The Birds, Bob Dylan, Jeff Begg, BOC, Blood, Sweat, and Tears, Redbone, Spirit, Beautiful Day, Dr. Hook, 10 Years After, Wayne Cocker and the CC Riders, and that's just kind of a sample. Uh, Dr. Hook, Belly Up. We also have Excitement, James Brown, a couple of... There, I'm surprised they're still there. The Creatures of the Golden Dawn. Uh, Richard Hale and the Voivods. Kind of surprised that's still there. John Kale, Terry Riley. Sammy Lawhorn, The Acrylic Tones. Highway Child, Rick Newfield. Sonny Rollins. Also, We Are So Cute. Turkey Jerky Turkey. The Pop Rivets. Yeah, the Pop Rivets. I think I was saying Rivets earlier. Now I understand that sounded very dumb. The Pop Rivets. Jimmy Reed, Got Me Dizzy, The Falcons, Kyra, also Sonny Terry, Robin the Grave, and Attack. Okay, so we had Power Station 55, Joe was out, John Lennon 45, and then Brahmi lose out on John Lennon and Power Station. So John Lennon's at 45 and Power Station's at 55. Those are final calls. 90125 Japanese RSL. Yes, that's gone. George H. says, Which Richard Hale? That was... Fun Hunt, Fun Hunt, Richard Hale and the Voivods, live at CBGB's and Max's. That's a 92 French pressing, $34.99. Also, The Mojo's Working, Giant Sand, Long Stem Rant, The Dentist, Leaving It All Behind, Music from the Soundtrack, The Big Valley, that's interesting, Radio Birdman, Trilogy, and Gunshot. He said he will take the Richard Hell. All right, let's sell Power Station. That's gone. That's sold to Jamie Wills Erickson for $55. Jamie Wills Erickson gets that for $55. I'm putting it in a new sleeve right now. If anybody wants anything else in there, just let me know. But this is sold, and so is John Lennon to Tony Samuelson, and that's sold for $45. That's sold for $45. Fred Cardinal was second on Richard Hell and the Voivods. Tomorrow is Thursday. We should have plenty of incredible metal auctions tomorrow. So back to metal auctions for tomorrow night. Let me go ahead and condense this bin with the other leftovers I had there. I'm going to go through a new crate right now, new vintage stuff. Going to grab some new auctions while I'm over here doing a little bit of condensing. Got to do some condensing. Got to 
free up some crates. We got plenty in the back, but I don't want to walk to the back. And let's put up a Paul McCartney and let's put up a Phil Collins, both with really cool headshots of the front of their faces. McCartney and Collins. This is Phil Collins, no jack required. It is a near mint, minus and pristine Japanese pressing. There's the LP, there's the Japanese insert, there's the cover of Obi, $35 start. And we have McCartney 2. McCartney 2 is also a Japanese pressing. There's the vinyl, there's the Japanese booklet insert, gatefold cover, $35 start. $35 start. All right, music people price, and let's go ahead and let's look for that. Music people price. Let me find that. Music people price. That must be something in the last bin. Music people price. Music people price. Music people price. Aha, that's that compilation. $22.99. $22.99 on that. $22.99. All right, so, um, new crate. Uh, I may run, let's see what we got here. I wish I could show that stuff, but it's not in a crate. Um, maybe this bin right here next to me. That way I can show the new arrivals one more time. So, very quickly in here. Uh, we had the ABBA 10 LP box set. That's pretty much the complete works of ABBA. By the way, they're making an ABBA pinball machine. Uh, they're going to be like $14,000, I think, but they're making one. Uh, $184.99. Weezer is $34.99. The Blue Album. Lindsey Buckingham box is $114.99. The Best of Bob Marley, $36.99. New Mace Casey Musgraves. That's called Deeper Well, $39.99. Boston. Their self-titled debut, $28.99. Wings, Greatest Hits. We had the Japanese pressing earlier, $33.99. Dixie Chicks, Wide Open Spaces, $29.99. Nirvana Unplugged, $36. Gregory Isaacs is $33. Joan Jett, I Love Rock and Roll, $29.99. And there's only three records left from tonight out of all of our new, new vinyl rivals. Pantera, Cowboys from Hell, one copy left, $33.99. Sleep Token, Take Me Back to Eden, $38.99. And one Eagles box set left, the Essential Collection, to the limit, and that's $159.99. We have Chris Leggero on Joan Jett for $29.99. That's sold to Chris Leggero. Chris Leggero also wants the Cowboys from Hell, and Carol Keys wants Sleep Token. And Garrett Seifert wants six ABBA pinball machines. That will be a grand total of about $80,000 after tax, freight, and shipping. You can just send that via your credit card. All righty. This is sold, which is the Music People. That's sold to Jackie Reynolds, and Randy Davis gets that last Eagles box set for $159.99. You wasn't on the pre-order, right, Randy? I don't think I said your name earlier. Sell that to Randy. It is gone, and was it Motorhead if I'm on the list? Motorhead Overkill. Yeah, I need to check on that. That was an old waiting list. I just searched Motorhead on my spreadsheet, and there's some old stuff on here. Eventually, I just delete it, uh, but actually, Ken, you're top of the list still. I need to see if I can get that from a different distributor. Arthur Wyman and Ken Crooker. Yeah, you're the, those are the two people on that one, so. All right. Um, these auctions do not have bids. When I come back, and I show a few records. If no one claims anything, I'm making them buy it now for $35. So there's Phil Collins with Paul McCartney. I went through that crate of new vinyl extremely quick. Extremely quick. Excuse my slurred speech. I'm actually just got... My body just told me I need a monster. I think uh, uh, this wave of... Uh, actually, a little bit of... A couple of sleepy eyes have hit me. Hope that doesn't happen to y'all. I need everybody awake. We got at least one more bin of new vintage rivals here. Then I got to do some, what, half-off stuff or some sort of discount. And I don't know about poster night tonight. I hadn't really, I didn't make a post. I guarantee there's people wanting me to do it, though, right? But uh, after missing two days, I have realized I have a tremendous, an absolutely tremendous amount of stuff to do, so including getting ready for auctions because Paul's not going to be here tomorrow. We need metal priced. We need metal 
researched. We need lots of stuff. So, um, let me, I need to send one more text message right quick to Tanner. I think he's asleep, but, um, Okay, so uh, uh, no, okay, posters one more night. All right, uh, right, Tanner, Paul. Yeah, Paul did a really good job. I uh, hadn't got to talk to him much. He's about to go out of town off. He tells y'all about that kind of stuff, but he's about to go buy some great records. All right, these are buy it nows. So uh, Paul and Phil are buying nails for $35. No bids, $35 buy it now. There's Phil Collins, no jack required, $35 buy it now. And McCartney 2 is a $35 buy it now. Those are buy it nows. I'll tag those in just a second. I'll put up new auctions. Let's show a few records. We have Annette's Beach Party. Annette's Beach Party is in VG condition, $14.99. Annette's Beach Party, VG condition, $14.99. The Sting is in VG condition. $9.99. The Sting, VG Condition, $9.99. Rainbow, Richie Blackmore's Rainbow, VG Condition, $14.99 for Richie Blackmore's Rainbow, VG Condition, $14.99. And Overdog, Keith Hartley Band. This is a check condition band. It looks like nice. Looks like there's going to be some great uh, records in here. Keith Hartley, VG. We had Rainbow. We had the Sting soundtrack and Annette's Beach Party. That's the first few records in there. Let me tag these Japanese records that sold via Buy It Now. And uh, let me figure out who was first on what. The first thing on what was Jamie Wills Erickson was first on Maca. That's McCartney, too. That's going to Jamie for a $35 Buy It Now. And Steve Coke gets the feel, the Phil Collins. All right, so that's sold to Steve Coke. Nice quick grabs there on Buy It Now. It's $35. I got some Japanese stuff. That has already sold tonight that I had duplicate copies of. I'm about to bring some of that over there and slip in some Japanese buy it nows so we don't have to re-auction the same records. Uh, Leslie, you were second on Paul. Patrick Lear, third. And then Lazarus, first on Rainbow. That sold to Lazarus. Christopher Brush, second. George H., first on Annette. Edwin, second on Rainbow. Christopher Brush on Keith Hartley. That just leaves the classic Steen soundtrack. That's the Ragtime Music by Scott Joplin. I do have another Elvis in here, which we have not shown tonight. That's the way it is. And there's actually a Bruce Lee soundtrack in here. A Bruce Lee soundtrack. And I am going to go ahead and bring over one bite now. We've already had this tonight. This is another one. Near Mint in Shrink Wrap. Toto is a $35 bite now. That's Toto 4. That's with Africa in Shrink Wrap. $35 bite now. $35 buy it now. Let's go ahead and put up our next Japanese auctions. This is Elvis the way it is. Let me check the condition. These Elvis records, when we do get them, it's been tough to get them on pristine vinyl. Some of them have been check condition, but this one's nice, actually. This one, I really don't see anything wrong with this Elvis. That's called Elvis, that's the way it is. I like that saying. That's just the way it is. I know a guy we bought a lot of records from. We bought his collection. We, he had so many we had to buy in pieces, but that was his favorite saying. That's just the way it is. This is a gatefold with Obi. It has uh, lyrics on the insert in the inside. I thought it had a book with it, but maybe I'm just crazy. That's Elvis, $35 start. Just a little bit of discoloration on the inside. And take a look at this. Return of the Dragon. Return of the Dragon. Bruce Lee with Obi. Bruce Lee movie. This is not Bruce Lee singing or making karate noises. This is Fist of Fury, the Big Boss original soundtrack. It does have an obi. It looks like at one point it was folded in half. It looks like it was folded in half. So there is a crease on it. The vinyl's beautiful though. $35 start. It has a book with it. Return of the Dragon, Fist of Fury. $35 start. I gotta get really educated on these. Bruce Lee movies and soundtracks. Fist of Fear of the Big Boss. Really cool. $35 start. All right, now somebody did grab Toto for a buy it now, and that was uh, Mike Torres. Mike Torres gets Toto for That's so to Mike Torres. $35 buy it now. All right. 
That's just the way it is. Bruce Hornsby. Bruce Hornsby, yep. All right. Uh, Glenn Taylor, stand by. I may have one more Toto. If so, I'll make sure you're okay with it. Um, I think we're caught up. All right, let's keep... This looks like it's going to be a great crate. Let's keep going through it. Clarence Frogman Henry, Bourbon Street, New Orleans. VG Plus condition, $14.99. Clarence Frogman Henry, VG Plus, $14.99. Mel Brown, Blues for We. Mel Brown is in VG condition. It's a 69 pressing. $34.99, male brown, blues for we. That's VG condition, $34.99. George Sheriff wants Clarence Henry. We have a bid on the Bruce Lee soundtrack for $35. No bid on Elvis. Looking for a $35 bid on Elvis. No bid right now. The Fugs, it crawled into my hand. Honest, VG $24.99. Mark Lent gets the male brown. So to Mark Lent. And Love Means, Carla Thomas, VG condition, $14.99. Love Means... Carla Thomas. Interesting. Never had that one before. VG condition, $14.99. All right. I'm going to pull our next two auctions, which is Great White. Great White. <laughs> if I can spit it out, and Night Ranger. But first, I got another buy now that has already been claimed. And I think there was another record in here we've already auctioned. And there is... There's two of them, actually. So I'll do that one in just a second. But first, let me get our auctions on deck. We got a Great White on deck, and we have a Night Ranger on deck. And then Toto, uh, Glenn Taylor, I got one for you right here. Sell this uh, Toto 4 to Glenn Taylor. It is same thing, in shrink, just a very nice copy from J Japan. You can tell when a Japanese record originally came shrink-wrapped. A lot of Japanese records didn't come shrink-wrapped. A lot of them didn't come sealed. You could tell when they did come sealed over there because most of them were left in shrink wrap, the way people uh, cared for their records over there. So let's go ahead and sell this to Glenn Taylor for $35 as well. And then we had George Scherer. We pulled mail. Patrick Lear, you were second on mail. And Glenn says he'll take it. John Dorsey, Elvis is that's the way it is. No condition notes. Insert, Obi. Looking for a $35 start. It has no bids, surprisingly. And Bruce Lee is a final call to Jeffrey Sapia for $35. All right, let's keep going here. I don't think there's been more claims. There's another, The Fugs, VG Plus Condition, $29.99. Bo Diddley, hey, good looking. Bo Diddley is a 65 pressing, VG Condition, $29.99. And we have some kind of metal here. Uh, Prime Evil, Venom. Venom Prison, Prime Veil, Prime Vol. Cool colored, of course, it's metal. It always They always have great colored vinyl. EX2499, Christopher Brush on Bo Diddley, Patrick Lear, you were second. And Homemade Ice Cream, Tony Joe White, VG Condition, 3499. It is a white label promo. Give me one second. I'm replying to a very important text message. All right. This is extremely urgent. Like fate of Coletco urgent. No, fate of Coletco's show tomorrow urgent. VG condition 34.99. We have My Son, the Surf Nut. VG Condition, 1999. This looks very interesting. Is that Griffin as in uh, Griffin artwork as in Rick Griffin? Has this got Rick Griffin artwork on it? VG Condition, 1999. That's what it looks like. Does it say on here? Um, surely it credits them somewhere. Uh, I don't see any credit, though. It has to be, though. I'm pretty sure. Uh, next, God Bless Tiny Tim. VG Plus Condition, $24.99. VG Plus Condition, $24.99. And Toussaint McCall, Make Love to Me. Toussaint McCall, a 1976 Soul Funk album. VG Condition, $64.99. Toussaint McCall, Make Love to Me. VG Condition, 
$64.99. All right, back up at the top, we have Jeffrey Sapia. You've been out to bid on Bruce Lee. There's a new bid with Michael Ruttman, $36. Nobody bid on Elvis. If anybody wants that, it's a $35 buy now on Elvis. George H. gets the son, my son, the surf nut. Christopher Brush, are you second? That is Rick Griffin artwork. Little Girl, Syndicate of Sound. Syndicate of Sound does have some cover damage up there in the corner. The vinyl's in VG Plus condition. It is a white label promo. White label promo. Little Girl, Syndicate of Sound, VG Plus, $26.99. Romilu is going to pick up the Elvis for $35. Jeffrey Sapia is backing on the Bruce Lee at $37. If... Um, who was the other bidder on that? Michael Ruttman, let me know if you want back in. I'm grabbing a new sleeve for the Elvis. That's so to Rami Lou for $35. Robert Phillippe, you were second. And the new high bid, once again, on that Bruce Lee is $37. Now, $40 with Michael Ruttman. Let's get our next auction going. Let's delay this no longer. Let's go ahead and do the Great White. I should have done this earlier, like three hours ago earlier. This is a Japanese, yes, this is a Japanese pressing of Great White self-titled. As you may or may not know, for some reason, the Great White catalog is not in print, which means none of these albums have really seen reissues. They're very desirable. 80s hard rock slash 80s metal. $35 start for Great, rock, Great White. $35 start. The vinyl is beautiful. Beautiful vinyl. It has a Japanese insert with it. There's the cover embossed. $35 start on that. George H. on Syndicate of Sound. Uh, Kelly Bagwell, you're second. Bruce has a high bid of 42. Great White has bids very quickly for 35, now 45. This is Blick DD Black, Mississippi Blue Moss, or Mass. Wow, that's a 73 Funk Soul album, a 1973 Funk Soul album, VG condition, $24.99. Has a Unipack sleeve. Very interesting. VG condition, $24.99. I bet that's interesting. Blood, Sweat, and Tears. Child is Father of the Man. A lot of people think their first album is a self-titled one. It's not. This is actually their first album. Blood, Sweat, and Tears. Child is Father to the Man. Original label, too. VG999. And The Plastic Cow Goes Moo. Wow, there's some wild stuff in here. The Plastic Cow Goes Moo. Uh, goes Moog. Excuse me. Play on words there. Goes Moog. That's a 69 Moog record. Moog Synthesizer record. VG Plus Condition, $19.99. Wow. VG Plus, $19.99. Plastic Cow Goes Moog. And Uma Samak, or I think, YMA, Uma Samak, Legend of the Javaro. VG Plus Condition, $14.99. And Clyde McFadder, Rock and Cry. Clyde is in VG Plus Condition, $14.99. Let's update these auctions. The last thing I said was Bruce Lee at $42. Then Great White got bids for $35 and $45, and then $40, then $40, then $50. Bruce Lee got another bump for $43. Great White, $55. Great White, $55. Glenn Taylor on Blood, Sweat, and Tears. That's so to Glenn Taylor. Christopher Brusha on The Cow Moog. Then John Dorsey. Then Rob Scheffler. Great White, $65. And The Birds, Fifth Dimension. VG Condition, $17.99. Also on the original label and in mono, it is in VG condition. It's $17.99, $17.99. I am shaking up this monster. Don't worry, it's non-carbonated, so it's not going to explode all over the records. But there is the monster rehab, and I definitely need it right now. I've got master's fatigue. That's a real thing. And traveling fatigue. Augusta is about a six-hour drive from here. And we drove it. All right. I'm going to mute my mic for 20 seconds. Make that 10. All right. George H., first on the birds. Great White, 75. Bruce Lee, 45. So new bids on both auctions. Bruce Lee, 45. Great White, 75. Wow. Twisting the Night Away, Sam Cook. A 62 Indianapolis Press, VG condition, $24.99. Twisting the Night Away. Never see those in any condition. 
VG condition, $12.99. Queen, a day at the races. EX condition, $29.99. Queen, a day at the races. EX condition, $29.99. Wow, again, Bob Marley, Burning, The Whalers, VG Condition, $19.99. And Charlie Hayden, Liberation Music Orchestra, Arrangements by Carla Bla, or Blay. That's a UK pressing, VG Plus, $14.99. Let's update. Bruce Lee was at 45, Michael Ruttman, Jeffrey Sapia, you were outbid. Jim Sadal on SC for Sam Cooke, then Christopher Brusha. Sandy Mile first on Queen. That's so to Sandy Mile. Bru uh, Jeffrey Sapia backing on Bruce Lee at 46. Bob Mar uh, Bob almost said Bob Ogley. Paul Ogley gets to Bob Marley. A Rod was second. Final call on a great white. We got a couple outs now since Craig Proper has bid 75. Final call, final call to Craig Proper, $75. Gentle Giant, three friends. Gentle Giant is in VG condition, $9.99. The Sound of Wilson Pickett, VG Plus, $29.99. Wow, another soul album we don't see too often. On the original label, in any condition, VG condition, $29.99. We have uh, Bruce Lee at $47, Great White at $80, and Christopher Brusha on GG for Gentle Giant. Great White has another $80 bid, so two people's tied at $80. And we have Memphis Slim, Southside Reunion, featuring Buddy Guy and Junior Wells. That's a 72 white label promo. 72 white label promo. VG Plus condition, $39.99. That doesn't come through very often. My daughter's a reporter in Augusta covering the Masters. She works for, well, that's cool. I might have seen her at the course yesterday or Monday. Uh, Patrick Lear gets to Wilson Pickett. We have Memphis Slim going to Christopher Brusha. Bruce Lee has a new bid for 50. Great White has a new bid for 85. Sandy Mile, you got Queen. Did I not get Queen? Did I get Queen? Yes, you did get Queen. Patrick Lear, you were second on Buddy Guy. Uh, Otis Spann, The Blues Never Die. A 65 mono on Prestige. VG Plus, $29.99. Wow, again. Can you show the metal record again? I can. It was called Venom Prison. Prime Vol. Almost said Prime Evil, but it's Prime Val or Prime Vol, which is limited to 200 copies on emerald green with bone splatter. Emerald green with bone splatter. And that is EX2499. Great White's at 90. Bruce is at 55. George Scherer on OS. Otis. So to George, uh, I don't know what that says. It's an unofficial Christmas heritage. Did I say Christmas? Christmas? Heritage Christmas. Heritage Christmas, interesting. It's an unofficial pressing, whatever it is, 1999. Joshua Fox. Almost said there's nothing on the cover, but there's a little dog peeping out of the side right there. There's definitely some cover damage. It's a 69 prog rock album in VG condition. Obviously has cover damage. $14.99, a 69 prog rock album on Tetragrammaton Records. VG, $14.99. Wow. Bob Seger, Brand New Morning. A 71 Canadian pressing. VG condition, $49.99. Bob Seger, Brand New Morning. A Canadian pressing. VG condition, $49.99. Wow, I've been wowed a lot in this bin. Here's another one. Fleetwood Mac, their debut LP. A 69 pressing. VG condition, $49.99. Fleetwood Mac, yellow epic label. Fleetwood Mac, VG condition, $49.99. I lost track of wows in that bin. Those were legitimate reaction wows. Like, wow. Hollywood Max, 69 debut. All righty. I uh, had to step away for a second. Let's go back over here and update these auctions. So the Fist of Fury, Big Boss original soundtrack, Return of the Dragon, was at $55 with Michael Ruckman. And then Great White got to $100. And then Bruce Lee got a new bid for $57.
Great White got a bid for 105. Jeffrey Dunlap, you're out bid. Craig Proper's at 105. And Michael Ruttman, you're out on Bruce Lee. Jeffrey Sapia has it for 57. Clyde Von Kloss wants Xmas. Is that a claim for this one right here, the Heritage Christmas? If it is, let me know. And then we have Robert Phillippe on Fleetwood Mac. Still got the Hard to Get Seeger album there. I'm going to run through that bin one more time. I may go ahead and just do a full recap of that bin because there are some great titles still left to be in there. And I'm going to also do some stretching right quick. I definitely need to. I'm sure y'all didn't want to hear all that uh, bone popping I just did. Okay, Robert Phillippe got the Fleetwood Mac. Uh, Scott Old Man says PV if Luke doesn't want it. PV if Luke doesn't want it. And what was PV? Uh, oh, the metal record. I don't think Luke wants it, but Luke, if you don't want, if you do want Prime Val, let me know. Luke Rosenberger. If not, then Scott Old Man wants this. Clyde Van Kloss. Clyde, have you bought from us before? The Heritage Christmas album is going to be so to you. Let me know if you've bought from us before. I don't think I've said your name. So I'm going to go ahead and tag this to Claude Von Kloss. And I'll see if he's a first-time buyer. Scott Oman gets the Prime Vial. That's sold to Scott uh, Oman. He says he's bought from us before. Okay, thank you and welcome back. Uh, Michael's out on the Bruce Lee. Final call to Jeffrey Sapia for $57. And the Great White's now at $115. All right. Will there be more hard rock or metal tonight? Well, as usual, we never know. Uh, not Probably not a big night for metal tonight. Most of that will be tomorrow, uh, especially on the auction block back here. But as usual, we never know what's in these bins. I try to keep it where I don't know or you don't know to keep it interesting. So here's what's left in here. The Sting soundtrack. VG999, The Fugs, It Crawled Into My Hand, Honest, VG2499, Love Means, Carla Thomas, VG1499, The Fugs, VG2999, Homemade Ice Cream, Tony Joe White, VG3499, God Bless Tiny Tim, that's VG2499 on God Bless Tiny Tim. We also have Toussaint McCall, Make Love to Me, VG Condition $64.99. Buck DD Black Mississippi Blue Mass, a 73 Funk Soul album, VG $24.99. Uma Sumak is VG Plus $14.99. Clyde McFadder, VG Plus $14.99. Charlie Hayden, VG Plus $14.99. Joshua Fox, VG $14.99. And Bob Seeger, Brand New Morning, a 71 Canadian Pressing, VG $49.99. First, the uh, Bruce Lee album is sold to Jeffrey Sapia for $57. That's very cool. And now it's sold to Jeffrey Sapia for $57. And the Great White is also sold now that Craig Proper's out. That's sold to Jeffrey Dunlap for $115. Those are sold and sold. I'll put up two new Japanese pressings in just a second. We're nowhere near, near done tonight. I think we're about to do some discount bins, which are always exciting. So if anybody else wants anything in this bin, I'm going to go ahead and condense it over here with some other stuff that was left over from the night. Usually around this time of the night, I would be doing some new, um, I would show you some uh, what's left of new, new vinyl, but there's really only two things left, I think. But first, let me go ahead and introduce our next auction, which is Night Ranger, Midnight Madness. The vinyl is near mint minus and pristine, and this is a Japanese pressing. This is the album that has... Sister Christian on it, of course. There's the Japanese insert. There's the cover with Obi. $35 start. I'll grab another one in just a second. Just FYI, we're about to do a half-off bin. So don't go anywhere. That's always interesting. Let me make sure there's not uh, some more over here. Here's kind of tonight's agenda. I've got a half-off bin. I think we may go through the first bin of new arrivals from tonight and do buy it now best offer when we do a recap since I don't have any new vinyl other new vinyl to recap. Uh, I am going to go ahead and fill up this first bin here of uh, 
uh, records to do probably half off. I got some stuff here that's been around for a while. Working on chipping away some half off stuff so we can clear out room in these bins. We got so much great new LPs now from these collections that are still sitting around. So we got to get to some of that. Um, let me grab a couple more handfuls. We're going to do some quick half off stuff. Definitely need a new empty crate right quick, but uh, we'll get to that in one second. So here's how the half off bins work. I'm going to show you a record. I'm going to tell you a price. The price I tell you will be the discount price. Some of, some of these were probably originally marked 30 and now they're going to be 15. A lot of them were probably marked like 10 or 15 and they're about to be 5 or 750. Just FYI. Just FYI on that. So let's see what we have going on here. Price on ABBA box set. ABBA is $184.99. That's the 10 LP box. $184.99. Uh, nobody bid on Night Ranger. $35 buy it now. I'll go ahead and make that a buy it now so I can put up two new ones. Nobody bid on it. We have an offer on the two Fugs albums. Let me take a look at those. We have one for $29.99 and we have one for VG $24.99. Let's go ahead and sell those to Brent Ribley. Let's sell both of these to Brent for $40. Those are sold to Brent. $40 for the pair. Sold. We have Night Ranger also sold to Scott O'Man for a $35 buy now. And I'm going to put that one in this next blue crate and definitely grab a new crate because this thing has got full very quickly all of a sudden with the Fugs and now the Night Ranger. Scott O'Man first to that. All righty. Let me set this over here. Oh, that's got heavy. I put, I probably put too many in that one. There's uh, some full crates for us tonight. That's been excellent. Uh, let me go ahead and sh show some half-off stuff, and then I'll put up two new auctions. Great start. We had a Japanese pressing earlier. Cornerstone by Styx. VG Plus condition, $7.50. The best of the doobies, volume two. No condition notes, that's $7.50. And Bob Dylan's Greatest Hits, volume two. That's two LPs of Dylan's Greatest Hits, volume two. No condition notes, that makes that $20. $20 off. And Lacey J. Dalton Highway Diner. Lacey J. Dalton, no condition notes, $7.50. Let me step over here and grab some more Japanese pressing. Let's do something we hadn't done before, like this Rod Stewart. And let's see something else we hadn't done tonight. We haven't done the Eurythmics. So uh, chipping away at this bin, though, almost the whole bin of Japanese stuff sold tonight. About 50 or 60 auctions we're probably going to end up going through. But first, here is Rod Stewart, absolutely live. This is a 2LP Japanese pressing with the original inner sleeves and inserts. Rod Stewart, absolutely alive. Great track listing on this one, too. 2LPs of music. It has the original uh, printed inner sleeves with it and the Japanese inserts. $35 start on that. Gatefold with Obi. Nice. Rod Stewart, absolutely live. $35 start. And then we have the Arithmics. The Arithmics is a $35 start. The vinyl. Like I said, near it minus and pristine. If I can get my hands to open the sleeve, extremely nice. There's the vinyl, there's the Japanese insert. The Arithmics is a $35 start, and this is Be Yourself Tonight. There's Rod, there's the Arithmics. All right, Sandy Mile on D for Dylan or Doobies. Let me know if that was for Dylan or Doobies. And then Corey Gaston was next on Doobies and George next on Dylan. So we'll wait and see if Sandy wants Dylan or the Doobies. And we still got Sticks and Lacey J. Dalton. Half off LPs, we have, this is unopened. It is sealed. Silhouette Music Dedication, Volume 2. Ten bucks on that. Ten dollars on that. Sandy Mile wants the Doobie Brothers. That's so to Sandy Mile. That's our first half off record. $7.50. Bob Dylan is going to George H. We have a bid on the Arithmics. We had the bid on the Arithmics for $35. Also, Van Morrison, Hard Nose the Highway. Van Morrison is $17.50. No condition notes on Van Morrison. $17.50 on that. Roy Orbison, Laminar Flow in Shrink Wrap, $13.50. $13.50. That's a really nice copy in Shrink Wrap, original inner sleeve. The material, everything I want to say. The material is a 2013 clear with blue haze pressing. Now $6.50. 
the material, $6.50. Superfood Bambino. Bambino is sealed, most likely on white vinyl, $12.50. And we have Tex and the Horseheads, Life So Cool, now just $15. Now just $15. It's an 85 U.S. pressing, Tex and the Horseheads, $15 on that one. Uh, Eurythmics has new bids for 37 now 40 Patrick Lear wants the Roy Orbison. That's so to Patrick Lear. And we have another Sticks Cornerstone. No condition notes on this one. $10. The first one we had was VG plus 750 George H. first on Tex and the Horseheads. And we have Yes Songs. Oh, I hate to see this half off. Now 20 bucks. It's a triple LP live Yes album. No condition notes either. $20 on that. I'm going to mute my mic for one second, take a drink of this. All right. We have uh, Christopher Onzo on the material. That's so to Christopher Onzo. Patrick Lear first on yes. Rachel, you were second on material. And we have Melissa Manchester, mathematics, $5 on that. Your Rhythmics just got a new bid, but I'll tell you what doesn't have a bid. That's Rod Stewart, absolutely live, 2LP, now a $35 buy now. $35 buy now on Rod Stewart. That's a no bid if anybody wants it. Three five. Thirty-five dollar buy it now on Rod Stewart. If anybody wants that, thirty-five dollar buy it now. Let me put this in its sleeve, and it's sold to George Share for thirty-five dollars. That had some of those Faces songs on it. That sold to George Share for thirty-five dollars. All righty. Uh, Eurythmics just got a new bid for fifty. A Rod, you were second on Rod, <laughs> and. At half off is Rough Riders First Lady, E-V-E. That's a 1999 pressing, 2LP. That's $15. We have Nantucket, Long Way to the Top, if you want to rock and roll. It's just Long Way to the Top. That's $10 on Nantucket. Tony Orlando and Don, $5. Shrink Wrap and Hop Sticker. This Diamond Ring, Gary Lewis and the Playboy, $7.50 for Gary Lewis. This Diamond Ring, $7.50 on that. Kenny Rogers, The Heart of the Matter, $5 on Kenny Rogers, and Carmelian. Carmelian's in VG condition, $10. The World's Greatest Gospel Singer, Mahalia Jackson, $5 on Mahalia Jackson. So they're still battling it out over the Eurythmics. I'm going to put up a very interesting record here, one I don't see too often, U.S. or Japanese, which is Todd Rundgren's a cappella. Todd Rundgren's a Capella or a capella, whichever way he wanted that uh, done. Or is that how you? I always thought it was all one word. But it is near mint minus and pristine. The vinyl is near mint minus and pristine. It has a Japanese insert with it. And this is Todd Rundgren, $35 start, Japanese pressing with Obi insert. Next is Tracy Swinger on Gary Lewis. Rachel Crosta on Nantucket. That's so to Rachel Crosta. The Arithmics is at $55. Joe Maynard, you're out. Let me know if you want back in. Jamie Kay, you were second on Nantucket. This is an Electra Asylum Rock Festival, which is essentially a compilation, a sampler, a promo from Electra Rock Asylum of artists such as John Prine and Gamma and Richard Floyd and Pointer Sisters. That is $10 on that. Uh, Don Nicole wants uh, Tony Orlando and Don. That's so to Don Nicole. Tony Orlando is gone. Kenny Rogers Gideon. Kenny Rogers is $5 for Gideon. Mott the Hoople. VG condition, now $6. Mott the Hoople. The Hoople. VG condition on that, $6. The 12-string guitar of Glenn Campbell. $5 on the 12-string guitar of Glenn Campbell. $5 on that. Jamie K first on Mott. That's Mott the Hoople. Paul Ogley, you were second. And she loved everybody but me. And that's $5. She loved everybody but me. Charlie Rich, RCA Camden label, $5 on that. Now, I was making sure we were done on the Eurythmics. I was waiting for word for Joe Maynard. Tracy has it for $55. I am definitely about to sell it. Jamie K got Mott the Hoople. Paul Ogley second. And then George Sherrod third. And then George H fourth. Corey Gaston first on Glenn Campbell. That's so to Corey Gaston. We have Godfrey Cambridge, Toys with the World. 
That is now six dollars and fifty cents. No commission. No condition notes. And Pat Paulson live from the Ice House. That's eight dollars and fifty cents. Todd Rundgren is a buy it now for thirty five dollars. That's a no bid. Todd Rundgren's a buy it now for thirty five dollars. No bid. Joe Maynard says he's out. So the Arithmics is so to Tracy Soinger for fifty five dollars. Tracy, that is a now officially so do you for five five fifty five. That's so to Tracy. For 55. Paul Ogley is going to pick up the Todd Rundgren for a $35 buy now. That's so to Paul Ogley, TR. That's for Todd Rundgren. He picks that up for the $35 buy now. All right, let's go over here and grab two new auctions. But first, let me show a couple new records. We have Little River Band, Time Exposure, only $5 on Little River Band, no condition notes. Edgar Winter album, $10. There's writing, but I think it's on the shrink wrap. It may have like bled into the cover like indentations, but there's some writing. Edgar Winter, that's now 10 bucks. And Neil Simon's Brighton Beach Memoir soundtrack, 10 bucks for that. And Carl Wilson, Youngblood, Carl Wilson from the Beach Boys, 10 bucks on Carl Wilson, Youngblood. Let's grab some new Japanese auctions. Let's try to find some stuff I have not done yet tonight which here's one and here's another, and these are very popular titles. You may have heard of both of them. You've probably definitely heard of one person here, which is John Lennon, live in New York City. Very cool Japanese pressing here. John Lennon, live in New York City. The vinyl is near mint minus and pristine. It has the Japanese insert with it. It has a uh, original inner sleeve. Here's the cover. There is a little bit of damage to the uh, the obi, that is. There is a little bit of damage to the obi. Right here, it's a little bit of, it's got a little bit of a crease and a wrinkle, and it's got a little bit of a tear that's caused some fold over there. So that's a $35 start for John Lennon live in New York City. And then the next auction is cream, live cream, live cream, also a $35 start. Very nice vinyl here. Eric Clapton, Ginger Baker, and Jack Bruce, they made up a band called Cream. And this is a Japanese pressing. It's a gay fold with a booklet. It has a fold out insert that kind of is there in the middle. So the insert is kind of attached to the cover. It kind of folds open like that. Very cool. Gay fold of Obi, nice copy, live cream. $35 start on that. All right, so I left off by saying Christopher Brusha on Little River Band. And then Christopher Brusha also wants Edgar Winter. And then I showed Carl Wilson. So there's those. Let's go ahead and show Dion Sings His Greatest Hits. Dion is $7.50. Dion Sings His Greatest Hits, $7.50 on that. And X-Clan. This is now $25, which means that's $25 off. It's a 1990 pressing X-Clan. Limited edition vinyl pressing, shrink wrap and hop sticker. X-Clan is a $25 start. We have My Dream, My Death, Mort Schumann. That is $12.50. That's a 69 pressing. It is a cutout. And Wet Willie, which one's Willie? Nine bucks on Wet Willie. Which one's Willie? Nine dollars on that. Nine dollars on that. We have It's a Beautiful Day. It's a Beautiful Day. Five dollars on It's a Beautiful Day. That's actually the name of the artist. John Lennon has bids for 35 Cream has a bid for $35, Cream has a bid for $40, and then another $35 bid. So, Cream's at $40 with George Scherer, and John Lennon in New York City is at $35. George H. gets It's a Beautiful Day. That's so to George H. And we have Bob Welch. Bob Welch from the Mac, Fleetwood Mac. $5 on Bob Welch. Also, Harry Nilsson, son of Schmilson. EX Condition, $9 on Harry Nilsson, son of Schmilson. Country Gold, the Screen Gems, EMI Music Company presents exclusive for, exclusively for broadcasting. This is a promo only intended for radio play country compilation, $5. Kelly Bagwell put mic, and I'm not for sure what that was for unless she's literally talking about my mic. And then George H. wants Nielsen. That is so to George H. Nielsen. Liza with a Z. Liza Minnelli, $5. So nobody else bid on Cream. I'm about to sell the George Share. He also has the new high bid on John Lennon for $40. Both auctions are at $40 to the same person. 
Final call. Next auction is Mason Williams Share Pickers. It's a white label promo. Mason, there's a Mason jar on the front. Seven fifty on that. Tracy Sorger wants Liza Minnelli. Bird Jordan wants Country Gold. New bid on Cream with George H for forty one. Stephen A Young wants Bob Welch. That's so to Stephen A Young. Nat Reynolds wants the X Clan. That's so to Nat Reynolds. Christopher Brusha first on Dave Mason. John Lennon has a new bid for forty one. Cream has a new bid for forty one. C Train the Marblehead Messenger. No condition notes. Now ten bucks. C Train Marblehead Messenger. Nice clean copy. Gatefold. Ten dollars on C Train. And Ike and Tina Turner working together in shrink wrap. Thirteen dollars and fifty cents on Ike and Tina working together. Thirteen fifty on Ike and Tina. Carly Simon, Boys in the Trees. Five dollars on Carly Simon, Boys in the Trees. Lacey J. Dalton, seven dollars and fifty cents. We have uh, Jason Franz. You were second on X Clan. Glenn Taylor won't see train. And Cream has a new bid of forty-five dollars with George Share. But Jamie Wills Erickson is the high bidder on John Lennon at forty-one, and that means George Share, you're out on John Lennon. Brent Rivley, you were second on C Train. We have Johnny Taylor. This is $7.50 for Eargasm. White label promo, Johnny Taylor Eargasm. Johnny Taylor's Disco 9000, original soundtrack to the motion picture. That's also a white label promo, $7.50. We have a new bid on John Lennon. So once again, both auctions are at $45 to George Scherer. I can tell the price again. The price is $13.50, which means it was $13.50 off. Original Liberty Pressing, that is $13.50. George H. is out on Cream, but Jamie's back in on John Lennon at $46. Rose Royce, two, in full bloom. Rose Royce is $7.50. Rose Royce in full bloom, $7.50. And Elton John, blue moves. Elton John, $12.50, another 2LP, $12.50. Bird Jordan said, I Cantina sold. I Cantina sold to Bird Jordan. John Lennon's at $50 of George Share. Jamie, you're back out. But it looks like we're done on cream. I'm about to sell that to George Share for $45. That is a final warning. All righty. Let's see what's going on here. We have... Uh, Let's go through this bin one more time. I'm just going to read titles. If you want a price, let me know. Everything in here is half off. Rachel Crosser wants Rolls Royce. Let's go ahead and end these auctions, though. Kelly Bagwell wants Elton John. Like I said, I do have some uh, Japanese buy nails to do whenever we've run through some of these. I had some duplicates. We've already sold a couple. Cream, though, is sold for $45 to George Scherer. That's sold to George Scherer for $45. And it looks like we got an out on the uh, John Lennon. So I'll end that in just a moment. But first, let me put away the live cream. Nice gatefold pressing. And that is officially sold to George Scherer for $45. And John Lennon also to George since Jamie set out for $50. i will put up two new ones in just a second. Probably going to do another crate like this. Definitely going to do another crate like this. And like I said, we may go through that first crate of new vintage stuff of tonight and do some buy now best offering. Not the second or third crates, but at least the we had six crates tonight. Actually, probably the first three crates, which is now in one crate. We'll do buy now best offer on some new stuff. Try to go ahead and get a little bit more of that thinned out. And then at least one more half off crate right after this. I'm just going to read titles that's left in here. If anybody wants anything, just let me know. We have Sticks Cornerstone. We have Lacey J. Dalton. I really hadn't figured out what this is. I think it's a compilation. Clyde McFadder, Chuck Berry, Alan Freed. It looks like a compilation. Van Morrison, Superfood Bambino, another Sticks Cornerstone. Melissa Manchester, Rough Riders, Kenny Rogers, Chameleon, Mahalia Jackson, Electra Asylum, Kenny Rogers, Godfrey Cambridge, uh, Charlie Rich, Pat Paulson Live, Neil Simon's Brighton Beach, Carl Wilson, Dion, My Death, Mark Schumann, Wet Willie, Lacey J. Dalton, Carly Simon, Johnny Taylor, and Johnny Taylor. That's all that's left in there, folks. If you want anything else in there, just let me know. I'm going to go put these back 
Um, actually, let me just go grab a new empty crate because if I put these back, I'm sure we'll get an inquiry about uh, price or condition. Let me go ahead and condense. I need a new crate, so let me condense this stuff right back here up front here. Let me move this testament low up here. And the doors alive, she cried, and all these Lizzie Bordens. I'm going to put these in this crate. I may have to pull the ABBA box set, but that's okay. There's room for it right here. And I need this crate so I don't have to walk to the back. Plus, somebody might have caught a glimpse of something they're interested in. If so, just let me know. And uh, I'm going to go grab some more stuff over here. I've almost swapped out a whole section. Or at least gone through it. Of course, I don't usually. After we do half off, about the only thing I'll do next on some of these is like put them in a, a, a certain price bin. So maybe even some of them that were $34.99 that didn't sell for $17.50, I may put them in a $14.99 flip bin. And they may sell from there. If not, then um, I'll just do something else with them just completely remark them and sometimes we just we have really good records and they hadn't sold because of the price they hadn't sold because uh, we just hadn't found the right person looking for it so sometimes I hate really marking stuff down when literally we just need um, to find the right person sometimes not, like sticks I think for five bucks isn't a price thing I think it's a just nobody needs one right now. <laughs> we got to wait for the right person that actually is looking for one. Let's go back to the top and see where I left off, though. Somebody said price on both Kenny's. Price on both Kenny's. I got this bin right here. Price on both Kenny's. They should be $5 and $5. That's the typical discount because they're usually 10 Yeah. So, yeah, $5 and $5 on those. Uh, Michael Thomas. Uh, what's the Rough Riders? The Rough Riders was Rough Riders. That was Rough Riders First Lady. E V E E V E V E. It's a 1999 pressing. That's fifteen dollars. Uh, Mike Torrey says second six cornerstone. He wants the one that was not check condition. He wants the ten dollar one. So let's go ahead and for sure tag that to Mike. Price on Bambino. Rachel Crosta. The discounted price on that was $12.50. It is sealed. It's probably on white vinyl. And then is best offer next. I'd like to see before bed. One more half off bin and then the buy now best offer. Michael Thomas takes both Kenny Rogers. Jason Fran says he'll take it. And he asked on this. That's so to Jason Franz. Rachel Crosta said Bambino sold. That's so to Rachel Crosta. And we have price on Carl Wilson. Carl Wilson is young blood is 10 bucks. Let's do one more bin of half off. I'll go through this one fast, which means everybody needs to pay attention. Uh, this isn't going to be a all nighter show. We're probably going to go through this a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. We're going to be on here for a while, but uh, just so everybody knows, this isn't a uh, all. This isn't going to be a midnight hour. I have realized um, earlier talking with everybody some of the things that I have to do here since I've been gone. You miss 72 hours here at Coletco, you immediately get behind. So I got to play some catch up so the rest of the week we can be here all night long selling posters and records and other collectibles. Jane Fink says I'll take it and that was on the Carl Wilson. All right, most of that stuff got wiped out after that last little rush there. Excellent. Let's get some Japanese stuff. I'm going to start trying to move these auctions faster too. Uh, there's a lot still left in the bin, but some of them's going to be bought now. Some of the last things we do, don't let me forget about them. Of course, we won't. But I'm going to run a few more auctions and probably just try to focus on the bins, so we can spend a lot more time on those. They go a lot faster if I'm not having to update auctions. So Pat Benatar Tropico is a $35 start. This has the hit song "We Belong." This is a $35 start, and then this is Cindy Lauper True Colors. Cindy Lopper is also a Japanese pressing, $35 start on Cindy Lopper True Colors. That's also a Japanese pressing, near mint minus and pristine with the insert, $35 start, $35 start on that. All right, so 
let's go back to the top here. New half off stuff. I'll tell you the title, price. It's all first come, first serve. This is EX Condition $9. A little taste of Southern Fried. It looks like it has a promo strip on it. A little taste of Southern Fried. EX Condition $9. News for the Blues, Josh Williams. VG Plus $5 for Josh Williams. News for the Blues, Daniel Moore. Daniel Moore is in VG Plus Condition $10. Looks like we got some remnants of some Paul crates. That's definitely Paul type record. So just a few stray remnant leftovers there for some Paul crates, it looks like. There's Daniel Moore. We also have Tell Him I'm Gone. Tell Him I'm Gone is sealed. $12.50 now. That's Cat Stevens. That's a 2014 Cat Stevens album. VG, uh, excuse me, not VG, sealed. $12.50. William Clark. Look at William there. William Clark, you can't hear me calling. That's now $10. $10 on that. Romy Lou first on the Cat Stevens, then Tommy Flowers. Uh, Steve Young, Renegade Picker. Steve Young, that's from Dale's Pittsburgh Collection. $12.50. $12.50. Susie Breedlove third on Cat Stevens. Uh, this is an 83 UK pressing of the Moonlighters Rush Hour. The Moonlighters Rush Hour. Five bucks on that. Final call to get a bid in on Cindy Lopper or Pat Benatar. A couple 80s classics there. $35 starts before I make them buy it now. Lake Michigan, Bob Reedy, Chicago Blues Band. $8.50 on Rounder Records. A 73 US on Rounder Records, $8.50. Jim Ringard, Endangered Species, an album of songs about people and lifestyles threatened with extinction. A 81 folk country album, sealed, unopened, $8.50. Ron Thompson and the Resistors. Ron Thompson and the Resistors, that's $6.50. John Mooney, Telephone King. John Mooney's $8.50. Christopher Brusha wants the Bob Reedy Chicago Blues Band. That's sold to Christopher Brusha. Uh, Moonlighters. Moonlighters is $6.50 on Moonlighters. Mark Winner, nothing but. $7.50. Mark Winner, nothing but. That's $7.50. Todd Rundgren, a wizard, a true star. Todd Rundgren's in VG condition, six bucks. Also, the master and the musician, Phil Keegy. This is VG plus $6.50. The master and the musician, Phil Keegy. The Kaz and Kant Super Circus. The Kaz and Kant Super Circus. This copy is in shrink wrap. No condition notes, $8.50. That's the 1810, the 1910 Fruit Gum Company, the Ohio Express, Shadows of Night, Music Explosion, et cetera, et cetera. It's uh, uh, $8.50, $8.50. Let's see what I've missed here. Um, and this is Christopher Brusha on TR. That's Todd Rundgren. That's so to Christopher Brusha. We have Jamie... Uh, K on Mark Winner. That's so to Jamie K. Burt Jordan on 1910 Fruit Gum Company. That's the Kaz and Kant Super Circus. Tracy Swinger, that is uh, you were second. Doug Kershaw, The Cajun Way, $10. White Label Promo, Doug Kershaw, The Cajun Way. Also, Doug Kershaw, Swamp Grass, that's $10. Back to back, Doug Kershaw and Fargo, I see it now. Fargo is $15. Fargo. I see it now. RCA Victor label, 15 bucks. Rod Stewart, never a dull moment. VG condition, $6.50. George H. wants Doug, white label promo. That was this first one right here, the Cajun Ray. That's so to George H. No bids on these. Let's make this a buy it now for $35. Cindy Lopper, buy it now for $35. Pat Benatar is a buy it now for $35. So those are buy it nows. $35 and $35 buy it nows. Rod Stewart is sold to Leslie Holt. That's sold to Leslie. Next is Dirt, John Volby. Dirt is a comedy album, $7.50. Dirt, $7.50, that's a comedy album. Also, Southside Johnny and the Asbury Jukes, I Don't Want to Go Home. That is $10. Let make sure I didn't miss anything here. Uh, Ed Bruce, Eddie Bruce first to Pat Benatar, and Rami Lou first, it's no, Rami Lou second to Pat Benatar, Robert Phillippe first to Cindy Lauper. Let me grab some new sleeves to put those in. Those are sold and sold. And uh, I'll grab two new ones in just a second. But we are on a roll here in this half-off bin. But let me go ahead and tag these. Eddie Bruce, 
is first on the Pat Benatar Tropico. That sold 80 Bruce. Let me put this away for 80. Thank you. Very nice copy. And we have the Cindy Lopper True Colors, which is sold to Robert Phillippe. That is sold to Robert Phillippe. Leslie was second. Robert Phillippe next on Pat Benatar. And Henry Paredes wants dirt. That must be something in the bin. And first in dirt was dirt. This right here, this comedy record. That's sold to Henry Paredes. Let's do some more half-off LPs very quickly. This is A Shot in the Dark, the Uptown Horn Band. $5 on A Shot in the Dark. Barefoot Jerry watching TV in shrink wrap. $10 on that one. Sligo Studio Band sings super hits, old and new. That is sealed. That's a rare country folk album. $7.50. Must have been something private. Kenny Neal, Bio, Bio on the Bayou. That's $7.50. Kenny Neal. Jamie K on Shot in the Dark. That's so to Jamie K. Also, Mark Spolarostra, This House. Donald Duck Dunn on bass. Donald Duck Dunn playing bass on this album. $7.50. Rick Haney on Barefoot Jerry. That's so to Rick Haney. And we have the Skip Castro Band, Boogie at Midnight. Skip Castro is sealed, $7.50. Let me pause right there. Let me grab any Japanese pressing that we've not auctioned at least one copy of tonight. And here's one. And uh, here's another. So let's do these. Foreigner and Loverboy. Foreigner, Agent Provocature. Or as I used to say, Agent Provocator. This is a Japanese pressing. The vinyl is near mint minus and pristine. It has the Japanese insert on it. This has, I want to know what love is. It has an, the embossed capital F there on the cover for Foreigner. That's a $35 start. And we have another Japanese pressing here with Loverboy. Keep it up. The vinyl is near mint minus and pristine. It has a Japanese insert. It has a cover of Obi. $35 start. J.D. Souther, Home by Dawn. J.D. Souther is $7.50. Dave Spector and Bark and Bill Smith, Bluebird Blues, featuring Ronnie Earl. Featuring Ronnie Earl. That's now $15. That's $15 off, which makes it $15. Another Barefoot Jerry's. This is Barefoot Jerry's Groceries. Barefoot Jerry, Barefoot Jerry's Grocery. 2 LP on Monument, now $12.50. We have Eddie Bruce on J.F., and he meant J.D. for J.D. Souther, which is right here. That's sold to Eddie Bruce. Foreigner and Lover Boys are $35 starts. Valdi. Valdi's in VG Plus condition. $6.50 on Valdi. Uh, the Uncle Floyd Show. VG Plus $7.50. And the Hans Stamer Band. The Hans Stamer Band. A white label promo. EX condition, $9. EX condition, $9 on that one. And this has one of those plastic inner sleeves in it, so when I went to put it back in the jacket, it literally crushed or crumbled up the baggy inner sleeve. So let me put that back in there the way it was. We had Rick Haney on BJ. BJ for Rick Haney was Barefoot Jerry's. Loverboy has a new bid for 35 and Christopher Onzo wants Uncle Floyd show album. That's so to Chris Ferranzo. Final call on Loverboy for $35, and Foreigner is a $35 start. Heads Together, first round. Heads Together is a Vertigo compilation. $25 off, which makes it $25. Vertigo, as in that Vertigo label, 1970. 1970, Heads Together. That has Jade Warrior, Magna Carter, Nirvana, not Kurt Cobain Nirvana, the Beautiful Stranger, Legend, Lasso. That's pretty cool. Uh, that's a Vertigo compilation on that very collectible Vertigo label. And let me put it back in this inner sleeve. Oh, boy. Y'all know what kind of inner sleeve it is. Let me pull this out. It's the worst conceived idea ever. An inner sleeve with a hole cut in it. That is literally the worst idea ever because of this right here. The record smashes into it. All right. Pretty cool. Too bad that's not a Black Sabbath Paranoid on Vertigo. That is extremely desirable. If you got a Black Sabbath Paranoid, an original on that label, or any Black Sabbath for that matter. Oh, no, I pulled it back out. Don't put that in the new sleeve. Susie Breedlove, 
picks it up. That's so does Susie Breedlove. Also, Ace Moreland, Sizzling Hot, a 1990 blues album. Ace Moreland, $5 on that. Also, we have Slade in Flame. This is a 1974 UK import, $12.50. Slade in Flame, $12.50. Uh, Mike Morgan and the Crawl, that is sealed for $10. Christopher Brusha on AM, Ace Moreland, that's sold to Christopher Brusha. And the Skip Castro band, You're Killing Me, that's sealed $7.50. Paul Ogley first on Slade, these two auctions are sold. We got uh, Jamie Wills Erickson on Liverboy for $35 and Heidi Tony Bowman on Foreigner for $35. Let me grab two new sleeves for those. I'll go ahead and put those away and tag them. We have Loverboy at $35 with Jamie Wills Erickson. That's sold for $35. And we have Foreigner, Agent Provocature. Let me put this a different direction so it don't slide out. There we go. That is sold. Foreigner is gone. Or excuse me, Loverboy is sold, sold to Jamie Wills Erickson. And now Foreigner is sold to Heidi Tony Bowman for $35. I'll end up putting those the wrong way accidentally every time. That's so to Heidi Tony Bowman for $35. Now the question always is, is it Heidi buying it or Tony buying it? Some of these couples that share uh, Facebook accounts, I get used to calling them whoever they are, Heidi or Bowman, Heidi or Tony and Jason and Belinda. There's a lot of shared accounts. The question is, is it Heidi or Tony? I don't know if I've ever asked on that account. I've always just said Heidi and Tony Bowman or Heidi Bowman. So let's find out. Is it Heidi or Tony that's the record buyer? We're about to find out. All right, let me grab some Japanese stuff here that I have not auctioned tonight. Very close to doing the buy it now segment. It's Heidi. Heidi is doing the record buy. Okay. Welcome back, Heidi, as usual. We have a Japanese pressing. We have a Japanese pressing of Shea Fish, which is another John Lennon compilation. This is on the Apple label. The vinyl is near mint minus and pristine. That's called John Lennon Shea Fish. There's the LP. There's the original under sleeve. There's the insert. And this is a $35 start. $35 start for the John Lennon compilation Shea Fish. This is a ja uh, soundtrack, another Japanese pressing. This is Streets of Fire. A rock and roll fable. One out there for a second. Uh, Streets of Fire, a rock and roll fable. This is a $35 start. Near Mint Minus and Pristine Vinyl. Has the Japanese insert. Streets of Fire soundtrack, a rock and roll fable. $35 start. Alrighty. Those are now available for auction. Okay. Next LP, Memphis Rockabilly Band, Betty Jean. That is now $11.50, Memphis Rockabilly Band. The, Zar the Zarkons, Between the Idea and the Reality, $7.50. Dennis Quaid and the Sharks, Out of the Box. Dennis Quaid is EX Condition, 9 bucks. Zero, zero is $15. That's called... That's called Here Goes Nothing. Zero is $15. Here Goes Nothing, $15 on zero. Also have Steady Date with Mitch Woods and his Rocket 88s. That is sealed. It's never been opened. Now just $11.50 on that one. Tommy Flowers first on DQ for Dennis Quaid. Jamie Kay wants the Zarkons. Leslie Holt wants Memphis. And John Dorsey says zero. Who are the players? Um... Let's see here. Top, where are the people, the players? Um, well, there's a lot of them. Uh, Steve Kymock, John Sipiola, I never can say his name, Greg Anton, John Farhey, Steve Wolf, Bruce Unsworth, Scott Roberts, uh, Alex Litterwood, et cetera, et cetera. Steve Kymock, John Cipiolina, Greg Anton, John 
Farhe, Farhe, very recognizable names on there now that you've mentioned that. Very recognizable names. Olivia Newton John, if you love me, let me know. EX Condition, $5. Larry Ballard, Larry Ballard is $7.50. Waiting in the Wings, no conditional notes on that. John, the price is $15, making it $15 off. So $15 on that. Tracy Sorger wants Olivia Newton John. Next is Johnny Ray's Greatest Hits. Johnny Ray's Greatest Hits, EX Condition, $5. Jamie, you were second on Olivia Newton John. John Dorsey gets a zero for the half off price of $15. We have Uncle, um, this is now $10. What was this one called? This is Uncle Jim's Music by Uncle Jim. Ten bucks on that. And Skip Castro, Fast Break. Skip Castro is sealed. It's never been opened. It's a $7.50 buy it now. Speaking of buy it nows, Streets of Fire, $35 buy it now. John Lennon, $35 buy it now. Those are no bids, so if anybody wants them, $35 and $35. Those are now available for buy it now bids. The John Volby, Pete Howard Band, where have those days gone? $7.50 on that. Kenny Vance, Short Vacation. Kenny Vance is $7.50. Also, we have Valdi and the Hometown Band, $5 on Valdi, and Black Rose, John David Souther, $7.50 on that. Eddie Bruce picks up Streets of Fire for a $35 start, or excuse me, a $35 buy now. That's so to Eddie Bruce. Thank you, Eddie. I'm putting that in a sleeve right now, and we are officially tagging that to Eddie Bruce, and we got John Cassidy in on the John Valdi, excuse me, we got John Cassidy in on the John Lennon. John Cassidy gets that for 35. I was reading the next comment, which is Christopher Brusha. He wants the Valdi. Is that Valdi or Valby? We'll find out. But that's so to John Cassidy for 35. Christopher Brusha on Valdi, which yeah, there was John Valby, and he wants Valdi. Valdi. Sell that to Christopher Brusha, and Eddie Bruce wants John David Souther. So those are sold. And sold. I'm going to read the titles of what's left in here of half off. I'm just going to read titles. If you want price again, let me know. Let's make our first buy it nows out of the Japanese bin. Our first buy it nows, they're $35 and $35. It's very easy. It's Peter Frampton, I'm in you. All these are near mint, minus, and pristine. And we got two copies of Wham! Fantastic. They're both in. Uh, shrink wrap with Obi. They're $35 buy it now. It's on Wham. And there's Peter Frampton. So those are buy it now for $35 and $35. So here's what's left in here. A little taste of Southern Fried. If you want price or more information, feel free to ask. A little taste of Southern Fried. News for the Blues. Josh Williams, Daniel Moore, William Clark, Steve Young, The Moonlighters, Jim Ringer, Ron Thompson and the Resistors, John Mooney, the Telephone King, Moonlighters, the Master and the Musician, Phil Keegy, Doug Kershaw, Southside Johnny, behind Southside is Fargo, Sliger Studio Band, Kenny Neal, Mark Spolestra, also the Skip Castro Bands, Dave Spector, Valdi, the Hans Stanley Band, Mike Morgan and the Crawl, Skip Castro, Mitch Wood and Rocket 88s, Larry Ballard, Johnny Ray, Uncle Jim's Music, Uncle Jim, Skip Castro again, John Volby, and Kenny Vance. If anybody wants anything left in there, they're literally going to be right here next to me. Right here next to me if anybody decides they want anything in there. No takers on the Whams or Peter Frampton. I'll do some other ones. Those actually hadn't been auctioned tonight, but I figured since the other ones hadn't got bids, I would just make these buy it now. So those are buy it now. Uh, the Peter Frampton and the Whams Fantastic. I'm going to go back to the beginning of the show and do some of the newest vintage stuff for tonight. Buy it now, best offer. So these are literally brand new priced records for tonight. I'm going to entertain offers on them, which means you can go ahead and buy them or you can make them or you can make an offer. So that's going to be uh, buy it now, best offer crate right here. Southern Fod. Southern Fried Price. By the way, it just hit around 11 o'clock here Central Time. Central Time here in Middle Tennessee in the fantastic United States of America. The best country in the world. No debate about that. And we have 100 
and 99 viewers. Welcome all viewers. Let's check out that uh, Southern Fried. Nothing wrong with some Southern Fried. A taste of Southern Fried. It's EX condition, $9. It was originally $17.99. Jamie K, that's still available. All right, now, these are new arrivals from that. This is like the three crates condensed down to the one. What was left, now we'll do buy it now, best offer. Buy it now, best offer. BG's two years on. Jamie has posted some Canadian flags. I was wondering if any international viewers would say anything about that. We have BG's two years on. VG condition, $9.99. Jamie K says he'll take the Southern Pride. Keep that at the half off. Sell that to Jamie K. And we have Wham Fantastics and nobody claimed Peter Frampton. So those are still available. Does anybody want to make an offer on a Wham Fantastic or the Peter Frampton? I'm here to sell these. But first, let's do two more Japanese buy nows. These were, these were not auctioned tonight either. These were not auctioned tonight either. We have Earth, Wind & Fire and Minute Work Cargo, $35 buy nows. Let's go ahead and sell Heidi Bowman the Bee Gees. Thank you, Heidi. And these are new arrivals tonight. Buy it now or best offer. The OJs in Philadelphia, VG condition, $9.99. That is a Terre Haute pressing. VG condition, $9.99. East and West of Jazz, featuring the Jazz Pianos of Duke Jordan. VG Plus, $9.99. James Bond Thrillers, Goldfinger, Dr. O from Russia with Love. In mono, VG Plus condition, $19.99. Emerson Lake and Palmer, Tarkus. Tarkus is in VG Plus condition, $14.99 for Emerson Lake and Palmer, Tarkus. We have 8081 Pat Matheny, VG Plus condition, $19.99. 8081 Pat Matheny, VG Plus, $19.99. And Dr. Hook, belly up. Dr. Hook is in VG condition, $9.99. Let's sell Jason Franz the OJs for $7. Sell so that the Jason Franz for $7. That is officially sold. Is Michael Moreau Japanese still in there? That's in a metal crate, uh, which is wherever the tub of posters that was possibly going to be gone through tonight. Wherever they've done with that, I don't know because I left and I wasn't here for that cleanup day. Wherever that is, Craig, is where the posters are at and where that is. So... Uh, that's what I'm going to be looking for tomorrow. So I'll have the posters up here and I'll be ready to go for them tomorrow. Heidi Bowman wants Dr. Hook. That's sold to Heidi Bowman. Marshall Tucker Band is in VG condition, $14.99. Marshall Tucker Band, Carolina Dreams, VG, $14.99. Heard it in a love song. Vanity, Vanity 6, VG Plus, $9.99. And the Monkees, the original Monkees debut album in mono, VG condition, $9.99. That is a 66 mono pressing. VG, $9.99. ZZ Top Fandango. Fandango's in VG condition, $14.99 for ZZ Top Fandango. VG, $14.99. Also, Count Basie. That is VG plus $9.99. George H. on Vanity 6. That's so to George H. We have John Cassidy on the Monkees. Heidi, you were second on the Monkees. That sold to uh, John Cassidy, Heidi second, free. Can't believe no one grabbed this. Paul Rogers, free. VG condition, $9.99. Mike Torres, third on the Monkees. Bill Durgan, first on ZZ Top. That is sold to Bill Durgan. We have Elvis, girls, girls, girls. VG condition, $9.99. That's an Indianapolis pressing. Heidi Bowman wants free. That's sold to Heidi Bowman. We have a $10 offer on Marshall Tucker Band. Chris Waller, I'll go ahead and sell that to you for 10 bucks. That's so to Chris Waller. I have suddenly filled up a crate, so let's set that one on the floor, and let me grab a new empty one right over here. Let me grab a new empty one right over here. This green, nice green crate. Let's work on trying to get this thing filled up. We have an eight, a $7 offer on Elvis. Let's sell that to Christopher Brusha for $7. Uh, Heidi got free. Henry was second. Cheap Trick, one-on-one. -on -one. Cheap Trick is in VG condition, $14.99. The Aztecs, live at the Ad-Lib Club with the Beatles mentioned on the cover. That's a 64 mono, $29.99. Sanders Truck Stop, Ed Sanders, a 69. White Label Promo, $29.99. Bison Bop, the bop that never stopped, $19.99 for the Bison Bop. Illiterate Beach, no polyester, please. 87 Indie Rock, $9.99. And we have the RCA Special Radio Series, David Bowie, Radio Promo Only, 1980, 
we have a $25 offer on the Peter Frampton Japanese to Romilu. Sell that to Romilu for $25, the Japanese Peter Frampton. Jamie, we've already sold the monkey. George H. said he'd give $20 for the Aztecs. Go ahead and sell that to George H. for $20. Aztecs are sold. Rare Rock from Canada. Rare Rock from Canada is $19.99. We have Unknown Rock and Roll, Original 50s Recordings Compilation, 1999, and Snooky Pryor, Shake Your Boogie, a 76 German pressing on that, 1999. So, Earth, Wind, and Fire was a no bid for $35. Men at Work Cargo was a no claim for $35. And we also still got the two Wham! Fantastics. I'm going to grab two more Japanese pressings, which these sold for a little bit higher earlier tonight. But I'm going to put them up. I think whatever they sold for, I'm going to do a little bit less, and I've got Wings for $45. I think the last one brought right at $50. That's Wings Greatest Hits, and I got Madonna, Like a Virgin. I got two copies, $40 each, and I think those brought over $40 the last time. So Madonna, Like a Virgin, two copies, $40 and $40. Wings, I think tonight brought $50. I'll also do $40 on that. Patrick Lear said cargo $25. Sell that to Patrick Lear for $25. Back to the bin was Lazarus for cargo. Lazarus, I just sold it for $25. Lazarus was going to pay $35. Oh boy, I sold it too. I sold it too quickly. Jamie Wills Erickson wants a Madonna. Sell that to Jamie Wills Erickson. There's another one in shrink wrap if anybody wants it. And we got wings back here too. Let's sell Rami Lou Earth, Wind & Fire for $25. Susie Breedlove said unknown $10. Susie, I will split the difference. I can't do half off on these yet. Maybe in about three months or six months if they hadn't sold. But I will do $15 on that one. Mystics Dandies Are Back. That's $19.99. Dandies Are Back. That's an 83 French pressing. Brownie McGee and Sonny Terry Guitar Highway. $34.99, Steel Mill, Green-Eyed God. That's a 96 UK pressing. That's a Prague album. Steel Mill, Green-Eyed God, $49.99. Susie said sold, $15 for unknown. That's sold to Susie Breedlove. Doug and the Slugs, Music for the Heart of Thinking, $19.99 for Doug and the Slugs. The Standales, Why Pick on Me, $39.99. Christopher Brusher said $29 on Brownie. Sell that to Christopher Brusher for $29. So we still got a Madonna for $40. And we still got a Wings Greatest Hits for $40. Two Wham Fantastics for $35 each. I'm going to put all that stuff right over there. We have a $15 off for, for Doug and the Slugs. Sell that to Paul Ogley for $15. Sold. Bad Seed is $34.99. Bad Seeds, $34.99. The Standees, $20. George, I can't do that on that record. Uh, Frost Music, The Frost, $24.99 for The Frost. The International Vicious Society, $49.99 on the International Vicious Society. The Speedos, that's a Rockabilly album, $19.99. The Nomads, made in Japan, $79.99. A Garage album, 96 Spanish pressing, $79.99. Billy Fury, Billy Fury is an 84 UK, $19.99. Willie, Wild Billy Childish and his famous red coach. Famous red coats, that is $34.99. Also, the back beats. The back beats is $19.99. And Real Cool Killers, $24.99 on Real Cool Killers. The Fleetwood's Greatest Hits is $9.99. We have the Real Ruth Brown for $19.99. Also, 80s Colors, which we determined was a new wave compilation, $36.99 for 80s Colors. Uh, Bliss was $59.99. And we have the best of Louie Louie sealed. $24.99. Let's sell Rami Lou C, the Wings album, for $35. That's sold to Rami Lou. And here's the last two records in the Japanese crate. Buy it now. Sticks Cornerstone, $35. And Toto, $35. Which, yes, we did have a Toto earlier. That's a $35, uh, $35 uh, bid on that. $35 bid on that. Uh, or $35 buy it now and $35 on Sticks Cornerstone. Lincoln Chase, Lincoln Chasing You. That's $39.99 on Lincoln Chasing You. We have Like Nothing Your Ears Have Ever Heard Before, $29.99. Volume 4, 18 Psycho Originals. Kind of surprised that's still there. And Grand Funk, We're an American Band, and that's on Yellow Vinyl, $39.99. How much was Steel, Men, Steel Mill? Landon Steel Mill. Steel Mill was $49.99.
Uh, George Sherris says 35 on Bliss. I can't quite do that on Bliss. It's marked 59.99, 59.99. Michael Rutman wants the ears. That's so to Michael Rutman. And anybody else on anything in there? Anybody else on anything in there? That was a great recap. We just sold a chunk out of there. I started and you had to start a new crate. Fill up the last one. I would recap new vinyl, but there's literally nothing left. There is no new, there is zero LPs left from, I think we had six boxes of new vinyl that were delivered yesterday and today. Uh, nothing came on Monday and it's, uh, it's all gone. Who's on 80s New Wave? It is all very obscure, deep cut artist. And I don't know if it's actually New Wave, but it certainly looked like it by the way they're dressed and just by the names of the bands. But Sick Rose, Party Kids, Out of Time, No Strange, Double Deck Five, Technicolor Dream, Birdman of Alcatraz, uh, Four by Art, Pre uh, Precision X, Paul Chain, Velvet Theater. So the only Japanese stuff that's left tonight is Sticks Cornerstone, $35, Toto, $35, Madonna, $40, Wham, $35. And if no one buys them tonight, I will just re-auction them tomorrow uh, along with some other Japanese stuff that we hadn't unboxed over here. Plus, I'll find the other crate with that record that Craig talked about earlier. All righty. So... Um, Let's see what I've got over here. Let's see. I'm going to open this up for any last request, honestly. Uh, that's where I had uh, stopped that. We have Shannon M. on MAD. Shannon M. on MAD. MAD, M-A-D. Uh, was that a claim in here? MAD. Madonna. Possibly the Madonna. $40. Or maybe Shannon's mad at me. I hope not. This is Madonna Like a Virgin. That's so too. That was the next claim. Shannon M, $40. And then Standales, $25. Standales was marked $39.99. Rachel or whoever asked out first, I will cut a heck of a deal right now at $30. It does have a little bit of chipping on top of the cover, but it is a mono pressing with no condition notes. It is a mono pressing. I'll do $30 on it. It has a Peter's Music sticker on the back from Lessington, Massachusetts. I think that's an original. But any last request, new vinyl, vintage. Uh, I know it's unusual to be stopping a show at a quarter after 11, uh, but I have some catch-up to do uh, where I was out. Uh, I have, like, administrative stuff to do here, too. Me and Tanner's both working on, like, taxes. It's that time of the year. And I've got to get metal auctions ready. I got to get metal auctions priced. I got to set some stuff out for John to price. I have a to-do list of stuff I've literally been scribbling down and texting Tanner since I've been live. So my list has grown and grown. Um, I think uh, my vehicle's about to blow up and I've got a lot of stuff to do. <laughs> so uh, I think uh, I'll stop there and I'll uh, do final request. We're not done yet. Uh, George H. said he will take the Standells for $30. Rachel passed. Scott Marchheim wants the Testament low. That's $39.99 and a Led Zeppelin II. I love selling copies of Led Zeppelin II. Led Zeppelin II is sold for $33.99. I have two extra copies left. Whole lot of love. Ramble on. And like I said, my favorite, the Lemon Song. That is $33.99. Landon, I cannot do half off on steel mill. My best price for that would be like $45. Are you still having records for tomorrow and Friday? Uh, I don't know, uh, Regina. Uh, somebody may be here tomorrow to pick all this stuff up. So um, just send us a message and I'll let you know. Steel mill or bliss still available. Steel mill still available and bliss. I just told somebody I would do $45 on steel mill. That's my best price on that. And then Clyde is Bliss. Bliss is still available. It's $59.99. Now, somebody made an offer, but I didn't say a price. Any MoFi? I got the Cars MoFi, Ruth Brown, and both Johnny Taylor for $25. Well, Ruth Brown is $19.99, so I doubt we can get together on that. How much was the 80s colors? The 80s colors was $36.99. 
and Toto. Jim Davis said he'd give 25 for one of the Toto Japanese. I think I'll have another one over here as well. It, it's uh, it's right here. Yes, yeah, sell this to Jim Davis for $25. I have another Toto. If anybody, those are great prices. Those are great prices. I should just wait and re-auction these later, but late night deals, even though it's a quarter after 11, it feels like 3 a.m. to me. There's no way I wouldn't have been able to do posters tonight. Uh, Jim Davis gets Toto for $25. Any winger? No winger. Well, yes, I do. I have a winger box set, actually. I got a winger box set. It's their all their studio albums, I think. Where is that thing? It's around here somewhere. I should have a winger box set somewhere around here with their studio album collection. I don't know what's happened to it, but yeah, uh, it's around here somewhere. Uh, was that Led Zeppelin too? New and sealed. New and sealed, $33.99. Any info on the pre-orders for the Sabbath box set will be coming in. Boy, I don't remember posting a Sabbath box set. Black Sabbath box set. Let me look that up in the group. Black Sabbath box set. Let me look that up. I don't remember posting that. This right here, it says due out May 31st, 2014. Is that what somebody asked about? They said, any info on when the pre order for Black Sabbath box set will be coming in. It says due out May 31st, 2014. That's all I can tell you, uh, unless they change it. You never know with that stuff. They, could, they rarely bump it up, but sometimes they bump it back. I've seen some stuff bump forward, though. I've, seen, I've got some stuff early. How much was Led Zeppelin 2? $33.99. Uh, can I get a Cars MoFi 2? Did somebody else want one? Who wanted one? George H. Well, I don't know if he said sold or not, but yes, I still have Cars MoFi. These are $49.99. They're new and sealed. The Cars MoFi. Jim Davis wants one. They're new and sealed. That was one of my first sales of the night. $49.99. Steel Mill Original Press. Steel Mill was pressed in 1996. I think this is one of those that the original is very expensive. Steel Mill is $49.99. It was pressed in 1996. All right. Any chance on B-52's MoFi? I do not have that. I do not have that. All right. And Led Zeppelin 2. Uh, can I get a Cars MoFi? Did I miss anything else? Steel Mill. Uh, let's see here. B-52s. I will check on that. I, I may can get B-52s MoFi. Led Zeppelin 2. What else did I miss? Toto. I did that. And... Uh, yeah. I think these are both uh, reissues of, uh, like I said, pretty uh, tough to get albums. I will check right quick. Uh, well, I'm signed out. That's not good. See if this works right quick. I said the show's over. We have went. Uh, we've went to uh, another stratosphere steel meal green eyed god yeah if you want an original pressing a steel meal green eyed god it's going to cost you a couple thousand dollars there's actually none for sale right now those are foreign listers, foreign sellers, South Korea, Italy, Ukraine, and Denmark. So if you want to pick up that VG Plus, VG Plus from Italy, it's going to cost you $1,500. That seller has no reviews. They have never received a review on Discogs. So if you want to get it from a reputable seller in South Korea, that's going to cost you $2,000. You might want to go ahead and pick up the $45 one. For though there's been two or three people's asked, is that original pressing? Uh, I wish instead of forty nine ninety nine, 
uh, I would probably have $2,499 on it. That would probably be what I would price one. And some have sold for as much as $4,000. A near mint minus copy sold for $4,130. So I would buy that if I was you. If you can get an original and you want to spend $2,000, I would do it right now if you have the money. Go buy an original. That would be amazing. Okay, uh, what else did I leave here? Any Pretty Reckless. Those That restock will be here. Pretty Reckless will be here tomorrow. It should be. Jim Davis was a first-time buyer. Okay, thank you, Jim Davis. Did I sell you Cars Mofa? I did. Thank you. And uh, did you price my two posts at the front counter? I did not. I will ask my mom about those and find them and get you prices. I'll add that to my ever-growing to-do ever list for tonight, Michelle. And I was curious about Bliss, too. I don't, I don't know about Bliss here. Uh, let's see if I can find out. That's a... A pretty generic word. Bliss. Does this have a name? We'll put in void. That's the label. I've been looking at this all night, curious exactly how much originals was. Here's the 2004 pressing. And here's the 69 pressing. Yeah, see? The 69 pressing, the last one sold for $329. Uh, let's see if there's any for sale in the United States. I bet there is on this one, yeah. So yeah, this is about a $250 album. Bliss is about a $250 album if you want a 69 original. Uh, and that's for a VG plus VG. And then this is the 2004 pressing, which we have marked for $59.99. And that's exactly what the last one sold for, was $59.99. And that doesn't look like from a U.S. seller. So that's another great pickup. We have everything in here priced at market, everything in this bin. And a lot of these are from the New Orleans collection, which are reissues. I can just look at an album. I knew this was expensive, and I knew that was expensive. If I seen an older-looking copy of this, I would definitely know it just has the look. And I may have seen it in, in just in passing, a picture of it somewhere. So Lazarus said he will take it. This is sold to Lazarus. Steel Mill is gone. I might want to listen to that. I'm telling you, if somebody is, if people are out there in the world, if there's collectors out there paying three and four thousand dollars for original pressings of this, the music has to be absolutely killer. The music has to be absolutely killer. If people's paying three and four thousand dollars for original pressings, that means the music has to be incredible. Uh there are a lot of rare records and the music is just not any good or not desirable. For people to be paying money for that, like records, paying three and $4,000 for an album, that means it's good music. George Scherer, I will sell you Bliss for $55. And I think that is a very fair price. $55 on Bliss. $55 on Bliss. Um... Uh, and then, how much is Real Cool Killers? I missed that from Christopher Onzo. The Real Cool Killers is twenty-four ninety-nine. A 1989 France alternate rock, twenty-four ninety-nine. And if I had plenty of time, I would look, go through every one of these. I would go through every one of these tonight and do that same thing where we could see how much OGs were going for. But, uh, uh, yes, uh, Steel Mill is $45, yes. Steel Mill is $45. Make sure, I did tell somebody $45. $45 on Steel Mill, $55 on Bliss, and Real Cool Killers is priced for $24.99. Let's sell that to Christopher Onzo for $20. Did I miss any other claims? I was curious about a couple more in here uh, that are possibly reissues. I can't remember what they were. Um... Some of them have different covers. There was maybe one. I can't remember what the other. There was another one tonight, though. A lot of people kept asking about. And it just looked like an expensive original. Maybe I'd seen it in passing. or I, I've spent so many hours looking up stuff on eBay and Discogs and Pop Sock every once in a while. 
You can get on pop site. Actually, you can get on Discogs and look at the top 10 most expensive albums sold for a week or month. You can do that on pop Psych too. Pop Psych is a website. I don't know if you can do it on the app. Let's see here. I don't know if you can do it from the app. It's better on a desktop. You can see the uh, priciest album sold for the week. Uh, I don't think it's on the app. you got to go to the desktop. But it's really good on uh, PopSock. I don't know if you are familiar with PopSock. PopSock is a, a, a French-based company that archives eBay sold results. They only do auctions. Um, but yeah, you can see right here the highest value, the top 50 in the last week. And I have to sign in, which I think I know my username. I've been signed in forever on my dis on my desktop, my laptop. But I go I go through these lists all the time to kind of just get mental images of some of these rare and expensive records. So yeah, you can go top uh let's go back to the main site. Top 50 last week. And yeah, you can see uh stuff 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 I've never seen before. Sahib Shahab Sahib Sahab and Danish Radio Jazz Group, self-titled, Denmark, sold for three thousand one seventy-seven. That was an auction. Uh, Agarta Baria, Volume Two, Rare Psych, thirty-two hundred. Sun Ra, four thousand six hundred fifty. The Beatles, John Patton, Sun Ra, The Beatles, Minor Threat EP, Bonnie Green. Uh, I don't know what that is. Sonny Clark, one thousand seven hundred thirty. But I look at this kind of stuff all the time. There's a Zeppelin Turquoise. Now, that's a grail for me. I, that's on my top one records I want right there. Uh, jazz, Columbia, Beethoven, viol Violin, Concerto. Those are very rare records. Billie Eilish, Grant Green, an original Nirvana. Yeah, those are always that's always a great reference to see some incredible rare albums out there that sell every day for thousands of dollars. We, sometimes we'll sell a record on here for around the thousand dollar mark and it just blows people's mind. And I'm like, guys, y'all have no idea. There are albums for thousands of dollars being sold very often, very, very often. So especially for rare sock stuff. Rare sock stuff, rare blues, rare jazz. Very rare albums out there. All right, that's tonight's show. Sorry I got rambling on, but uh, that's it. I'm going to start cleaning up. I'm definitely going to get ready for tomorrow night's show so we can have a full-length blowout. We'll have great new vintage arrivals. We'll have metal auctions. Uh, should be able to get into that tub of posters. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Good night. See you all tomorrow. If you have any questions, message the page. If you're trying to reach me directly, you might want to message the page. I keep my messenger on mute because uh, I get so much spam and uh, people uh, just, I can't keep up with it all. So I just tell people message the page. They'll forward the messages to me and uh, that's it. And then second of all, I need to get plenty of rest. Thanks. Good night. See you all tomorrow at 7 o'clock Central Time. See you then.